ever had any problems. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Live at the Bike, brought to you by the Bicycle Casino here in beautiful Los Angeles, California. It is Friday, and we are doing the Million Dollar Cash Game 3.0. I am Bart Hansen, and I am joined here by Christian Soto. What's going on, Christian? 3.0 is really Well, let's see if we can get Christian on here. Christian? Oh yeah, just put that mic a little bit closer to your mouth there. All right. All right, cool. There we go. Yeah, Million Dollar Cash Game 3.0. Uh, it's going to be wild. I'm sure we are going to have Bill Perkins in the game. We've got Matt Berkey. We've got Johnson. Of course, we've got Eric. Uh, excuse me, Garrett. We've got uh, Alex Foxen here. And I've never seen him play uh, cash, but obviously just tournament crusher. Yeah, it's 100, as always, in my change. 210. I might go south. Test, 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 test. <laughs> I'm gonna text the Oscar. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, so uh anyways, he's a tournament crusher. And um yeah, look forward to see him playing in a cash game. Of course you can see the host of the game, Ryan Feldman, there in the background. Now we're actually not gonna start for about 15 minutes this game is on a sl on a delay so we know exactly when it starts um the exact level of the game i want to like say we're... is as soon as i got there they were like where'd you get this hundred thousand i was like thanks poker like oh okay <laughs> you guys are in a lot of trouble i don't doubt it it's there we oh, go oh, all right all right, all right. <laughs> jeez that was the level of the game christian <laughs> all right so they're gonna start 200, 400 with a 5 temporarily, uh, and then they will potentially go to 200, 400 with a 4. 200, uh, 400 with a 500 ante? Yes. And the on the button or in the big blind the or big something blind. like that? Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Foxen is an absolute beast uh, in MTTs and just overall just poker knowledge. He's top tier, uh, one of my... Good friends as well, uh, <coughs> Berkey and him, both good friends of mine. Does he play a lot of cash or no? He no. doesn't play a lot of cash, but you know, it's one of those things that t you know today, like it's not like it's not like as much as like back in the day where like there was like a big separation of like, oh, this is an MTT player, this is a cash player. Like these guys know pretty good poker theory, and like they're gonna make good plays. Right, know? of course. So of course. No, absolutely. Um, but it's always you know it's always see the good to see some of the tournament guys kind of like mix it up oh um, yeah for sure obviously I'm with cash i mean there's an ante out there too so it's not like it's going to be nine-handed and and you know you're just going to knit it up the whole time for sure i mean you can't you're just going to keep losing that ante that's that's what makes the game fun here right right and of course john sin now before john won the the main event of course i played with him a fair amount in cash games and obviously he had a nice bankroll boost uh, <laughs> a couple of years yeah, ago, the eight million extra. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think he said actually when I asked him, he was he did some commentary on the show. I don't know, like ten months ago, that he had like seventy percent of himself, seventy percent, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, which is not surprising for sure. And, and that's nice. You know, yeah, like because a lot of the you know what's not spoken about a lot is you know the percentages people have of like these big tournament scores, and it's like you know when you have the majority line share there. Of an $8 million that's score, choice, like, that's pretty life-changing. Yeah, I mean, so, like, when I play the main, I don't really sell, but I'll swap with other people that, like, sure. I think are good. Yeah, you yeah, know? for sure. You know, that's, yeah, the, like, the best way to do it. The main event is probably the the one tournament of the year that if you're ever going to, like, just take a shot at yourself, like, you just want to keep the most amount on that tournament. Sure. No, absolutely. And then just, like, swap out with, like, people you think are good or... And if you're if you're watching this live, of yeah, course, know, and uh, you want to rewatch it or watch any of the shows that we've ever done, um, you can check us out live at the bike dot com, and uh, you get your first two weeks free with the uh, 
coupon code so high stakes or poker and uh, we are planning on going here for eight hours i believe so i know it's at nine eastern right now so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long show of course we're on youtube and twitch and we will be monitoring those chats as well and uh bill perkins will be here let's say about 45 minutes to an hour into the show um we've got stanley we've got dennis from last week and of course berkey just adds he always adds some flair yeah i mean th this this trio right here of like Garrett Fox and then Berkey, like there's gonna be some collisions there because they all play hands and they all are very aggro. Well, here we are. So Berkey's got <laughs> those gray chips which are one K, <laughs> so people are stacking them in twenty, so you know, twenty of those gray chips are one K. Foxen's got the lavenders, that's what yeah. they call them the bike, those are five K, so that's a hundred thousand in the back, one twenty, another maybe seventy. He's got two hundred thousand easy. So it looks like for once Garrett actually might not be covering the table. I think that might be the I don't know if I've ever seen that before. <laughs> I think, you know, the game hasn't started yet. So he's well, he's also got Fox into his left. Yeah, he? yeah. But, I mean, he, you know, last week Oscar just had 600 and right. decided to have seven or whatever we're going to say. You know, so it's like it's, it's going to go down. And we are going to be using uh, those uh, time chips or those time extensions. Um, by uh, the action clock, which is presented by Protection Poker, which I love because you know people are just going to tank forever and ever and ever. Yeah, it, it just it's so good in terms of like viewer experience. Like it just helps the like, you know having a five minute tank you know, over and over again is just not good for, for viewership. Right. Man, it seemed like Berkey was pretty proud of himself uh, when he bluffed Nick. What was that from maybe like three or four months ago with that Jack Seven of Spade hand? Yeah, versus Nick's <laughs> aces. <laughs> versus he, Nick's aces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's one of those you know, <coughs> you know highlights. You, you take the highlights and the lowlights and you run with it. Berkey seems to definitely play kind of a gangster sort of like street poker style when it comes to defending in some of these multi bat the pre flop scenarios. Like seeing him play. Hands that'll open and call with a three bet two that uh, I think other I guys would just fold. Yeah, two. yeah. I mean, I know Berkey's game more than more than anyone else's probably, and I, you know, I definitely can attest that he's definitely giving something up by by calling these hands pre. Like it's definitely a losing EV like play. Just in terms of hand strength. Pre. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can't just like raise call Jack Seven suited every time and and think you're gonna that play in itself is gonna be profitable. Like, mm -hmm. It's just not. But, like, you know, he believes that if, you know, given depth and if your opponents make blunders on future streets, that he can recoup that small EV loss that he's doing preflop. And, you know, that's up for debate. You know, sometimes it costs him and sometimes he, you know, wins big. Like, it's it's one of those. The only thing I will say about that, and, is I, and I can sometimes get on, get on board with that, too. I mean, if anybody knows old school poker, I don't know think where David Chan is back in the day. Uh, used to play like that quite a bit. Um... It's tough to recoup that EV, I think, at 100 big blinds, especially for a lot of the viewers that play a lot of $5 blind game where there's sort of the open size is still usually like 4 or 5x. It's just really hard to recoup because the pots get big. I mean, at 100 big blinds, you're just... It's probably impossible for you to do that. Right. Yeah, you just can't. Like, the opening 4x, they're just not deep enough for you to... Ever start making better there. choices right. and like just number make, one on the better choices. So we of course we have our high stakes room that's open. They're actually playing a high stakes no limit game. Uh, I walked by and I saw Art and I saw a couple other guys. I saw Art. I saw Andy. Yeah, Andy was over there too. So yeah, I mean there's definitely another game. I'm not sure the exact stakes, but I think it's between 25, 50, 50, 100. Uh, and yeah, I mean, there's some seats open here. I wouldn't be surprised to see. You know, Andy jump in here, <laughs> Arp jump in here. If <laughs> Did you happen to see the set over set over set hand on Tuesday? Can't hand? Can't hand? Can't like about it? No, but please fill me in because that sounds like it was a big pot. Yeah, it was a big pot. It was a big pot. Uh, Nick Bertucci, who will definitely uh, sometimes play this game. He actually had a work commitment. He was doing a seminar this weekend. But, um, there's probably a high chance that if he was available, he was going to play uh, the recipient of set over set over set with the highest set. 
it's like stack two people. Players, that was like, always just every, like, just that was always that's always gonna be nice, dude. That's only the second time I've actually ever seen that on the show. Way back when, because I, you know, yeah. done the show since 2005. <laughs> the OG. There was a hand that was set over set over set on the flop. You, you would have a different uh, opinion. Like back in 2006, this was on the turn. Uh, and actually, I was the three better. In the hand, I had three bet ace five of hearts, and <laughs> like four people like, cold called me. Wow. Oh, and the board came out like, ace seven deuce. Like, yeah. Like, Nick had sevens, like, guy had yeah, se like, Dennis had deuces. You know, like, I didn't like, bet because I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the turn was a four, and Jack had a set of fours. Wow. So I'm sure that will be up as a hand. <laughs> it's she was really like, where did this money come from? Yeah, yeah. Goes, well, I mean, yeah, I don't know where each bill like came from, from but like that. some of it wow. probably came from the Rio. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, as always, you know, we stream these live cash games every Tuesday through Friday from six to ten. And we're gonna go way, way extra. If she would ask me a single uh, tonight, question, planned on uh, eight it. hours. Yeah, last week it was a ten-hour stream. Yeah, I mean, this week, eight-hour stream. It's definitely not the answer. Is, <laughs> I mean, this is like, <laughs> seems like a good way to. Like, this is what people want: like high stakes, long streams. <laughs> I'd rather not. This is almost say better than, <laughs> than back in the day when you just, just cut the, Where'd you get the highlights and watch them at two a.m. on NBC. Illicit activity, but yes, poker after dark, right? Which they still do now, right? Is on Poker Central. Yeah, sort of a version of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's on Poker Drop. But it, it's yeah. not as frequent as, like, you know, once a week or things like that. Sure. Garrett's actually played on that a couple times. And, of course, Berkey's played yeah, a yeah. ton, right? Yeah, the Berkey. And they've played together. They've played some massive pots. Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. I forgot um, about that. I would have just... I'm still waiting for them to get a high stakes <laughs> straight Omaha 8 game. In there. I'll play any level. I keep telling wow. Brent Hanks and those guys. <laughs> I'll play any level. I will. Oh, <laughs> but I don't... I, 1,000, 2,000, whatever it is, but whatever I don't know if it's going to happen, though. They've that's done a couple of mixed games, which are kind of fun. That's, what is what you, that's obviously your best this game, obviously, since you're powder has any level. Any but, like, what's your, like, second? Well, I would hope that my best game would be no I mean, limit over cash if people oh, are paying okay. me that's that's for, that's result, right. for, for advice. But, I mean, it's my favorite game. It's my favorite game. People paying you for 08. It's my favorite game, just because it's obviously so much different than... Now, I'm going to decide cash. on this one. What are your thoughts on the... You getting six specifically today. There's been some at the you win in, in Vegas that are running like Big O now. What are your thoughts on that? Exactly. Big O's great. I mean, wow, it's really? usually... Well, it, well it, if you were to take emergency each day because, for the, uh, the prior... Pot limit high-low games, the good players are just going to kill all the bad players. Oh, yeah, then you're good. Are you saying you're starting to feel sick? Because if you're starting to feel sick, I definitely think that having a high-low... You can see that obviously Alex is going to cover the table. ...can help like fight off something that's like early early on. I think... Let's say it is... I think we'll see what happens when we see Stanley sit, potentially see Dennis sit, no, and the dynamic of the table kind of like begins to off. take form. Uh, We're going to lay out here for the yeah, next few minutes, and, and uh, today, we'll like, be back like here on mic when uh, we're right about now. to start. So that's all you need, yeah. But, there, but yeah, I just stressed about you too. You're about to go have fun. And like you already might like get sick from Colombian food, and you got a lot of things. Yeah, I mean. If I were sitting in your seat, I wouldn't care, but... Yeah. I'm sitting in <laughs> He literally texts I'm me like, zero. Hey, I would trade yeah, you, but I'm not nearly nice enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'd do it, for sure. Like, he texts me, he's like, hey, I want to play, but I might get the whole room sick. Are you okay with that? Yeah. And I was like... Yeah, Ryan texts me that, too. We're like, should we let Berkey play? I was like... Dude, I, if he's breathing, get his ass in here. That's, that's what everybody said. I was like trying yeah. to look out for everyone, I and can, Ryan's like, "No, really, I man, you should just play." I'm just man. trying to be nice. I text Dennis. I'm, like it's supposed, to, like I'm supposed to be like, you know, I mean, all right, even you like, you're for, like, you know what? Yeah, they got like, got, like, 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 I'm like what, what, I'll get over what, it. How bad can it be? I text Dennis. I was like, so I might be a little under the weather. I'm pretty sure I'm fine, but just in case, I wanted to make sure that you're okay. He goes, "I'll wear a hazmat suit if it gets you." I'll wear a hazmat. That'd be great. If, even if he just comes in with a mask, I would love that. Yeah. That'd be worth it. If he just showed up in like the nuclear suit from Back to the yeah. Future. What yeah. a bad read I would have if G he does, G you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's anyone who has to give a fuck a about anything, seat? including that. Then it strikes me as the guy. So, of course, that was Gene Gluck, who is the host of sort of our new high limit area, host of the 40 game. We're getting 60 limit hold'em. And now they moved 200, 400 over from another casino, and we get two tables of that a day, too. 
So, yeah, well, that, I mean, the, people have always been saying, why doesn't the bike get big action? Why doesn't the bike get big action? Well, we're now, we're seeing it now. Yeah, and, and having a nice room is going to just attract people to come play here. Like, yeah. the, the room is beautiful. So. so you just moved to Vegas, right, from the East Coast? Sounds like whoever's moved to Vegas from Jersey <laughs> about six to seven months ago. It's nice. No, it's not nice. <laughs> That's not a word that I would use to describe Vegas. I mean, it's, it's well, I mean, it's just nice to have... The availability of a game like, down, the, to down the street like sure. all the time. Sure. Sure. You get 400 or 500. You don't get 400. Yeah, Vegas is definitely yeah, Whatever a it is, like 9 million pre-tax, that's, that's not going to do that much for you, no. you know? That's not like, when you're DJing. That's yeah. like five bad sessions. Uh, <laughs> 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 you're, you're done. <laughs> what we don't know is how hard Johnson grinds. Like, he just came from Korea. Kind of like, I mean, yeah, obviously back. he could just, like, you know, retire. Was he playing at, like, an APP turn? Whatever turn. No, he was playing the Triton, yeah. You got to try and like, there for the you got to shoot for 100 million. Yeah. 100 he's there. Bus. He played yeah, this right. game last week. Well, flies to Korea. Wow. Flies back. Yeah, also like, what a joke one like, is. He's going hard. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, he said that, actually. You know, when I asked him about Especially that, when he came in here after right? he won, yeah. he was yeah. like, no, no, I'm not taking time off. This is my chance where I can... Yeah. You know, and nowadays, too, Christian, you know, well, now you live in Vegas, you might be able to speak for this a little bit, but I had to ask Marley the same thing. The... The way that high stakes, especially straight no limit <laughs> games, go Why, these days is call. that you sort of have to be in the game for a reason. You have to be somebody. You have to be good for the game. Yeah. And uh, there's a skill to that. So if Johnson's yeah. going to be able to get into the game because he's in the spotlight for sure for the next few years, then more power to him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And and Johnson's effectively like the truth is like you know the VIPs have to like you and and, yeah. and then. You know, like, you know Johnson, you'll have a window Johnson. of time that, like, yeah, I kinda that you'll you'll be able to play for a long time, and and maybe this is Johnson's uh, window, and like you know he's the main event champ, and he gives action, and he's a nice one person. Time I was playing a right, game he's in the game. Came and sat right there. And I, like, so yeah, like you're saying, like just <laughs> maximize those hours. I couldn't look back. I was just so nervous. So I, get, <coughs> I get where your friend's coming from. I, I mean. This I got a report, by the way, from somebody that was in the gym this morning oh, at the oh, bike that you and Berkey were in there talking poker strategy in the gym. Oh, is that true <laughs> this morning? All right, so that one person now I have to look out. <laughs> I have to look out and never, never speak again. Right. Did you know that guy? No. I oh, thought, okay. I thought it was a hotel guest. And I'm safe. But there's just spies everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, we were, we were at the gym. We arrived a little early uh, to the bicycle, and the room was you know, ready or whatever. Like neither of our rooms are ready, and we were like, "All right, well." I think there's a, an untapped market, you know. Yeah. Talk a little poker strategy. Yeah, in the gym. I mean, we oh, thought that the guy was innocent. No, now we know. Smart on your part. <laughs> Can't go anywhere. Um, I don't even think we were really talking strategy. Maybe we're talking a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't had Bill Perkins on the show. He's played a couple of times. Pardon me. Yeah. But it's been a while. Sure. Bill Perkins has played on this show before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. At least a few times. Over the, I mean, this show's been on for a long time. I mean, yeah. That's 2011, 2019, and then two years before, you know, five, 2005 and 2006. You used to do this show with Tuckman, right? I did, yeah, back in the day. 2005 to 2006. How do we yeah. switch it to three? And yeah, we have a I much just, like, different setup than we did down, back then. It's just auto the next hand. It's random enough, huh? We were in a utility closet. They've upgraded Yes, they have definitely upgraded. I'm gonna have to stall under the gun. But yeah, if you if the people haven't been to the bike like in a couple of years, especially since the hotel, right it's now. entirely different. Yeah, it's the Annie's, uh, yeah, I feel like every time I walk you know in, here, in it's no, nicer. Like, like, the Starbucks is so nicer now. Down, like, everything's just like blind, upgraded. No, I'm, he he goes where he goes. But oh, here we go. Look at this. So we think it's gonna be two, four, five hundred right now. I guess we'll see. The white chips are hundreds, of course. The gray uh, chips are 1Ks. Yeah, Purples are 500s. Lavenders, which are sort of pink, are 5Ks. So you got to stack a 100K in front of Johnson right there. Uh, Garrett's got a weird stack of 500s there. Those sort of blue. So the graphics, when they began, it was Fox and covering at 210. 210, right. And yeah. Garrett with 100, and everyone else was similar stack. 5500. 5,500. Oh, I was going to say, all right, so yeah. we got a three bet right off the bat here. 
So it looks like it's a 1500 here from Sin from under the gun. We're playing, what, five or four handed right now? Four handed, yeah. Garrett's going to three bet here. So John made a pretty light open, even even four handed King Five of Clubs, Garrett three bets, and John's going to defend. So 12,100 right off the bat. Yeah, Ace eight, eight, I expect, especially with Garrett with a backdoor here, it's for him to be stabbing flop pretty much high frequency. He likes doing like third pot here, which I think is pretty fine. Yeah, 4,000 here, and, you know, this is probably not going to be a hand that John, even though it is king high and there's a pair out there, no backdoors. Well, I'm, I, I'm actually a little surprised, but he does make the call. So let's see how Garrett constructs sort of a double barrel range here, and obviously that's a pretty good card here. He picks up the open-ended equity with a 9. Yeah, now Garrett just has to decide... How how off how sticky is Johnson pretty much like it, does he have hands that call the flop that fold the turn, or or not like because there's yeah, fifteen thousand. Well, obviously he does if he's gonna yeah, call yeah. with king five. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because some guys might only have an ace here, right? Right, and a three bet pop for sure, or just have hands that like are gonna call one more, like just like you know some tens or like whatever you know spades. Yeah. Like the more king highs he has, the more floats he has, like the more than that Garrett can continue to bet. John's going to be done with it, and that's our first hand. Goes to Garrett. Home field advantage. Just Garrett just wins the first one. So well, you, I would say John. John's from LA, right? As well. He is. Yeah. 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 yeah he is. So what's your plans for the World Series? Are you going to be there the whole time? I guess if you live in Vegas. Yeah. I mean, I'm just you know just play everything that. Play a bunch of tournaments, <laughs> like probably like seventy thousand worth of tournaments. And how about the ten k short deck? You know? No, I think I'm off no. that. I'm off the short deck. It's I, it might be the next wave. Like it's it's one of those things where I I watched the Tom Dwan interview yesterday that came out from the Triton stuff. And do you mean the one from months ago? No, no, no. Like literally, they released it yesterday. Oh, he did a different one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, they released it like on Poker News and stuff, and. He was just kind of saying, like, that he thinks that, you know, long deck, how they call it, is just, like, pretty predatory and stuff like that. And, like, short deck, like, might be the might be the next wave. And, like, people, some people are buying into that. Like, you know, it might be true. So Garrett here to 1,200, A7. John's going to defend the big blind. Again, we're playing with an ante, 9-7 off. Both players have missed here. Check. Garrett yeah. is not going to see bet here. Yeah, it looks like he... Is probably gonna attempt to take this hand to showdown. Yeah, unless John stabs at it, Ace High is gonna win. This is this is a river where John's probably gonna stab. I, I mean, the, he just has like a pretty good candidate to do so. He could have a hand like, you know, ten eight, etc. And he bets two thousand into thirty one hundred. Kind of hard for Garrett to call here with ace high, but got to sort of have to find the unpaired hand, right? Yeah, because as played, like, you know, check, check, check. Like, this is going to be kind of what Garrett has a lot. Yeah. And he does call. Yeah. Wow, he makes the call. 2,000. Trying to make sure there's no pair under there. And <laughs> no, you have all these draws on the sixth card. <laughs> Pretty good start for, you know, it's nice to, like, win the first couple ones and, like, we get momentum flowing your way and, and things like that, especially in like a tougher lineup. Like. Comes, we should be able to get new time cards or something. Whatever you, you think about that, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's not fair that we play forehanded in Bernard. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what we topped out at last week in terms of get refilled. roughly 12,000. 12,000? Yeah. So we got 4,000 in YouTube and probably another at least 1,000. Yeah, 1,000 on Twitch. Yeah, I'm really Just starting out here. It was, uh, well, I got. Corrected rather so quickly. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh wow. Yeah. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we ask Berkey what happy. he wants? Oh, I don't I'm pretty sure that's happy. the only answer that matters. I, I really don't care. I, <laughs> I don't think anybody here is gonna waste anyone's time. We can turn the clock off till someone comes for all I care. Twelve hundred. 
Oh, here comes Fox in here with his first hand. Raise it up to 1,200. Berkey here with uh, Queen 10 off. Gonna cold call. Yeah, and that's gonna bring along Sin for sure. All right. Garrett's gonna okay, defend with the mystery hand under there. So four ways with this lineup here. Interesting. 5,300 here to the flop. King 4-7 with a couple of hearts, and it looks like Alex actually has the best hand here with Ace-7. Yeah, now he has a decision whether he wants to bet or check. I think his hand functions pretty well as a bet, just simply because it doesn't, it doesn't like, turn that well. It doesn't have, like, pretty good turn equity distribution, so, like, betting yeah. here and just, like, Nine denying hands is good. Betting for, like, thin value, you know, it's going to perform pretty Gone well. Gone 17 seconds left. And this is most likely going to go fold fold. Yeah, sin with a heart could probably just peel. Uh, without a heart, you know, could be a little bit more selective. But no, you were right. This is two. Also, when Foxen bets into three, it's just like a little bit. You don't. You he's don't have to defend as often. Yeah. He's got to deal with Garrett behind him too. Right. He's not closing the action. Yeah, the other thing too, and like in this specifically right now, four-handed. You wonder how often anyone really has a king. I mean, I guess the guys in the blind could have like weak suited kings that they defend with, but like Berkey, isn't wouldn't he be three betting all of his playable kings or a fair amount from that spot? The suited ones for sure. Uh, he'll be three betting like king, king ten suited, king jack suited, king queen suited. Definitely three betting ace king all suits. Uh, you know, he's probably splitting like some of his his offsuit kings, but like he'll have some king king ten off, king jack off, whatever, like in a flat. Well, Sin looks like he wants problems with Berkey right now. Berkey going to take a s smaller sizing here with uh, the ante here, opening it up to just 2.5x to 1k. Sin, three bets to 3,000. And Alex Foxen here in the big blind wakes up with pocket tens. And uh, let's see if we're going to see a four bet. Now, these guys are really, really deep. So usually you don't flat call a three bet, but you might want, and he might want to drive Berkey out of the hand here too. Obviously, yeah, I so. think we're gonna see a four bet here, like pretty often. This hand's pretty good to just like isolate. It doesn't perform that well out of position against both players. Like, yeah, I mean, Fox and ten thousand eight hundred takes it down. Just when I thought you're gonna be opening the ten thousand, Matt. Yeah, with the thousand. Not forehand. And of course, he is the Full boyfriend surprise. of Christian <laughs> Bicknell, right? Christy Bicknell. Christy Bicknell. Christy Bicknell. Yeah, yeah. Christy Bicknell. Boom, hits me with the one ball. And she could easily be, like, considered the best female player, like, ever, right? Like, she, I think I think that she's definitely, like, you know, obviously the, right before her was Vanessa Selps, right? Right. That was, like, the unanimous. Uh, Here comes but I think, Stanley, right? I think at this point, Christy's been in the game long enough. And is now playing like what? Uh, and yeah, that's playing fine. and succeeding in like the highest stakes. That, and she has both online and live experience now. That like she's probably in the running to surpassing Vanessa for sure. And she's just overall like a top player now. Period. Like yeah, so women or not, yeah, just like right. just a period. top player. Yeah. 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 No, that's what I'm saying. I run so good. Ball. So that is Stanley coming into seat four. And just, you know. Stanley played on the show last week too, right? Is that right? No. Oh, this he, is a first time. Yeah. Not yeah. last week, but I've I've heard he's been on the show previously. Okay. Maybe that's where I've seen him before. So raise it up here from the small blind. So I believe now they moved to 100, 200, yep. 400. So three blinds, yeah. and that's what you're going to see 3B there for John. John's going to defend with deuce three of clubs. And uh, Alex is going to flop top pair here with king nine. John, of course, does have a pair of threes, so this could easily go bet call. Yeah. Could go check, too, but it looks like Alex is going to bet. 16 hundred. Like 40-ish percent pot, and Sin has a pair in position. He's gonna, he has to call. He has the bottom pair of trip draws, like one of the best draws in No Limit Hold'em. <laughs> Turn is a seven. Yeah, I expect to see Foxen now check. This is like one of his, this is going to be likely one of his worst kings. So 
I expect them to check, but obviously these players are mixing hands in, in both bets and, and checks like rather random. Not randomly, but like frequently. Well, he's actually going to bet again. He's going to bet yeah. 4,400. And now I'm assuming that Sin is going to be done with the hand here. I'm not going to make any more assumptions here tonight, Christian. I'm telling you, man. John, I'm going to make the call with deuce three. So 15,700. River is a queen. Now it's just a decision if Alex wants to get pretty thin here or not. He would be targeting a hand like Force King X's, maybe a hand like King Eight, or maybe a hero Ace Jack, maybe a hero Jack Ten. Forty-five. And he chooses a a very good sizing, targeting exactly that range. So now Sin with a decision. Portions of Alex's bluffs filled in on the river as well. So it's kind of tough. So Alex takes it down. Of course, we had our ladies' night last night, two. Oh, it was two nights ago, excuse me. And how much, it was Mama Cita was the, I mean, some people in the live chat are asking, Mama Cita was the big winner? Ag again, her, her and Jean, her and Jean were the big winners. And of course, if you want to watch that, you can subscribe to Live at the Bike. So, we are five-handed here, just... Getting going here at one, two, four, five hundred ante, which is basically like one, two, four, like hundred ante. Right, know. each player. It's like a small blind right. ante, basically. That's what it is. Big blind ante is just so good for the game. It's just both tournament and no limit cash. Yeah, I don't even understand the argument that some guys were making against it in tournaments. Well, the, yeah, the argument was like if it becomes like shorthanded, now you're playing, you're paying too big of an ante. Yeah, but how often is it shorthanded, though? In a right, just at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alex's going to raise here on the button to 1,200, 5,6, and Stanley's going to defend with 9,7. Yeah, I like this uh, as it pertains to Fox, just because we just want to play more pots against Stanley. Like, it's just, you know, it's very likely he's not, like, a top, you know, tier pro like all these other guys are. But, like, you know, he's, he's going to battle, but I'm sure that Fox is just just wants to play as many pots with them as possible in position. Well, $1,800 continuation bet, and 9-7's going to call here with a gutter to a 10. Turn is a 5, and that actually gives Alex the best hand now. Yeah, Foxen with some showdown value now is deciding if he wants to deny or potentially just take his, take his equity to showdown. Stanley now picked up a double gutter here to a 10 and to a 6, so a 6 would Bring in the straight and two pair. That would be the action card. The river is a three, so if Stan Stanley has now whiffed out nine tens and queen tens, and so now he's not going to bluff at it. I was going to say. Yeah, Foxen would have called. Uh, like a lot of things missed, and you know, he expects that from the big blind. Stanley has enough hands that Foxen can call with. Call this river. Camera's still on Stanley, so it looks like he hasn't actually checked. No, he did. Oh, okay. He did check. Okay. Check, check at the end. And Foxen wins another one. Someone asked me about the rake in this game. I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm going to estimate that it's probably 18 and a half. I would say it's probably 16 to 18 and a half hour. It's a collection game. It's not a rake, so every half hour. And they might even be getting a time break for being short-handed. That's what LA casinos do. Uh, that's not. It's not like that everywhere. I just assumed before I started traveling around that everyone got a break shorthanded in collection games because they always did in it, L.A. Where didn't that happen? Like, they don't do that in Australia. Oh, I remember that. Okay. They, don't, <laughs> they just play. Like, no. Yeah, no, they charge you the full amount. <laughs> oh, you want to play heads up? Full rake. No, not only the full rake, the full rake for the table. Wow. 
like there's a flat rate oh, for the so table. It's, yeah, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> That's even worse. Yeah. It's like, no, it's not <laughs> seven a person. Right. It's 50 for the table. Yeah. You guys figure out how you want to pay it. Berkey going to open a 1200 here. 10 8 off on the button. And he's going to go heads up with Garrett Adelstein. Well, both players flopping eight here. You can see Garrett with the better kicker. Yeah, heavy range advantage board for Berkey. You're going to see high C-bet frequency. Don't expect this to be any different. And Garrett is going to defend. 1,500 and a call. Berkey choosing 1,500 is not considered the norm. Like Usually you're going to see like a third pot bet here, even quarter pot bet more often. But he's choosing like closer to like half pot. Check, check on the turn. River here is a six, and this still might go check, check here. We'll see. Check. Eight. Yep. Me too. That's good. Good job, that. <coughs> yeah, Jeff Bushaw in the YouTube chat says that there is no rake in Portland, Oregon. I mean to go up there and, and visit because they, they charge like a, uh, like a fee. A door fee. Yeah, yeah. A door fee, yeah. Yeah, that's... And I think they sort of like do that in Texas poker clubs, too, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I I saw that and yeah. as it pertains to like some of the vloggers or whatever they were yeah. going down there. That would fee. I think that's good, man. It's 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 a nice social environment. You just pay like whatever twenty bucks, get in the club. Everyone's having a great time. It's probably like a lo like some sort of like local law, I guess. Like you can't rake, so they they try to find the way around it. I'm actually going to talk. I'm going to Arizona to just a, l a little vacation next week. Yeah. Uh, to get, take in some spring training games. I've never been to Talking Stick, and Talking Stick is one of those places too, which I hear like Washington State, like for whatever reason, like their no limit games are like sort of pseudo spread limit yeah, because spread. Yeah. there's a cap on the betting, so that'll be interesting. It's really weird. Like I've gotten like a couple people just ask me like, you know, what would you do in this game? And I'm just like, man. Well, I'll tell you, no, actually, where it's the weirdest is in their PLO games. Because they play 5-10 oh. Omaha there with a with a spread limit. Raise it up here by Berkey, King-10. Uh, Alex going to defend here in the straddle or the third blind, whatever you want to call it, four straddle. And Matt's okay. flop top pair. Yeah, this is another board we're going to see. Berkey probably like somewhere in, in the half pot vicinity. 2,500. Well, more than that. And uh, Fox and Folds out here. Johnny Olson. Bart, are you looking for a fight at Talking Stick? No, not necessarily, but I did see that video. That video was wild. <laughs> 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 that video was wild. If you all have not seen the video of the Talking Stick fight, it is on Joe Ingram's Twitter page. And just scroll down and I'm sure you'll find it. You just Google Talking Stick fight. Yeah, I'm sure it will come up. <laughs> that too. <laughs> that's a uh, that's wild. I've never seen anything like that happen in person. Like where just like a fight breaks out in a casino. Although I've been in a casino a couple of times with Mike Dentali, and that almost always happens, but not actually happened yet. So folded into the blinds here. Garrett going to make it 4x. Ooh, wow, look at this. Garrett with ace-king, small blind, and Foxen with pocket kings in the middle blind. Yeah, this is going to be action. and It's just going to be a decision if Garrett wants to 4-bet or not. When he gets 3-bet. Right, right, exactly. These guys are like over 250 big blinds deep. Raise it up, 6,200. So there's 6,200 here. So I think 4-betting is like pretty good here. With Ace King offsuit from, I mean, I think Ace King suit is a slam dunk. But if you're gonna sometimes call mm -hmm. with some hands, I mean, I know, I know it is blind versus blind, but obviously we'll see what Garrett does. Yeah, I mean, there's arguments both ways where it's like, well, you know, you can call with Ace King suited because it has better post flop playability. You can defend more, like, et cetera, et cetera, on multiple runouts. Twenty-one thousand. Well, he's gonna make it twenty-one thousand six hundred quickly. 
sure you're playing. You know. Obviously, the question now for Alex is whether he's going to call or put in the five bet. He's going to take a time extension. Fox and just kind of trying to gauge what he can gather from Garrett as well as like decide how often he wants to call versus move in. Looks like a call. So here we go, 44,100, about two pot size bets left. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot as well, coming from Fox. You're going to SPR in position with Kings, like. Oh, and two aces out on the board. It's Garrett's world. Alex with the king of spades, too, which will definitely make him more likely. Obviously, he's going to continue to bet anyways, but with backdoor spades, definitely going to call. Foxen's very, very astute, though. He understands that a lot of Garrett's four bet bluff range contains an ace in it. So it's like, this is a way ahead, way behind spot. It's just like, he understands that very well, and he's going to play accordingly. So we'll see how Fox proceeds here. 15,000 here from Garrett. Of course, it makes it harder for him to fold Foxen with two aces out there as opposed to one ace. Oh, for sure. Certainly. So bet in a call here. Now we got about one pot size bet left. There's the third spade. So now Alex has got the nut flush draw. Garrett with ace king still has the lead. You can see he's about 80-20. Curious to see what Garrett chooses in terms of sizing here. He can either make this a one street hand or a two street. And we got that clock running in the background as well. He's going to verbalize 30,000. Yeah, he was running out of time, so yep. it's one of those things where he just had to put a, had to put a bet out or use a time extension. Thirty into about seventy-four. This is and a very annoying spot for Fox. Ten seconds. And if Fox and calls, Garrett will have about a th maybe just over a third pot size bet left, rolling to the river. Fox gonna. Fox is very good at this. Very good at you know reading people and getting as as much as he can in terms of body language. So like we'll see how he proceeds here. Honestly, Christian, I can't see how he folds here with the king of spades in his hand. Uh, I mean, getting three, three and a half to one. Well, it's just, it's kind of tough for Garrett to be bluffing here too often. Like, what is he bluffing with? Like, it's... But even still, though, you could still have, like, 11, as many oh, as 11 yeah. outs. Yeah, that's true. And, and he does make the call. Yeah, that's definitely true. With the, the king of spades in hand makes it significantly harder to fold. And, you know, we could have the best hand sometimes as well. So it's like, finding a fold here is pretty tough, but now we're going with roughly 0 .3 SPR on the river. And <coughs> Here we go. The river is a jack, so it doesn't change anything. And, you know, I'm going to assume that this is going to go all in and Foxen's going to have a decision. Yeah, for sure. Just be a sick, sick, like, 
bluff, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I, I just, I mean, this would be insanity if this was a bluff. Like, it would be like king queen with the queen of spades, just going, like, hard. I mean, the, of course, the other issue, though, too, is that Alex has got two kings, which makes it less likely for Garrett to have ace king. But people will throw in like ace fives and ace threes in their four bet right, range, too. Right. For sure. You know, would Garrett go this thin with like ace queen? You know, it's four bet, bet, bet all in. I think so. I mean, at this. So 182.9, this is real money, folks, not a tournament. 48,800 to call. That's about 3.75 to 1, which means that Alex has to be good here 1 out of 4.75 times. Or if he wants to call at what we call MDF, minimum defense frequency, he probably needs to, you know, Garrett would basically, he needs to call with what the top, 75 percent ish of his holdings yeah. he gets here <laughs> it's about right and i mean and he, he does has, fold yeah he I, does fold i think he has also just like Before ace hard. king himself ace jack ace ace queen himself ace jack suited himself like he has a fair amount of ace x, ace x in his range as well like, mm. like ace king he'll have ace queen I just met him, maybe bro. ace jack suited <laughs> Sammy, you guys in the hand i'd be needling the fuck out of you for sure <laughs> No, I'm not saying anything like that. When I have Even though Garrett is capable, and obviously he is, that's just a spot live, even amongst like the best players that I see that are just under bluff. Yeah, you know what I'm it's saying? It's an under bluff line. It's just, I mean, you would have to have the right candidate, and then that's already pretty rare. And then you'd also have to pull the trigger every time, which yeah. is like also pretty pretty hard to do all the time. We get it in People in live chat time. saying that obviously for Foxen it's good for him to have the King of Spades to be able to continue to the river, but then when all the cards are out, it's bad for him to have the King of Spades because then now you can't find the bluffs. Right? You can't find the bluffs. I would have got off last time except they cleared it. Sure. Right, because Garrett Garrett's bluff is likely like King X, King Queen, King of Spades. Right. You know, something like that. Stanley opens. King eight suited gets called. I don't understand. So you're asking me? I'm gonna find you play poorly. Oh. Well, this is a spot where a lot of people would three bet that small blind and three blind with King Jack. You wonder if Alex is just a little. Sure, sure. Could he be just a tad? Shell shocked? I mean, not. I mean, obviously he's a professional, but just like you know, coming back after losing a big hand, play a little next hand, a little passably. He just turns two pair though. And look at this. Stanley has now turned the nut flush draw with a king. And John Sin flop top pair, so it got checked around on the flop. Pretty action turn card here. Yeah, big action turn. And Fox is going to choose to take the lead, 4,300 in the middle. Sin's going to call in between. <coughs> and uh, Stanley just going to call. Not flush draw, king eight. Sometimes you will see like recreational players go kind of wild in a spot like this. He just makes the call. Ooh, river's a ten. That's gonna kill all the action. Yeah. One minor out there to a queen. And this is gonna feel like annoying for Foxen uh, when it goes call call and this river falls off. Well, if he gets the showdown though, he's gonna win it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's, he's gonna fair. feel pretty happy about it yeah. now. I'm just saying, before he wins the pot, he feels what a little like, oh. <laughs> oh, he's you were talking about something unrelated. Oh, yeah, as it pertains yeah, to the three yeah, bet, yeah, was, um, I think that yeah, like of course, like moment, I go Fox could in, definitely go, three bet oh, there. <laughs> oh, because yeah. he said all in really loudly. And I think oh, I, yeah, I he, think you, you said all in, all in I think really I would like, as oh, the first <laughs> line, like uh, just to knock out uh, Berkey and yeah, Sin. Uh, so I, I would lean towards the three bet there, but I think obviously flying is making making a lot of money too. So. It's one of those things. Really that, too, that was so cool, huh? Yeah. And it's like Fox is probably three betting there sometimes day. too. Like not every day. Probably only three. You know, these players at, at this level, like <laughs> they mix their frequencies like well. Yeah, so it's we like Fox is just gonna like sometimes three bet there and sometimes call. He's not gonna do it was against Bertie. one or the other like against, exclusively. Somebody went all in and the dealer went all you can eat, which like it doesn't sound that bad, but at the time I remember thinking like yeah. 
Garrett here. You know, Magic understands Fridays here. It's, we call it Gonna race it to 1200. Jack 10 off. Someone bets. And Bert is gonna come on after him. Street poker. Here we come. Yeah. Three bet here with Queen Eight of Diamonds out of the small blind. Yeah, I'm curious if Garrett decides to continue this. This is a pretty big three bet. I guess I can fold this. It's a four X. I mean, four X with antes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, and he's gonna fold. Wow. Tight, tight <laughs> Yeah, Berkey just, uh, you yeah, know, you usually don't go after the guy that's winning in position <laughs> no, with all the party. chips. and like. Oh. <laughs> but Berkey's just like, nah, sure. street. Thank you. <laughs> cool, thank you. <laughs> Saw that. <coughs> Every item they're bringing over has mango in it today. <laughs> mango chicken Where's salad. You know, we just had this leftovers. Where's Dan when you need them? <laughs> With a mango salsa. We are missing Dennis Blight still. So yeah, he's we'll coming. We'll see if uh, as, as is Perkins and Bill Perkins. I'm really excited yep. to see uh, Bill Perkins. Twelve hundred here, ninety to clubs from Alex and oh Berkey with Ace King suited. Gonna three bet two hands in a row. Yeah, it's always nice to pick up the second one. And I don't oh. see Fox and folding here. Garrett folds 9-8 to diamonds, obviously in between. Uh. This is actually very troublesome to have 9-8 against Ace-King and, and have the same suit, too, the way that this interacts. We're Good talking call. about, like, a 10-queen-jack yeah. board. For sure. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, when you, you effectively make the, the low end when the person makes the high end. No, oh, Ace-Queen-10 okay. with a couple spades. These triple Broadway boards are somewhat tricky uh, as it pertains to like equity distributions and stuff, and like so we'll see how Berkey proceeds and just gonna bet win. Uh, yeah, but I agree with you. Like nine eight is like one of those, like yeah, like it's tough because not only that, not only like the straight versus straight, but like against someone like Berkey who's like three betting a linear range in position, like you you interact like kind of negatively with like portions of his range like like when he has like jack 10 or like queen jack and, and things like that wait a minute christian if he's three betting a linear range in position with ace king what is the queen eight from the small blind is that a oh, linear yeah. range wow. that's just street that's, <laughs> that's so he's got street and linear in him yeah yeah okay i guess i, don't know. <laughs> I can't speak for the queen eight I'm, just, I'm only speaking for the ace king and the normal shit <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The Queen Eight is outside of my my jurisdiction there. I don't know what's happening. I would have just folded the Queen Eight, you know, against Garrett, who's winning all the fucking money, and like. But uh, yeah, just gonna. Johnson here at a twelve hundred on the button. Last week there was conversations of who's alpha reg status, you know. I did. I had you ever heard that term guys. before? Alpha reg. Uh, I mean, I I don't necessarily know if I've heard. I think I can probably figure out what it means. <laughs> that's what's that's what's happening right now. They're tossing for alpha reg status. So. Right now, Garrett is at the top of the alpha reg status. I should mostly because he just sucked out on Fox. <laughs> How much would you have to win today before you decide to just go fly private to Colombia? <laughs> oh, back to is, he, is, is, is Sin going there? back to Korea? I mean, uh, probably. yeah, I mean it's pretty big, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's attainable. No, nah, it's attainable. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I can do it. Well, I think it's like thirty, forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is is the is the price? Of the flight. Berkey, oh, okay. Berkey and Foxen <laughs> actually no, have a uh, like WSOP <laughs> bracelet <laughs> prop bet. Uh, I didn't look yet. You want to make it I believe through 2020. Lot, huh? to to like I said I didn't look yet. Did you he just race a 5500 oh, yeah. from the yeah. big one against a 400? No, there's no yeah. open. That, that was a misclick. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. he misclicked. Yeah. There's supposed uh, to be that. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, this is a friendly game. They're just going to let, you know, what the intention of the of the raise was. It's not as predatory as Ah, that. okay. So oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk about that more. Berkey's going to get that. <laughs> he has no idea how to bet 1,500. So Alex actually ends up opening to 1,500. Berkey calls. 
All diamonds out there. I'm just trying to get a discount this guy. You work your side corner, I'll work mine. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who hates their hand more. Yeah, nice. Both this is going to go back to the fold. I was like, there. can I fold? <laughs> 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 the table laughing that Berkey just Berkey wanted just a better price. Like, you know what, actually, I'll just fold. <laughs> so what happened there was that Fox and obviously misclicked. Berkey yeah. said, did you misclick without even looking? Really Alex said, I did. I and then it was just played as a regular game. race. That's something that you yeah. won't see in a 5-5 game. People yeah. will be like, rule, string race. Right. And that's so bad for the game. It's like, you know, it's like, yeah, of course I put in the wrong chip. I didn't mean, like, if you're in a 5-5 game, and all of a sudden you, you grab a, you know, a black somehow in there and throw it in, and you're like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Like, no, no, no. It's live. If I, if I felt, you, but I also you present a like bit of a problem in that arena. Yeah. What? I said you present a bit of a problem in that arena. <laughs> yeah. If I felt everyone once, I will get it private, and you guys can all come. All right, I'm interested. And I'll I also feel like it's a little unfair. Um, like you know, sometimes the floor can have a little bit more like leniency because like if the floor is called, they're just gonna be like, no, like that's the bet, you know, and it's like. And well, I, I guess they're in a tough spot. Well, yeah. in a tournament, they I understand the black and white rules. Oh, for like sure. You can't yeah, do yeah. That in a tournament. Well, Berkey just going to call here with the ace five suited in the middle. Obviously, a hand that a lot of people will choose to put in a three bet. He calls. King, queen, four. Yeah, I, I kind of like Berkey not three betting there against uh, Stanley's open, particularly. Like, we're not really sure how many race folds Stanley has. Like, he might fold, Rick. He might. He might logically race fold this but like we're not really sure like none of these players know stanley yet all they know is that you know this game yeah, started a little late because it. stanley was having a little bit of extracurricular activities out wow. in the baccarat life pretty good huh <laughs> pretty good play i made there <laughs> garrett checks nine ten all the way down hits a pair So again, we're playing 1-2-4 with a 500 big blind ante. Everyone's almost oh, pretty close to 100k deep. Yeah, yeah. So every, I mean, deep stack, everyone just about 250 big blinds or more. Garrett has already won a big hand. Yeah, that ace-king was pretty fortunate against Fox's kings there. And that's going to give him a running head start early in the game. Now, will Berkey just fold the fourth? Oh, he does. Wow. <laughs> I was going to say. You know, you, you three <laughs> sometimes three bet, yeah. sometimes call, sometimes fold. Well, Stanley's got the same hand. Berkey's mixing. Yep. Splitting that range. King yeah. Jack versus King Jack here. You know, now he's, king, now, now yeah. he's hating himself. <laughs> you know, play discipline one time, flop. Middle pair and a gut shot. And Garrett with the lead, C bets and takes it down. Berkey can't breathe. Berkey can't believe you fall. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we're going for what's planned is eight hours. I'll be in here with Christian for another four hours. Ryan Feldman will come in. Are you staying with us the whole time? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Eight, you're doing eight hours. I did ten hours last Holy week. Holy cow. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. How much do they pay you for that? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, the interesting part about Berkey's fold there is, like, you know, as these guys get better, like, you know, like Garrett and these, like, really elite players, like, the value of these hands, like, out of position is just, like, not that good. Right. Like, it's just, like, you under-realize your equity. You... You know, you can't really bluff at correct frequency. I mean, obviously you could bluff at correct frequency, but it's tough because, like, they're not overfolding. So, like, it's, just, it's tough with these players. Like. How about Stanley now with Pocket Kings? So Alex raises under the gun to 1,200. Stanley here in the middle blind. Going to 3-bet <clears throat> to 5,200 here. Nope. And I would imagine this is... Towards What's the up? bottom of your UTG no, no, no. opening range, so probably a pretty easy fold, and he I does. I was thinking, sure. I wasn't drinking Berkey's water. Should we double up on numbers? Doesn't matter, I'll pay. How much? 
65. It's kind of weird as it pertains to like, like I don't call it like under the gun when it's like this short. Like I just call it from, uh, like I just start from like the the right, button backwards. Right. It's you know? like U5 basically, right? yeah, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, so it's like, like a cut off right. open, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Ace Nine is not obviously uh, right. It's not, not too wide. Yeah, right? yeah, no, no, for sure. Yeah, but I get what you're saying. It's just still like he's not gonna call with that in no matter what. Like versus, versus three bet. players are, you know, this is a big game, like, they're kind of focused. G-Man's intense, Fox is intense. <clears throat> Berkey with 8-7 of hearts. Opens, gets called by Stanley and Fox in as well. Three <laughs> So there's the jack there for Alex. Berkey's got a gutter to a nine. No back doors. He's going to take a card here. Turns an eight. I expect now Foxen to just be betting for value. Club rolls off here. I imagine Alex is going to put in some value at some point here. Yeah, he's definitely. I mean, this is this is good. This is a bet. He's going to bet. Oh. <laughs> Look, it sounds like Bill Perkins just walked in. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? 6,200. 6,200. There he is, Bill Perkins. Good to meet you. Alex so Betts, Berkey not going to make the call with an eight. That silently was an overbet on the river that we didn't catch, but that was 6,200 uh, yep. overbet like on the Like 5,000, yeah. right? Yeah. It looks like both Bill and Dennis are in the building. Not Dennis yet. But we'll see uh, when that around here comes. I mean, I have the best conversations on the Looks like we've got a lot of Bill Perkins little, what are those things in Twitch called? Little icons, memes? Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the icons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Emotes. Emotes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This game you want some now? might get uh, yeah, on right now. See how much Bill buys in for. 150. All right. So he's gonna almost, he's gonna have everybody covered. Well, Garrett and Alex both have. Garrett's got 185. Alex has got 170. So he's he's getting in there. Yeah, yeah. He's in the mix. Yep. Berkey and Perkins have some some history. They play some big pots, and you know, once you reach this this these stakes, like. You know, most people know each other at this point. Like, this, this air is, is rare, so. Alex is going to open here. 7 5 of clubs. Berkey just calls the ace jack of spades in the hijack. And John, I believe, has three bet the ace nine offsuit. So Berkey just calling. And Perkins wakes up with king queen of clubs. Yeah, this is a decision. Uh, he can cold call or cold four. I kind of lean towards the cold four. This is a tough spot. Let me ask you, Christian, because yeah. you know Berkey's game well. If Bill calls the three bet, is there a chance that Berkey might back race here? No. No? No. Uh, he, he'll just call. Because usually that's a hand you're going to three bet, right? Yeah, Jack this is, th yeah, for sure. I think, this is the thing, like, I think that he's mostly flatting to not knock out certain players in the pot. Like, he probably just doesn't want to three bet Fox in, who's a pretty good player, and then knock out, you know, Stanley and, and, and Bill. So, like, he's just flatting. Well, Bill just folds. Oh, interesting, yeah. Just folds the king, queen of clubs. Those are 100s. 
<laughs> right, so Berkey's just not 3-betting just simply to keep certain players in the pot. Oh, and, which I think is fine, like, doing that. I've that already misclicked good. at least once today. Yeah. Chips are confusing. Intention, right? We're playing intention? Yeah, that's actually what we did. <laughs> I took it back. This is an interesting flop. Check. Sin with the gutter here with ace-9. Berkey, obviously, with ace-jack, top pair. This flop's better for Berkey than Sin, and Sin wisely checks back. Nine comes, puts a one liner to a ten out there. Yeah, this board is still significantly better for Berkey, so I don't expect any bets to go in from Sin. Check, check here again. And the river is another jack. Yeah, easy value bet for Berkey. We're going to see... Interesting, because I guess what Berkey's thinking now is like, what would I bet if I had a king-queen? So that's likely the, the sizing he's going to choose. 7 into... Into 13-5. 13-5. And this is not an easy fold at all. It's like one of the one of the better hands Sin is gonna have. Yeah. And, yeah. John's gonna make the call. Also, too, it's like how often does Berkey check a ten from up right. front on Correct. the turn? Yeah, yeah. So I don't I don't fault like the call no, 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 no. at all. Of course not. This is one of the better hands Sin's gonna have. And you know he unblocks Berkey having hand like King Queen like it's yeah. You know. Deuce is the first hand. I, 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 I had something to get fruity with, but I decided not sure. to get fruity. I can't queen, queen, of course. Whoa. 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 Whoa! I was going to get fruity. Send him back. But then I was worried about... Call the plane. I didn't know how serious he was. I don't know what's going on. So Berkey here. now up about 12,600. Like, John it. down quick, 43,000. <laughs> Stanley down 11,000. Uh, Garrett up 85,000. And Alex not down 41,000. All in just about the first hour of the show here. We're playing... 100, like, 200, 400 with a 500 big blind ante. It's like two hours to get here or what? And we've got one left to come, too. Playing six handed right now. Yes, that's true. Action moves fast. This is, uh, yeah, this is exciting. Garrett up 80,000 within the first hour. That's, that's impressive. So John's going to raise it up here with King Jack. Stanley calls, cut off, 8-7. Berkey, 7 deuce suited, defending, closing the action. John's got the King of Spades here on Queen 3-6. He'll bet, and he'll take it down quickly. So check out Faded Spades. Spades Ace of Diamonds, 15% off at FadedSpades.com. Use the promo code BIKE uh, for some clothing. Same thing. No, these are cards. Oh, cards, excuse me. <laughs> You'd think they'd write it in the copy for me. Wish I had Card. <laughs> You'll help me with that. I got you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Use the code BIKE, capital B-I-K-E, for 15% off of your favorite cards, and they have RFID cards, they have multi-colored cards now, you know, the four-color oh, deck. Oh, four de four yeah, color yeah. deck? Yeah, for sure. I wonder if they'll ever go to that in casinos. Yeah, we'll see. I mean... You know, the issue with uh, some of the cards, and I've seen, is that if you play a lot of live poker, it's different from online where the blacks get... Right. It's the reds. If you, if you have a, a deep red, a heart and a spade look the same. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. If the color contrast isn't there. Chip leader. Berkey here in the second blind chooses to limp. You know your man, you know your man. Sin gonna make it uh, 2400 here. Bert jokingly says he just, well, you know your man. And here we go. Another better flop for Berkey than Sin, but Sin with the Nine of Hearts. Does choose to check back. Binks the straight right away here. Now Berkey with a gutter to a nine. Yeah, Berkey might choose to bluff here. This, this board's running out favorably for him. No real reason for Sin to do anything with call here. Yep, 2,000 and a call. 
River is a king. Front door hearts bust out. Berkey gonna try to bet like a pair or an ace high off, and he's gonna bet 7,500 here, so a pretty big bet. And now for John, can you raise and possibly get called by a four blind versus blind here? I mean, yeah, he doesn't have the nuts, but I mean, he's got a nine. I mean, yeah, I think he can raise. These players have a lot of history as well, and like in Ivy's room, formerly Ivy's room. Yeah, he does raise. I, mean, I, did that I didn't even the see it. Day. And that's the valid, like, I was about you know, to table my that's the benefit of, like, checking a hand like that. The guy just, used, like, four time chips. You know, especially against it's a like player like Berkey, like, who's going to, like, seven bluff, pieces? you yeah. know, when the board favors him, By and, like, you have a hand that's, like, okay perceivably hand outside, hand. Of your, uh, outside of your, outside of your range. Or, so annoying to be bluffing there when he has nothing. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't care to dis disguise it. Well, what kind of nuts? I had the nuts. Why don't you believe me? I had a ten in my hand. They should, they should put the stream of us on the TV so we can yeah, react to shit that. like as that, it goes. Yeah, TV, I think that's a great idea. Berkey in the first blind now. Into Stanley's third blind. Yeah, I think we should do it. It's probably better than like people trying to I wanna, ask others. I want, I want like, no, us to like see attitude, all the bluffs, like, like see all the friends first, you know what I mean? Like I want to needle the shit out of yeah, each other while we're playing. It's actually the most like fair way to do it. Too. Like when Berkey sees, sees my go, fucking go, four go, high bluff. Oh, I'm sorry. How about this? I'll leave it. Don't put it up. That's what they've been doing in all the, a lot of the time. I think this is going to other people now. If they properly. So this one's uh, just limped in here. Okay. Queen three, queen five, and okay. obviously eight three. Everybody misses. Yeah, it's hard to make hands with these cards. Is that me? Yeah. I'm sorry, I checked. Check. Check. I guess he gave me one. Check. Turns to ten, so everybody picks up a gutter. And sure. now the eight three makes a straight. So Stanley's gonna Check. win it. We were doing some work uh, on one of my podcasts on Crush Live Poker. We were talking about the three blind scenario and about how uh, there are some interesting dynamics from the middle blind. Like Berkey limped in. A lot of people were like, why isn't he just raising or folding? Actually, uh, if you look at some of the solvers, yeah, there's a little bomb, limp, yeah. call range, limp, <laughs> re-raise <laughs> range, <laughs> straight raise range. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of mixing from that first blind. Yeah, I like the second blind, excuse me. Oh, the middle blind. Okay. Middle blind, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, the comments. You guys see the comments? Right, right. And, that, and that's right. because, like, the first blind is not, like, limping. Like, they're limping pretty strong as well. Like, so you can't just, like, be all loosey-goosey with your chips. Well, I mean, if it's full. Well, I mean, if it's straight folded to the middle blind. Oh, that, that's, even that. oh, even that formation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's interesting to see for sure. Raise it up here by Alex, King Five of Spades. Berkey just gonna call with Ace Ten. Stanley calls King Jack of Hearts. So fair amount of hands that could call, could three bet. Everybody chooses a call. For sure, Stanley has a Stanley's <laughs> hand can three bet. Berkey's hand can three bet. <laughs> John's getting through, right? I mean, yeah. per Perkins getting a crazy price here. Good. Yeah, with the antis, gonna make the call. Two more. Here we go. Five ways to the flop. Five games. Five players. Check. Check. And Alex, okay. who's the pre-flop raiser, has flopped the nut flop. Well, second nut flush, and Berkey's got the ace of spades here. Yeah, I don't like raising with king five of spades and flopping it here. Yeah, we'll see how this plays out. There's a lot of money back still. No other speed in anybody's hand. 25. Fox and betting on a monotone board into the field here is pretty strong. Berkey makes the call. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Ooh. It's 2500 Yep. Can I order a tea as well? No. Can I get a green tea? With honey, please? Yeah. 
Yeah, we can get YouTube up here. We can figure some things out. Yeah, we're smart people yeah, with, yeah, with money. Yeah. Yeah. Offsuit <laughs> six. Technicians. We think things can See what happen. Alex can chooses here to do it yeah, we can in terms of people to do, like, things betting happen. versus checking and or if he does choose to bet, what size he chooses. Like, talk with the chat. Would that be real time? It'd be four minutes delayed, the, I think. The, the, chat, the chat would be four minutes delayed. Four or five minutes delayed. What's the delay? Do you know? 30. 30 minutes? Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, 30 minutes delay. It's going to be like, they 12, ask a question 30 minutes later, they get an answer. 12,000. He's going to overbet. We can still needle each other. 12,200 here. Is that like a rule? Or a shape rule? Yeah, why not 15? Uh, so Fox polarizing his range. Berkey now, I think, begins to understand that he has the hand. He has the card that Alex would be quote-unquote bluffing here with. So that makes Foxen slightly less likely to be bluffing. It just feels so stale. So Berkey calls. Here we go to the river. River is a brick. 39,000... 900 in the pot. <laughs> now it's going to take a time extension here. figure out sizing or is he considering trying to That's check the raise? There's a lot of things I think he's considering in terms of like does he want to check? Does he want to and then the sizing if he wants to like polarize again or does he want to like not do that? All in. All in? Well he's just going to well rip it all in and that doesn't give Berkey the chance to make a Blocker bluff at it, right? right? right. Or <laughs> any, or any bluff. <laughs> you wonder if he had bet if Berkey might have been thinking through the. Oh, yeah, yeah, turned yeah, around yeah. his head. He's gonna right turn ace of spades into a bluff. <laughs> Put it up on sure. Thirty yeah. minutes. I gotta wait. To find if out. like Foxen would have bet like, you know, third pot or something. Come on, dude. I mean, I don't think Foxen's hand Th wants to do that. Fifteen would be okay, but thirty is just like a might Thirty's a long time. There's one time. I still don't know what he <laughs> had yeah. when he when he bluffed Woo. me. Berkey, what'd you have? Ace of spades. I was gonna shove it. You check. No, there you go. Oh wow! 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 wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> can't you just bet the pot like I'm a normal a person? Yeah, like a normal human being. Immediately goes all in. Just going for it. Just all in. Wow! <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> wow, damn. This shit's crazy. It's just, just a no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Tr he doesn't trust you to bet bluff. Twelve. Alex going to raise it up here. Jack nine of diamonds from under the gun. Maybe. Garrett going to defend with king four of diamonds. Garrett flops top pair. <laughs> yeah, this, is a, this is a high EV board for, for Fox and versus big blind. So I'm not surprised to see a bet here. 1,200 in the call. Turn is a queen. So Alex turns... Gutter do a 10. It's also overs to the 5 and the deuce. Let's see if he might double barrel here. Yeah, this is a spot where if he bets, I expect him to likely start polarizing his range. So let's see what he chooses here. Forty-seven. Yeah, pretty big 47 yeah. here. Yeah, so this is like 80% pop, maybe a little more. It's not going anywhere with this hand. That makes the call. So 15,000. Oh, the river's a 10. Front door spades, and it gives Alex the back door straight. 
And that's a pretty, uh, I, I think uh, that's a pretty bad card for Garrett though to probably call call down here, right? Depending yeah. on sizing. Six into fifteen. About yeah. forty, forty five percent of the pot. Fox is very good at like understanding the target. So it's like he understands that betting big here is just gonna like fold out too many hands, so like he just bet sizes appropriately. This is a UTG, so tighter range. Yeah. Garrett throws a time extension in there. Oh. Garrett will have some slightly better hands to call here with, in my opinion. Like, just King X with a spade. He'll have, like, Obviously, some really good hands as well, like Queen X of Spades, etc. Some King Ten. Having a spade in your hand is like pretty nice here. Call. <laughs> so like even, even him having like King Nine with the Nine of Spades is like pretty perfect. Much better than having this hand. I love it. He's working on the size. Yeah. Ten seconds. Matt, what a real hand. Little thumb thumbnail version. What a real hand. And he says fold. It's just kind of tough, like, from that position to find a bluff there, right? If he's not opening, like, ace nine with the ace of spades, the king and the queen are paired up. Ace jack obviously makes a straight, right? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> unless he was, like, trying to maybe. Unless he was turning jack ten into a bluff. I right. Mean, it's oh, wow. This is hard to find. I mean. He, Fox is definitely capable of doing that. He's he understands like when he bets through the turn that size and gets called like the ten very unlikely has showed up. Oh, sure. It's so hard to have your hand. <laughs> I had two kings with the king of spades. Oh yeah. Fox and just getting hard. notice of the hand. That's wild, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did you really? Oh. <laughs> wow. Almost raised a very large amount. You've never I'll played with me, man. Well. I can fucking make magic happen. I run so far. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, you had ace king? Ah, <laughs> uh, I want to yeah, pull up. John, it's going to open 12? here at 1200. Now it's going to defend. Almost like a tournament defend range here with these antis, obviously, to 3x. Yeah. Heads up. Yeah, for sure. Alex flops a flush draw here. I felt like you could have gotten it in pretty. I've been on YouTube, so we can't see the Twitch chat. Yeah, this is just okay. really good board for John. He's going to bet a lot. He's going to bet this one. Can you get Twitch on this one? I don't think you're fully. We won't be able to interact with the chat. It makes the show much better. I'm going to produce for a little bit. 15 minute delay. 15 minute delay and Twitch chat. Give this guy an earpiece, man. Check, check on turn after a 1,000 call. And now the port gets double paired yeah, yeah. here, but so Queen High is actually bottom, good. Just get the, the chat. Oh, it's YouTube. Yeah, yeah Foxen feels pretty no, good chat, right chat. now about his hand. Check. Queen High. Yeah. They can talk to the players. Over here to Perkins. Could have saved 30k possibly. I don't think if I was feeling heroic. Decision so far. But yeah. Yeah, talking about things beyond my pay grade. Perkins, the bankroll, <laughs> or the banker of the, that no, those I don't Jamie think Staples bets, right? Between the yes, brothers. Yes, yes. The the weight loss bets. Yeah. 
And what did they yeah. win one of those? And lose the I other think one or correct. Yeah, yeah, I think they won the first one, which was like a free roll in my opinion. But then the oh, second yeah. one was an actual bet, <laughs> and they lost that. Sure. One. Alex is uh, limped in here. We were just talking about the second blind into straddle. Berkey checks three four. I was gonna take a little stab at it here. And he'll take it down. Yeah, it was uh, that Jamie had to get within. X amount of pounds of his brother, so his brother had to gain a lot of weight. Yeah, and Jamie had to lose. Yeah, that was the, that was like the first one, I think. Yeah. And then the second one was, I believe, a body fat percentage bet. Or yeah, or, and yeah, I mean that that's that was tough. Jamie played. had to get under like 15 yeah, percent or something. I mean, that's, that's crazy. It's, that's hard. I don't like that it's small. Okay. Like it's making okay. me like it's, it's weird that it's hard. small. Like it's working on couching. Yeah. In the, uh, in it some on. of the like stream tournaments, they, they just do that. Cause, like, on. Yeah, because I mean, at least for those like here, not everyone's like following the stream super closely. But when every well, single person in the nice field is table. like like buried in their phone between every hand yeah. to find out what people had, it's just yeah. like it saves everyone time to just put it up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, we usually yeah. play on like a five plus hour delay, and that's oh, that's a dream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's kind of nice. That's a fucking dream. Yeah. And talking about the high rollers yeah, and should just, like, how people are just like show. stepping away constantly to like, sure. look at their phones, see like, what people had, etc. And how this stuff. environment is like, yeah, a little yeah, bit more yeah. lax. Yeah. Or, like, can, like how they are not just like, the the door. constantly yeah. on their phone looking to see what people had. I don't have any more. Something got ripped. Something got ripped off. Oh, how's this work? What a business. It's a patch. I mean, if we wear this Velcro, patch, Berkey was like we're welcome to come. Anywhere. You're welcome to come visit. If you wear the patch, you will get an invite. Yes. You will get an invite and a boat ride. Oh, here, pass him one. Did you give him two? Oh, no. No, but like, patch it up. It's on your own. All right, I'm not dumb. Yeah, you're not dumb. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm not dumb. I don't think. It's questionable. Just take it off and stick it. So we're approaching the 9,000 mark right now. 67 on YouTube. Sorry, you can't do it. To what? To your shirt. There you go. Probably you has a, a, I mean, yeah, no, no, no. I like the back it. of the Velcro I like it. part. The, the other side. Yeah, I bet you that has to make it no? really felt. Uh, no, it's felt. You got um, that, that that it. Yours doesn't that work. Out? Mine worked. Uh, did it? Wait, is it sticky on the back of that under? 12. Like, can well, you work it on? Looks like you got you got some bootleg patches. Yeah, there. I got bootleg patches. This, I don't know where I got it. Trying to cut costs. I got the Trying to cut costs. Alex, you're going to raise it up to 1,200. King Jack offsuit. I'm going to go for the premium. This is a girthy patch. Huh? This and that's going to be a raise and take it. I'm, sorry, I, I'm pretty sure that other... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see the, the part that you ripped off. There's no, like... No, you can't. This doesn't... Really? Yeah, I like it. For however long it you stays. some double-sided tape. I like that. They'll get it. That looks good on you, Bernie. Thanks, man. We, 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 we should break for each other with you in the first one. <laughs> should have got me down there. I would have been firing. You can come down and visit any time. All right, I'm in. We had a patch, you can come visit. Perfect. Perfect. That's, that's just the one I want. Yeah, right. sure. no, yeah, I mean, where, where is it exactly well, again? I have to do something. I have to give you yeah. these oh. chips and you'll do something. Virgin, uh, who wants to change it? Thanks. Five. Let's put that figure out. Me? Yeah. Berkey here, raising it up to 1400. King eight of spades on the button. Another raise and take it. Oh, because he's new. Oh, no, he's he's 
Because we skipped the whole five out. What is the uh? Very fair, John. Pull the five out. What is that? One, Mosquitoes two, is good. Nick, uh, mystique, four, six, mystique is not as good. Eight. I'm just saying, like you want to do mushake, necker, or oil nut bay. I just, dude, I, I don't want to spend eight thousand a day on necker plus. Six. <laughs> it sounds like. You know what I mean? It's just like it's a lot. Of I know. Control. It's like a party every day. So <laughs> hey. Pretty sure uh, Perkins is talking to Dan Blazarian on the phone. Sneak peek into the life. You want to, you know, you want to look at this one? Not really? Yeah. yeah. Hold on a second. Can Dan Blazarian look? I can't get him to change. Can you look too? Can you look? Can you look? Can you give me advice too? Two players, two players per hand. Two players per hand. Oh, 40. <laughs> oh he's FaceTiming. <laughs> yeah, he should. <laughs> he showed him the hand. They both agreed on a fold. Garrett limps in here, second blind. Alex going to raise East 3 off. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty big sizing too, probably. Yeah, a little over 4x. Garrett's mildly amused. That's about my saying. What is this for Mildly amused. That's good. Yeah, I mean, it's just like. Someone had to be Jaw Rule. Yeah, 12? Stanley here to 1200, A6 offsuit. Boxing now with a decision to three but or call. I think he's gonna call. And Berkey's gonna flick it in as well. Well, Berkey with the gutter. Stanley's got the best of it here with the ace six. And Berkey gonna Pull a donk lead out. That's the first one we've seen all day. And a raise. Wow. A snap raise. <laughs> <laughs> Berkey leads for 2,000. Stanley to 6,300. And Berkey's hand's not in the muck yet. Now it is. Now it is. Wow. So you can't tell when someone has a flush or not. Yeah, that's, that's, why, I, that's why I don't like it. Yeah. What, what Matt, when you had 9-7 of hearts, you had yeah. a straight on that hand? Uh, yeah. I did, how how yeah. many, was there a flush draw? <laughs> I, can't. I don't know. <laughs> All black. Did you call? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't really better off there. You don't even need to answer. I don't even care. It's, I'm just, it's funny to me that I have no idea, like, <laughs> if, he, if he had a flush or a pair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you had 9 7 of hearts? Jesus. That makes sense. No, there was some hand where you have 9 7 no, of hearts no, 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 and no. Fox that has Queen Jack at clubs. So he's gonna, he's gonna oh, what did I have? Yeah, that's Fox. When he comes back, I got some. So Stanley has limped in. There's, here's another first here. Open limp from under the gun. Five deuce of hearts. You station. Matt completes. Got higher hearts. John's gonna check King Deuce. Wow, and here's the heart draw. And King Deuce, look at this, two heart draws. Stanley with a flush draw and a pair. Berkey with 7-3 hearts. And Sin with top and bottom checks over to Stanley. So I assume that John's going to play this as a check raise. And a limped pot, the first pot we've had limped all night. We're blessed with this hand. This hand would normally never exist. Can I give you an opportunity to free plug it, too? What is the and there's the raise. Oh, dear. I mean, let me, let me plug yeah, it a Yeah, Stanley's later. going nowhere. And that's going to put Berkey in a weird spot behind. Yeah, with sort of a really shitty flush draw, even though he actually has a higher flush draw. Right. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Remember, this was a limped pot. Stanley makes the call. Yeah, I, I think I like Berkey's fold here. It's like, hands pretty trash. Turn here is an eight. And that counterfeits John's hand. Oh, it's a head! No, I had the most... 
Check, check. The river's a 10, and that could have gotten a lot bigger. John's going to check it again, and Stanley might no, Stanley going to take his showdown here with the deuce. He does, so. Could have had a big matchup there. Yeah, yeah, that was. It says Matt, though. I had more equity than you did. Yeah, because Sin was blocking my house. Uh, Don't worry, you didn't win. Yeah, I had no shot. <laughs> I knew the flop was going to Good old Ace Nine offsuit, huh? Nice, that was the perfect nice flop three bet. Yep. Table talk is, but that was an ace is up of spades. Yeah. today then oh. last week, I believe, man. And, and that's good. Ace of spades, and I had the Ace of Spades. No, oh, I didn't. Oh, they think they were suited. That's cute. Uh -oh. I mean, sometimes you just feel the ace nine. Ooh, Perkins here, pocket aces. So go for that flop bed, huh? what, how much five is thousand. Five, I don't want to put five thousand. One thousand. I only want to put it in twelve hundred. Getting confirmation oh, on the uh, chip. Right, Doesn't want to miss chip amounts like, like Fox in early. What happened? You bet the third and one. The last one. <laughs> this one? No, this past hand. No, we oh, check, check, check down, check, 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 check. Oh, oh, Stanley with pocket Wait, kings. Oh, wow. oh, aces against kings. Now they're 83 5 effective. Did you win? Perkins raises to 1200. I have, I have a feeling this is going to get in. Johnson calls. Stanley going to 3 bet to 8400. High level analysis by me there. I have a feeling this is going to get in. At about 200 big blinds effective, 7 handed. I don't even know who that is. Oh, God damn it. Learn your history. You haven't played. I'm kidding. Since 1952 to 60. <laughs> it was on Jeopardy this week. <laughs> One of the geniuses got it wrong. <coughs> Berkey just said he didn't know who Eisenhower was? How much is it? How many Two terms, huh? Wow. Two <laughs> terms, he did it, yeah. Oh, you're being serious. I think I'm serious, but I'll probably just wrong, so I really. <laughs> so I want to cover my bases and say I might be wrong. I want to bet 21 blackjack. 21,000. 21,000? We raised to 21,000. So four bet here to 21,000. Last time I watched TV, Berkey. All in. All in. Well, there's nothing like having aces and. I'm calling. Call. All right. There's the call. Times? Whatever he wants. I let it's, it's whatever you want. <laughs> Customer satisfaction. Two times. Two times. Two times. So we can run it obviously more than yeah. once now. So I'm gonna run the whole board twice. Here we go. Well, Stanley's got the king of hearts in his hand. He needs to catch a king here. Good to win the first one. Now you just so Perkins is gonna win the first run. <laughs> of course, this is each run is for half of the pot. Not getting the camera here. Well, yeah. oh, oh, the river's a king on the second <laughs> one. Sometimes it feels like that, Papa. Perkins, a like little that. bit in shock. Oh, the to, 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 uh, to a ninth out of tenth card so comes, easy. and they're going to chop it up. Like, ah, chop. Like, what, what happened? I thought, like, my pair of aces won. Customer well, satisfaction, anyway, whatever you want. Tight. Tight. That makes me uh, <laughs> All right, 500, 500. <laughs> I'm, I'm the worst. Thank you very much. I have the worst luck in the world. Oh. Yeah. Last guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that you at I, I feel like that. Christian, no, the most easy. common, one of the more common or the most common question cup, I get cup, cup, cup. is, well, what's your strategy for running it more than once? Nice. And good, right? No matter how many times I tell people that it no, doesn't change the equity <laughs> one iota, I have nightmares about that. People feel they just can't, they can't grasp it. Yeah. People feel like if you, if your opponent knows that you're going to run it well, that was more than once, can. that and they'll somehow it. exploit you by like <laughs> trying to overcapitalize on your that's heroes my moment. and like, that push was my you off. See you later, yes. Good night. See you later. It's over. I don't think that, I don't think that's exactly true. Garrett here going to make it 1,200. Ace-9 offset. Oh, Shitty 
Stanley and Bill make the call. Good. Ace 10 3. Garrett's gonna check back, Ace 9. Yeah, I mean. I think that's that's an option for sure. It's like, definitely want to have some checks okay. that contain an ace as well. So, Garrett's now going to bet the turn, and Bill calls with a king. River's a nine, so that makes an easy value bet here for Garrett as he runs into aces up. Yeah, I think he's going to, I think he's going to bet pretty large here, probably in the vicinity of like 7k. That's that's good. Forty five? Yeah. I actually like the sizing too. Uh I usually expect larger sizing from Garrett just he just usually when he makes big hands he just bets pretty big. But like Garrett's very astute in understanding that Bill very likely has a king as played. Wow, and he's gonna get called. That's really honest. <laughs> the right read. That's yours. Feels pretty damn honest. Though, yeah. <laughs> nice hand there. Clock, just look at the TV. The Garrett train continues oh, yeah, so yeah, far. That is, four hours, I guess. So somebody in the uh, Twitch chat said, "Well, the second run, he's not 80-20 anymore, and that's true." But right. if you guys can wrap your head around the fact that you just never know when you're going to get in the pickle. If what's, you're 82% so what's, what's to win with aces versus this kings, this doesn't intrigue me. I think it's a good that thing. is what your equity um, is when you run it twice. Because you've run the first one, that means you've won 50% of the pot already. So well, yes, sure. your odds are less to win the second time, but it still remains the same. So like, like, for sure, I, I understand. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Give them yeah. a, a staking deal, give them a place, and, and, and follow their well, journey. And their how journey. much, like, post-production stuff are you guys going to do? For Twitch is more about the interaction with the audience. So no, I know the Twitch thing is. But there'll be one. more. I mean, now we just brought on uh, Brandon, Brandon to do some editing and like kind of tease course. out the narrative of yeah. all the players. And so yeah, I think it's going to be a lot more coming up. I think that's really good. Uh, like a little bit that I've seen so far of like the produced stuff is really really good. Yeah. Once they once, and and that's just more like the technical getting the film camera angles. That's great. But like what's really going to be great is. Garrett with a three bet yeah, to yeah, fifty four hundred against a button open here, and That's Sin's gonna defend. Lost, like, Sin mixes it up streamers. like pe people yeah. don't really know. Like really I've, I've heard some hand histories of Johnson. Yeah. Well, how about this bottom two against top pair here in a three bet pot? Nothing like running like Garrett bottom two and three bets, four yeah, or five of clubs. For sure, this is this is an interesting spot. I want to see how he proceeds. Like this is a pretty high check frequency board. Let's see what Garrett does though. It looks like he's reaching for chips. Eight thousand. John going nowhere. Yeah, this is not an online sizing with probably any hand, right? In a three bet pot from out of position. Yeah. The interesting part is like when he does bet here, like he should be betting much like larger than the normal, but like so So Sin makes the call. Twenty seven six. Turns a queen. It's a pretty good card to see for Garrett. Doesn't necessarily interact, in interact with the flopper at all. Unless Sin had a hand like Queen X of Spades. Whoops. Garrett bombing again. This looks like 25,000. It is. Interesting that Garrett's going for this size. I mean, this river is not going to fall favorably all that often for our hand. Like, if a six, seven, eight, spade, three, queen, <laughs> even potentially an ace falls on the river, all those cards significantly deteriorate Garrett's holding. So it's an interesting sizing uh, to attempt on the turn setting up uh, a future uh, street. No, no, he has king five. Oh, he has king five? Yeah, yeah the jack, oh, yeah, yeah. jack nine's clubs. 
Is that not close? I can't tell. I guess they do have the stream up there in there. I've never seen that before. I guess Ryan put the stream up in the... Uh, yeah. It was requested by John Sin. He wanted to needle people. <laughs> Again, we're playing 100, 200, 400 with a 500 big blind ante. Live at the bike, we're going to be going for another six hours. Going back to your running it twice, it's like equity is changing on the second run. It also matters, like, sneakily what suits you have as well. Sure. Like, so I remember, like, somehow running this for some odd reason. Check. And, Check. like, it changes, like, a couple percentage points. So. King 6 4 here. This is a limp pot again. In the uh, blinds, though. So Bill just limped in with a6. Garrett has a 4. Alex with the Iron hand. Do you know what the Iron yeah, hand is? Israeli Ron. How yeah. can I not? He's How gonna, can I be in this booth and not know this hand? He's going to just bet out here with Queen High. And look at that. Bill Perkins is going to check raise here with a6 for a little bit of uh, value protection slash, slash value. Yeah. Yeah. Bill with the moves, man. Yeah, I mean, the, the simplest way to look at running it more than once is that, you know, if you're, say, in a matchup of 82-18 or, say, you're 60-40 with a set against a combo draw, if you run out all the cards in the deck, that yeah. will be the result. Right, right, right. That's sort of the idea. Yeah, for sure. I get that. Yeah. So, you know, if you run it eight times and you split the pot into eighths, right. the more times you run it, the more times you're going to get to the actual it's run, equity. Right, true to its, true to its equity. Right. Yeah. Stanley with a king five suited raise from the cutoff. I'd like this. Let's see what Fox chooses. Last time he chose to flat king jack suited. This hand doesn't have as good playability, so probably gonna see a three bet, and we do. Stanley's gonna defend here. Eight three deuce. Yeah, pretty pretty high EV flop for Fox. See what he chooses in terms of bet sizing. I think his hand functions pretty well as a denial bet. Kind of but let's see. Forty five and twelve. I mean, Stanley does have some back doors. He's gonna make the call. He's got back door hearts. He's got a five in his hand. Obviously, he's got an over card to the eight. You can see that his equity actually isn't that bad. We There's the king. We, we would love to talk to you. Right, so you. Interactive poker. So it's definitely not as crazy a call no, no, no. as it looks Aiden, like. No, Aiden. for sure. Aiden. Yeah, backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw, like over card. 10% love, 90% hate. Check. Uh, and it goes check, check here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's about I the right yeah, 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 I was going to say I might bet if I was standing there on the turn. but Yeah, but I kind of sneakily like this check. Sometimes, okay. just because. Well, he's, he better get some river value when it gets checked to him, then. Yeah, right? yeah for sure. Because it's like that king's not really supposed to be good for you. Like you're supposed to like want to check some yeah. like sevens and stuff on the turn. The so like, was, uh, and look at this. Look at this bet. And look, all the draws yeah. Yeah. bust and out. Anyway with Eleven thousand four hundred, and, that and it would so not cool. surprise me yeah. if Fox yeah, and calls here, <coughs> because what is this guy value betting? Right. Exactly. This. This is why. Really why incredible. I kind of sneakily yeah. like that I'm check sure because. Okay, now he's going to see I have ace-king high. Fox yeah, is yeah, removing yeah, sevens yeah, from Stanley's range. That was, yeah, and that this was is going to my call, my cause this here. I mean, the only thing that I can say is that it is a three-bet pot, so Stanley might have some king-queens and king-jacks, yeah. but he is going to get called. And like I said, it doesn't surprise me. It's so Stanley really check back really turn, bet river gets yeah. value. When you get sniped there, obviously you're not a pretty bet. weak hand to begin yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah. You're winning nah, some of the time. You're out some of the time. You're not against yes, the Dutch. I will bet that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he wouldn't bet it like that. Thanks, Mike. Yes, I will. With a name like Poker Mike, I should probably take his advice. Yeah, what Poker Mike? <laughs> this is going to get feisty <laughs> <laughs> between the next yeah. chat. Poker Mike. I mean, I mean, like, yeah, it's like. No. 
Who's a bigger authority than yeah, you poker know, Mike? Poker like Mike. if he was backgammon Steve, you'd be like, "Fuck you, backgammon exactly, Steve." Exactly. But he's poker Mike, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, backgammon Steve. <laughs> Sometimes. But if my if my if my CFO was here, I'd be scared. Adam Burowitz, Bert, you see the poker in a pipe? UPS. UPS. I can't deliver things. <laughs> there is UPS in particular. Why King, UPS? Queen of Hearts, Why pretty hand here. Brown's not my Gonna make it like 1600. Color. So obviously yeah, out of position, Brown, gonna make it 4x. Yeah, easy to defend here by Sin. It's, it, I gotta tell you what, no, Google fucks me up. Because my kids came to me like, Google says you're worth 400 million. My kids don't count on it. That is complete bullshit. <laughs> it's complete bullshit. That's funny. I'm just telling you, it's, take the under on Google. You mean it's worth twice that amount? No, take the under, <laughs> kid. <laughs> 11. So Alex, you're going to bet 1,100. Really, really small. And Sin's going to call with the backdoor diamonds here. Yeah, he just has the best hand here. A fair portion of the time sometimes, too. It's just you don't have the money, and then people feel like you. Yeah. Can't just like fold every time. Well, both players here with king high end. John thinks maybe his hand is good here. Mm -hmm. Showdown, Rivers is 7. King Queen is going to win it here if it gets to the end. And it might go check check here. Already kids, power is big. Kids. Yeah. Oh. Kids. Yeah, and power. Yeah, both players just kind of have better hands in their range to bluff, so they're just going to show this down. And win the whole thing. Oh. It feels kind of nice to win with king queen high here, also. You did not have the same hand. <laughs> No more haters out there? Folded a pair just to Used to work in 2018. Box is a weirdo? Wow. I don't know how to even respond to that. No way you know. It's easy, man. You I'll know, eat your face. You know, if, you, if you weren't so fucking weird, you'd know. Well, the first lounge <laughs> 10. Like the idea that we have this is uh, Bill Perkins' <laughs> Twitch channel, right? <laughs> yes. Thirst <laughs> Lounge 10, so twitch.tv slash Thirst Lounge 10. I feel like Fox is. Or Thirst Lounge? Uh, yeah, this is a, this is a really big fuck, thing. But just this is a. Uh, physical prowess. This is. Just keep him Those things, like, they're all playing on. He has, like, an anchor tattoo. Or something. That's kind of the. What, I, what I've got from it, and they, only put one out? they have like a team of people. Some oh, yeah. of the people like this team of streamers, right? Yeah, yeah, tournaments yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and like they're all backed by like by Perkins, and, like and they're, they're like marks. competing to see oh, who can. Uh, what, what's that count Who's for? gonna turn the most profit? <laughs> you don't know, some of the players, the players in there is like Kelly Minkin, Cat Riffic, and a host of other players out there. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Perkins here going to go to 1,200, 9-6 of hearts. 4,000. Perky here with Jax in the small blind. He's going to cold call because Garrett made it 4,000. So raised by 9-6, Garrett three bets, 5-6 of spades. Garrett, um, Berkey with a cold call of Jax, and Perkins comes in from behind as well. Well, and there's bottom set there for Berkey. Flush draw for Garrett. Check. Yeah. Maybe Garrett checks here. Obviously, in the three-bet pot with a cold call. He I think, might take a card here, and he does quickly. Yeah. I think Garrett's checking yep. out high frequency for sure. Turns a king. One liner now to a 10. Not the best turn for Berkey. Certainly not the best turn for Berkey, but he's not going anywhere. And this probably checks through again. Yep. Garrett going to get a free shot at a spade here. Obviously, he doesn't want to catch a king or a queen, unless Perkins is going to start yeah. some crazy bluff now. Berkey would like seeing the queen or the king of spades. Now, Not is Garrett going to start a bet bet here? Interesting. He doesn't He doesn't have, well... He's going to bet 10,000 here. Obviously, I think Berkey's going to call, and yeah. Garrett, by checking back the flop... And this is going to be oh, interesting if this misses it. here, if, if Garrett's going to go bet, bet. So Berkey makes the call. 33,100. River is the three of hearts. Garrett. Hmm. Berkey's got two pot size bets. Just under two pot size bets. Remember, Garrett three bet and checked back the flop. Bet turn. 
And he is. He's going to go for it, Christian. Is he going to... Whoa, he's really reaching for those lavender chips there. There's 40,000. This is interesting because on the turn... And is that 50,000? 50,000! He takes the bet, bet, delayed double barrel line. Check back, flop, bet, bet. This is interesting because on the turn, he was repping both the possibility of having a hand like Ace-King as well as Kings and, and 10x. Now he's repping only 10x. And Murky folds! Garrett with the six high, 83,000. They're both the same, so turn it over. Wow. Side bet? I think they're the same as well. I think they're the same as well. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a, I'll take the field. That's a big time play by Garrett. You take the field? All right. Yeah, why not? 100 bucks. All right, you got it. You want to settle this right now? <laughs> Your $100 bet just answering. Yeah, yeah. Are my, really are my two cards in my hand the same? Yes. Uh, no, they're not. Woo! Uh, you know what? I'm going to use that for my small blind. Very interesting. It, it's, it's one of those spots where on the river, Garrett's repping 10x and... Berkey has to now decipher which 10x is it that checked back the flop and now is taking this line, that 3-bet pre. So, I mean, they definitely exist. There's ace-10, there's 10-10, so it's it's one of those six spots. Combos of ace ten, uh, six combos of 10-10, right? Right, yeah. for sure. Six yeah. combos of 10-10. We're not really sure how many combos um, he's 3-betting, you know? Yep. A uh, limp and a limp here. Bill with a gutter to a check. three. Check, check. <laughs> turn here is a nine of spades, so Stanley now turns a flush draw and he'll bet and he'll take it down. Um, Berkey made a, a crazy fold. Guys are always. Remind, was it at the PCA? And he, it was yeah, a full it was house like, and he wasn't it was right like or something? Nine's full, yeah, yeah versus. It was like. Six. I'm not really sure how many people left, but it was definitely super deep in the tournament, like sub 27, I believe. And yeah, it was like uh, player opens from under the gun. Berkey defends the big line with nines. Flop comes ace, ace, nine. Berkey check raises, turns a king. Berkey check calls, where it was a jack, and the player just like bets again. And Berkey finds like a big hero fold. Yeah, you guys are, Some ICM you guys considerations, are, I'm sure, too. Yeah, right? yeah, there's a lot of things. I mean, yeah. it's just completely different spots. And, <laughs> yeah, it's like in a tournament, people's ranges are much wider. I mean, sorry, much more narrow, uh, opening under the gun, sure, or defending sure. a check raise. Like. Dying hand in, right? All that stuff. In incentive to not r put risk, too, right? Yeah, like, this, yeah. this, yeah, it's so, it's just so, so much different. But, like, that was, I mean, that was a big time play by, by Garrett. I mean, Berkey now 3-bets Fox and gets action behind from John Sin with Ace of Clubs, Queen of Diamonds. Yeah, usually you don't see a whole lot of cold calling of 3-bets, but we've seen it a lot tonight. I mean, so far, like, at least a handful of times, and Fox is going to call here too, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, this is a spot where, like, Sin simply just doesn't want to, like, 4-bet get it in, but he also thinks that he's performing well enough versus Berkey's 3-bet range. So he's just gonna call. And everyone has missed here. Since got the best of it here with Ace Queen. Be interesting to see here if he bets and what kind of sizing he takes in a three bat multi way pot, which is not a common thing, a three bat right. multi way pot. Five K. Oh, yeah. he's gonna bet five Oh, Berkey bets five K. Excuse me, Berkey comes out and bets five K. I thought that was Sin and Sin snaps him off to as a call with Alex next to act and we're heads up to the turn. And Berkey now turns equity here with diamonds. Yeah, it is a really interesting hand now. Because Berkey has two pots left. So Berkey has to decide if he wants to go with this hand. Like, in terms of, like, bet betting. <laughs> yeah. And he's setting up a river shot, but I don't think it's, he's going to need it.
remember Sin was the one. Well, excuse me, Sin had cold called three bets. Yeah. That's why this makes more sense to me. Excuse me, I thought that Sin was the one that had the, oh, the pre-flop the, lead. Yeah. But it was Berkey. That makes a lot more sense. So Berkey fires one barrel, right. calls, double barrels. Yeah. Makes more sense. I thought Berkey had let out into the three better. Right, and what we were likely going to see there was just like breaking down bet to flop. Yeah. Shows, shows a kind of a small small sizing in relation to the pot on the turn, and then setting up like a polarized river bluff. Right. Uh, assuming you miss. So it was actually kind of a more of a standard hand than we thought. I mean, it yeah, was yeah. Ace Queen's going to call there once. Mm -hmm. Berkey C bats, picks up his equity, picks up his back door, double barrels. Oh, and... Yeah, it just, you know, the only part that's non standard is just. The jack eight of diamonds in there. <laughs> <laughs> the street poker. Yeah, the street. <laughs> Which is was fine. I mean, he's, he's kind of attacking a loose, loose-ish open with yep. eight six suited. Twelve hundred. I'm in. Yeah. John with nine six. Bill with ace queen. Are they shuffle on these cards or what? Yeah. Nine six. We keep, we keep seeing a lot of these. Five thousand. Five thousand here from Perkins is a three bet. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. I like this. Just knocking out. Obviously, Garrett wasn't even there, but generally knocking out Garrett and Foxen from the pots is going to be a good event. And John's going to make a pretty wide defend here to 4x with a sort of a th three gap or a double gap or whatever I'm you want to call it. I'm telling you, man. John mixes it up. Okay, so this flop is not correct here on the graphics. I believe it's King 9 5. See if we can get an overhead here, but we've got a graphics issue here. From I saw it flop. I saw the the you board the come flop. out. Yeah. Yeah. So you see the king yeah. come out prematurely. So let's see if we can get a shot here. The board. What usually happens in these cases is one of the muck, is. one of the muck cards hit the the flop. King nine five ace. Okay. King nine five ace. So Perkins now has the best hand with ace queen. Sin has nine six. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And it looks like Bill checked, and that looks like John wants to start bluffing his hand. Yeah, so the board still is not correct here. It's King, 9, 5, Ace with the cards mixed up. Bill C-bet flop. John def called the flop. Now Bill hits the Ace and checks the turn. 7,000 in call. John assuming that his hand... Oh, the river's a 9! Well, check. I was going to say John assumed that his hand did not have enough showdown value yeah. to check, but... The nine is also nice. So king nine five ace nine. It's interesting that John bet the turn. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it's it's a situation where like John assumed that he was just targeting some slight over pairs that like sorry, some slight under pairs to the board, like tens or whatever. Twenty five thousand and a call and the nine ball in the corner pocket on the river gets in paid off. King nine five ace nine. <laughs> Yeah. Bets the turn, sort of non-standard, and yeah, runs yeah. into trips. Yeah, he's betting the turn as a bluff and just realizes equity on the river and find the big bet. Johnson, that's how he does it. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's how it... Oh, yeah, I can't lie about that. No, what happens is the burn card gets picked mm -hmm. up by the reader. Oh, know, okay. And that's what, and that's how it gets okay, gets yeah, out there. That early. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so like, so yeah everything's all right now. <laughs> yeah, this table's up. Oh, John, I'm gonna have to like. I don't know if I'm folding any fucking thing after that. <laughs> I get lucky sometimes. What was that hand with Viffer against Phil Helmuth on po poker, af poker After Dark? It was that nine ball corner pocket, right? Nine, king king uh, nine versus yeah, yeah. ace king. Nine yep. ball corner. <laughs> Viffer had a way of tilting on the, people. On the king high board? <laughs> that was after Brandon Adams had like yeah, done just some like, ridiculous like, five bet bluff. And then Helmuth. like flopped the flush draw and yeah, just like shoved. ripped it in. Yeah. Helmuth back them, raised yeah. with tens and then yeah. like bet <laughs> fold. <laughs> Yeah, if I'm going to waggle, like, we were in the mood last time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, today they stepped up their game. It's like a lot of good food, yeah. edible food. <laughs> it's from the brewery, right? So, yeah, raise here by Sin to 1,200. Perkins to 4,000. Maybe a little bit of mini tilt here. 9 5 of spades, and uh, John's out flopped him. Yeah, I think Ber Perkins said. He's like, I'm not folding any more hands. 
2100. We know that Sin's not going to go anywhere. Here. Every day on the blob, huh? it used to be good if you bet 20%. Now it's like uh, 6%. Yeah. Is the right answer. What's one blind at this point? <laughs> Queen 7 6. Uh, Gut shot. Yeah, I was playing. Bill picks up the gut shot. Yeah, picks up a gut shot, but uh, poker it, again, I can't remember I don't which wizard it was. It's like a real life one. And he goes, Do I have to actually bet a, a not sure one if that big board was correct? <laughs> 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 I have to bet three <laughs> Oh my god. Makes Probably. sense though. Yeah, it, it makes sense for, for Bill to fire event. again, yep. assuming that board is fine. On the river. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Mm. It's funny you ask. I was just praising how good the food was. Yeah. You're probably the one responsible for that. You guys like the food. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, I got mango I know, I heard you. <laughs> they were actually for Dan. I don't know if you know. Yeah. Button moves over here to Garrett. I'm just looking at the replay here. Christian. I love how mangoes have become like a huge thing now. Yeah. How could they not? Fox in here from the first line. You mean like in recent years or after you request? No, like for this. For this. What was right? Ace queen again, jeez. That was thirty minutes. Six X. Yeah. Time flies when you How long do you think it was? <laughs> you think more or less? Less. Less. Fox ain't gonna defend here. So small one versus third blind here. Five six of hearts against Ace Queen. Say less too, but not that much. Why am I only sixty five percent? And Alex out flops him. Top pair gotta do a three. John, what are you doing? Check, check, and turns a queen. It's nice to Pete Johnson. <laughs> Better than that. Win the main nine ball corner pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turn the ace queen. Crack He's playing for check. Call to crack. Check on turn from John. He checked back the turn. Wow. Probably not the type of run out that he wanted to see, though, to get maximum value. River is a king. Yeah, he definitely wanted to see, like, the nine of diamonds. Okay. But this still is going to function as a bet. Yep. And now Alex just trying to put it together. Is John, you know, turning like an ace high hand into a bluff here? Like right. ace 10 or something like that, right? To get him off of his <laughs> chair. And Alex, did Alex call him? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Come on. Oh, just no, still no, thinking no. about it. Yep. That was just some sort of movement, but it looks like he was yeah. going to call. He does call. Ace queen. Either way, it looks like it was going to be one street with that run out, whether it was turn or right, getting for another sure. river. Has Berkey had a shaved head the entire time? How long have you known Berkey for? Um, seven years, probably. Has he always had a shaved head since you know him? No. He... I can't picture him with, with hair. He had hair maybe like three or four years ago. Really? Four. <laughs> yeah, three, four years ago. Thanks for the 900 bucks, guys. You guys shot my money. Garrett gonna so how often are all the players take down there at, uh, at the first lounge? Are they there like all the time? Um, they, they're, they're allowed to be wherever they want, but like oh, okay. there's, there's a contingent that's there all the time. Gotcha. And then people can just in the boat or wherever they are. It's regular life, it's not exclusive. They how long is it going for? A year, it's a year experiment. It's a year deal. Ooh. This can turn into some real world it could be, shit. It could be, it could be, it's, could be you know, lo longer than that, but we'll see. This can turn into yeah. some real world shit, man. There's been some things that have happened that have been, you know, interesting yeah. off camera that haven't been captured. Okay, okay. Can't really say yet, but if, if you tune in, I'm sure it'll come out. Yeah, I wonder if I saw the tattoo.
Yeah, that was just, I don't even know. <laughs> They're somewhere in like the Caribbean, <laughs> right? I paid someone yeah. half a million to get a rainbow tattoo. Exactly. I didn't really I, didn't understand I don't that. want, I like, what, don't quote like me on this, but I think it's St. Kitts. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought oh, it was yeah, actually St. Parts or St. Yeah. Kitts yeah. or like Net, what is it, St. <laughs> Nevis and Kitts right. or whatever. Raise it up here. When it was like 1200 by Garrett Pocket Jacks. Alex just going to call. I'm sure the chat will probably fill us in on where the Thirst Lounge is exactly. Assuming it's we're not correct. Bill calls with 3-4 and flops a joint. Check. And Garrett with the overpair. Yeah, we're probably going to see... And he checks it. Garrett checks it. Wow. This is probably huh? going to check through now unless Fox decides to stab. He does have two overs to the six as well as like turning pretty good equity. And this is interesting because I don't, I mean, Bill could look at this a number of different ways. If Bill raises, is Garrett just going to fold right away? It looks like Bill might slow play it. No, let's see here. I'm gonna call. Call. Okay. Gonna call. Well, that's obviously Garrett has to continue then. Yeah, interesting to see what Garrett does here. Check raising is definitely an option. Check raising flop with jacks at these stacks seems pretty. Well, I mean. With a, with a call, bet yeah, and a call. I think that's line. what's going to happen. I'm, it's just like. His hand is very likely the best hand, and once he checks and faces bet call, his hand does want some value slash as well as like some denial. Wow. So now, now what is Bill gonna do here? Yeah. Back raises. Ooh, and that, I think that's gonna let Garrett off the hook here. I, I mean, this is the absolute best sequence of events for Garrett's hand. <laughs> on this board. Bet, call, check, raise, yeah. back raise. I mean, it's hard for for Bill to be bluffing like 5x of diamonds, 3x of diamonds maybe. Maybe the not flush draw, like ace 4 of diamonds, but like those are really high equity hands. Yeah, fold. Don't fucking laugh at me, man. <laughs> Back raise, the strongest move in poker. Maybe we need to find some bluffs with that blind. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've 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 made some. I used to play five ten at the other casino down the street. Uh, you can put people in a, a, a huge world of hurt if they basically take the line that Garrett did, which is, right. you know, somebody else bets, you call, and now the preflop raiser check raises, and then the guy who bets folds, and now you back raise the yes. preflop raiser like on a rag board. Like, all right, buddy. Yeah, you have I got a right? five out draw. What yeah. are you gonna do? Huh? You're gonna put all. You're gonna put your three thousand in at five yeah. ten with kings, on five six yeah. eight. Like you're supposed <laughs> to just have it. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, that's great. King nine of diamonds here from Alex. Call here from Bill. Ace check, jack two diamonds. Curious to see if Foxen chooses to check here. But he's not. He's gonna bet. Twelve hundred. Yep. Just pushing equity. Let me ask you this qu question, Christian. You can answer this the best you can, right? Okay. What do you? Th why do? You, what do you think is the biggest reason why, like a re a good cash game, a good no limit cash game player, struggles in tournaments? Because I know you play a lot of tournaments. I'm sure you know a lot of players that are really good cash game players, like huge so, winning players, but they can't do anything tournaments, and you see worse yeah, players do better in tournaments. Thirty minutes ago. God, I've, I've so been, like, I think that. Like it just there's happened. there's multiple facets, but like I had this conversation probably with someone. I think that <laughs> cash game players effectively like cash game players in tournaments I'm, I'm I'm for just no, don't no, really understand. Take it back. <laughs> like they try to control <laughs> too much, where it's like you know they're always trying to take it to the flop. They're always trying to like make the best post flop like. They're always trying to take a post where, like, you know, 
at some point, like, you have 18 blinds or, like, you need to take a flip or, like, you need to, like, you're playing push fold, etc. Um, and they're trying to control too much uh, in, in tournaments. More on that in a second yeah. here. Limp, raise, call. So we've got Garrett limping in the second blind. Alex has raised ace four in the big blind. And Alex has flopped top pair, and I imagine this... Or does it peel up and make a sticky? Alex is going to bet here. He I don't think that Garrett finds chair, a defense. Which is absurd. Which 22. Is the dumbest thing. Like, well, why else would there be a bet? Because it's Velcro. And so you, you think that maybe cash game players play too loose in certain spots? No, I think they actually just try to, con <laughs> like... Just the back to keep it from sticking. It, it's kind of, yeah. I guess... It I'm struggling to anything, explain though. it, but it's yeah, like... They try to control too much as sure. it pertains to like sure. the that game is, is like, now that I'll buy. tournaments are volatile in nature like it's period like it, like volatility is <laughs> built into the structure like you're gonna have to be Gamble. all in yeah not yeah i guess but like you're gonna have to like push all in and like you're gonna have to try to try to like push out their equity and, and things like that you're gonna have to take 60 40s and, 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 and you know but like cash game players are not used to just like doing that they're like used to playing turns and rivers and it's like that's just like sometimes it's not the most profitable play, and then like, tournament players just understand that very well. Like they're not used to playing turns and rivers anyway. Well, here we go. Look at this, Johnson. Good to be Johnson. Going to open with black aces and get three bet here by Stanley with ace queen. Johnson's world. Guys, guys and girls. He's not missing a, a step. Like he's just laughing. Well, they're all enthusiasts. Varying degrees of of exposure to poker. Okay. Um, they, Jeff and Jeff Gross and Jamie Staples ran a kind of like an interview, like, "Hey, this is what you get." Okay. And there's and the four like bet. House, a staking deal, yeah. use in a boat, you, and you, got, you just twelve to five to fifteen, right. so and three x. in there is playing poker. They can play poker. They can do it in real life. You know, but it's poker based. It's poker more like a lifestyle. Yeah. And you could certainly find a fold here with Ace Queen no. to a four bet, but he's gonna def he's gonna make the call. I mean, UTG versus cutoff open, Jack ten three Rainbow. So Stanley's got two overs and a gutter to a king. Yeah, and this board favors Stanley. So. <laughs> I need a vacation. That's why. Yeah, you would. You would. Seventeen thousand. Watch this documentary. Probably gonna see Stanley peel one and. People's Republic of Desire. Have you heard of it? No. You'd like it, I think. Cause and that is, you know, when, you, it, when I agree like with you, that wow, Stanley just folds. You know, I was going to say, you said that the board sort of favors like Stanley, which yeah, is supposed really, to reflect so John making a smaller bet, right? Yeah, but he bet yeah. 17 wow. and a 31, which is actually, even shit, though like, yeah. it's bigger. I mean, it's 60%. Yeah, no, no. yeah, I just think he, he understands, like, Stanley's going to be wider than normal, and then and he's going to be able to bet aces for value. Blah, 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 and just take it can. You actually interact with the audience. So it's a, it's a different element. Yeah. yeah. Right? Be the chat. I was talking to Jeff right. about it when we were in the Bahamas. And yeah. I, I think, like, I think poker media has a long, long way to go. Like, I think there's a lot still untapped. Yeah. But streaming, I'm, I'm worried that poker is just not visually appealing enough. The, the problem with online. Twitch platform and, and poker is the delay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's because it disconnects you from the audience. Right. And it's all about audience connection. For right? sure, that little sure. delay. So the shorter the delay, the better. Aesthetics hurt too, though, for sure. Like I saw, I heard that they're building video games specific for streamers now. Oh, so they can get the the, the, the graphics, etc., through yeah. because of quality of stream. Yeah, your internet is like in the islands. It's like you know, island life ain't all easy. You know, the internet yeah, no, no, in, no, cuts sure. in and out. The quality's not that good. Streams lag. You know, there's a lot of obstacles. So putting together. But the great thing about it is you have really, really, we have some really, really interesting stories. So that's that's great the great stories that of like courage and taking risk and overcoming obstacles and that was like one of the big things that great. that I I wanted to push whenever I started Salt to Watch was just like original content because I feel like so little or so few characters are like actually developed in poker. Yeah. Like, that's how I ended up making the doc. Yeah, it, it can't just be another, well, you know, here, amateurs, but, like, we don't need another wizard channel. Right, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. nobody needs that, right? We got, yeah. I don't know, all the forums, what is it, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 4, this guy, the Germans, you, Salt of Life, the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the Germans are their own category. <laughs> Single-handedly destroying all that is good about poker. <laughs> I mean, we got enough wizard channels, you know what I mean? Like, we don't need another wizard.
No, no, I just mean like for content in general. No, I no, think, I think like characters. featuring the people and characters is, is yeah, yeah, really Yeah, yeah, you want to know. Cool. Did you see his dead money thing? No. He, yeah, he made this like thing with poker guys. It was really interesting. I liked it a lot. I saw it before I'd ever even met you, I think. Like nobody would sit yeah, and watch a robot true. play poker, right? Like, but you watch a show You'd be surprised. It's a huge story. Yeah. Alpha Go was an amazing doc. That was watching a robot Great play player. Go. Yeah, I watched. I watched, a, ch I watched a, a couple of. Uh, really interesting board Alpha, here. Alpha Sorry to oh, cut yeah, off yeah. the, the great guy table is talk. On it about yeah. why it's brilliant and how the thing plays. Flop checks it's through really and the turns an ace. Berkey has like new, middle set now. here, and he's going to choose to bet pos forty three hundred. Garrett with an open in the straight draw as well as top pair. It's going to continue. Probably through a call. Ninety-seven in the middle. And oh, that's straight for Garrett. Garrett here hits the ten at the end. Berkey just not running that well here tonight. Check. Berkey checks, and it's going to be a pretty easy value bet for Garrett. Remember, Garrett bluffed Berkey off of the set, representing a 10 from about a half an hour ago. Here he actually has a 10, and Berkey has another set. It's annoying to keep folding sets, too. $6,000. Berkey looks like he's going to quickly yeah, pay. Berkey not folding this time. Two sets against you, two one-liners. Probably had the same hand last time, too. We'll find out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't think the delay has quite caught up yet. Christian. So no. He might Berkey not know yet. Know yet yeah. But <laughs> he will know soon. Yeah, you should definitely watch Starkfish. Starkfish versus Alpha Zero. Just on YouTube. Just start the start. Garrett's now going to be up over 125,000 no here for the night yeah. in just about two hours. Yeah, Berkey and Fox. Yeah. Berkey and Fox uh, stuck a little bit, uh, a little over 30 each. 1,200. Garrett here, pocket eights. I was definitely going to flick it in here with Ace-10 offsuit. Wants to play pot versus Garrett as well as like Bill still involved. And here we go. Heads up. Heads up. Chips here, Magic. Queen-4-10, couple hearts here. Check? Yep. Yeah. 1,200. Well, Garrett's going to put in a little protection denial, as you say, right? Yeah. This is a, this is like kind of interesting because I like the queen ten. So the queen ten x uh, ver okay. coming from like the first blind like heavily hits John. Like John either his range is like very often constructed with like broader combinations or pairs, right? Or small pairs that aren't going to matter anyway. Right. And, right, and we beat those. So it's like yeah, it's not that much incentive for Garrett to bet, but like at the same time I don't wanna like go out on a limb and question Garrett. Like he's obviously an elite player. So And I think that John can yeah. put in definitely put in a thin value bet here with Ace ten when that turn goes check back. He's got the Ace of Hearts in his hand. Forty three hundred and he bets big so the King Jacks and the Jack Nines and the front door hearts break out here. Yeah, I kinda like Garrett doesn't have any heart in his hand, doesn't block any of those draws. Yeah. I kind of like this yeah, from John, especially when he doesn't have any of those cards in his himself. own hand as well. <laughs> uh, well, we saw Garrett, one of the first hands of the night, make a E7 versus 9-7 call against John. All right, I'll call him. He calls. And he does make the call here, and John gets some good thin value there with middle pair. Breaking it in. Breaking it in, rich get richer. Nice. <laughs> There you go, the worst one is a poker winner. That's how he does it. I think I think the hand with Garrett was just aired oh, in the room. Yeah. 
the five six hand. Yes. Yep. How could I know? Hence, a little He's bit of ejection on Berkey's face. Yeah, How can I what do? Hand is he three betting me with? Like what boxing. Head in his hand unless he's got 10 10. Yes. <laughs> After every hand, I would have to be berated. Too. No, we're not berating you. We just, we just. No, no, I want that. No, no, no. It was, it was, it was dope. You guys like, sit there it's like quietly. boxing. He's willing to shove into the nuts. I mean, like, you just have to lay yeah, it yeah, down. Yeah, the best idea. We've That's ever awesome. Had. It's true. If you guys are like quietly printing checks, I don't like that. But if you, if you verbally let me know how you feel, that I feel much safer. About that. No, oh, no, I was just. It was great. <laughs> You're just like, Berkey can never have a 10 here. Bill asks, what hand could he possibly... There you go. <laughs> you guys are just overdoing it. I was wait, like, wait, wait. I just guys, want to make I, sure my I'm best card's a 6. Right? I better bet right? a lot. I just, 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 right. just want to make sure... Fox opens Queen Jack off his 3 bet by Berkey. Don't add up to my cards. 4 suited. Yeah. Five, one thing that I am no, noticing, them, even no, not, they're not the compared same. to Stanley <laughs> <laughs> and Perkins, is that Fox is opening you know. by far the widest from under the gun. We saw 8-6 yeah, of hearts, yeah. we saw Queen Jack. Yeah. You wonder if Bird keeps picking up on that a little bit, or some of these guys are. Obviously, King 4 is not going to be usually a 3-bet next to Act, but, <laughs> but I don't Fox is definitely opening pretty wide from up front. I could have done that. But you did it. You might have called me, though. Like, I never called you either. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is going to defend with the Queen Jack. Ooh, and he flops top two. Okay. See if Berkey chooses to delay this one or chooses to bet flop. Forty-four hundred. Forty-four into about ten. Yeah. I kind of would have liked to see Berkey just delay, to be honest. I think that I'm unsure if he's like planning to triple here, but I think this hand functions pretty nice as like a check and then see if you pick up equity and see if Foxen chooses to check again with like some sort of underpair or something. Well, Foxen's going to slow play it. Turn is a 9. Berkey picks up a gutter to a 10. This is a good card for Fox in his range, so this is becoming slightly more difficult for for Berkey, Berkey to keep firing. Berkey takes a card. Oh, S chalk one up for Berkey. River's a ten. I feel like he never hits these cards on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Fox in slow play, basically two now, just a pure. Pure bluff catcher. Bluff this is catcher. also like an extremely good card for Berkey's range, so Fox is definitely going to check. Okay. And now Fox has to figure out how often Berkey has Ace King or King X in his range and figure out how often he's supposed to call. Right, like what, Berkey has bluffs here of what, like, you know, like Ace 5 suited, Ace 6 suited, things right. like that. Berkey should be betting pretty big here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, well, he's going to 1.5 exit here. So there's the overbet. 28,000 into 19. Yeah, and he should with, like, this hand as well as, like, the hands you were mentioning, like, Ace-5 suited or something like So, and Fox knows this as well. So this is kind of, like, the the meta of, like, how often is Berkey yeah, like, bluffing here for this size. Too, mm -hmm. like, for no, I mean, like, well, we just got Brandon down there. So he's going to, he's he does editing also. And, and I'll help, and I also have a full-time editor anyway. Cause okay. I have, Movie business. Well, here comes another time extension here. So we have Get 30 seconds, and then those extensions give you, a lot of editing power. I think, another 30 it, or 45 seconds. No, it's on one stream, so it's the Thirst Lounge yeah. on Twitch, uh -huh. and then they all just rotate. Fox, I'm very good at this. So you just kind of don't really have two people doing Trying to pick up physicals. They can, they can all group up there and do it. Like, sometimes they do RL, they'll take the boat out and stream around. Oh, all interesting how they live they're like. all in the same shot or whatever. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I think it's interesting to see the world through their eyes. Yeah. Like, going to, like, some exotic, you know. Berkey checking back the turn with Ace King. What do you think? See I that think flop so, turn? I think so on this turn. This yeah. turn's, like, pretty bad for... Yeah. for yeah. To, like, there's not many hands that... Fox and calls the flop with that fold the turn. Yeah. I mean, the audience has that. Well, what would I do in that situation? It sucks. It's great. It's whatever. You know, like that. That. So Berkey again has overbet the pot. So Fox and not getting two to one. It's like a deal to take advantage. Like you get a house, you get a staking deal. You call. And Berkey gets paid. 
Foxing pays off with top two. Perky! Ladies and gentlemen. I don't think I've seen Berkey hit a river in like weeks on stream. And that's or, a good, I mean, yeah. that's that's a, I think you pointed out, Christian, that's a good sizing against a good player. I think you can exploitively change your sizing Yeah, against a lot of live players that aren't paying attention. For sure. You know, the, the key here is like, you know, Foxen, Foxen knows that Berkey can be bluffing, you know, so, and... That's you really what it is. Like, like, Fox is, is good news for us. <laughs> like Fox is not making a bad call, and it's just like Berkey just has it this time. Like, but Berkey could also have like Ace Five or Ace Four instead of King Four. You know. I look like quite the hero right now. Right, if he's gonna call with like some of the better hands that he has. Yeah, exactly. So it's just. Take a look there. That Garrett's up 112,400. And uh, Berkey clawing back now to up 4,500. Yeah, nice that, was pot. A, that was a big pot. You're a hero. I'm fortunate, like, nah, when I see... I'm not mine. Like, when we talk about it. I'm friends with both Fox <laughs> and Ann Berkey, so it's like... <laughs> I don't want them either to lose. Yeah. Well, that, that, and that's a spot, too, when we're talking about minimum like, no, defense frequency. Berkey mm -hmm. bets 1.5, which means that now Five Alex nine. actually... If you bet Five. pot, Alex would have to supposedly call with 50%, but now he only has to call with, what, f was it 40 or 33? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's 40, right? One and a half. Of his hands, and 40's probably in there with Queen Jack Nobody when he gets there. Oh, I mean, that's one of the of best hands. hands he's going to have, but, yeah. I mean... Three bet, three bet here by Perkins to 5,000. Stanley open for a race of 1,200 to 5,000. Uh, and a call. And, wow, look at this. Perkins does not see bet the flop as a three better, and now just turns the world. Yeah, and it looks like he's betting 7,500, and Stanley probably going to fold, but looks like he's not... And you can see the equities here. 59 to 41 with one card to come because two overs. And there's the nuts for Perkins. Three bet with the 7 8 of hearts. Yeah, living life. Living Back to where the nuts. Not going to get paid, though, I don't think. Have a yacht in St. Kitts. And he nuts. looks like he's going for the over bet here, too. Or he's going for a large bet. 25,000? Yeah, that's 30. 30. Yeah. yeah, over bet. Wow, he's going to get paid off with just a five. I was just about to say, Christian, I just don't see many people take this line with a bluff, like with the ace-king. Yeah. It's Check, not... flop, bet, bet. Like, that's all you really beat, right? Right. Yeah. Ace-king or ace-ten. Ace-king, ace-ten. But, like, ace-ten might not. Like, those hands, another another thing is, like, those hands don't, like, people misapply how often they're good at showdown, so they don't even bluff those that right. often. Right, right. So, like... I, I agree, Ace King, Ace 10 doesn't have that much showdown, especially on that river. But, like, people still think it does. So they even under bluff those hands, so. So I agree with you, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, hopefully, we're, Brandon's getting down there. He's going to tease a narrative out. Good show. Plug for, shameless plug for the Thirst Lounge right there. As I get unstuck and get a little bit happier. What are you going to put it on YouTube? It's going to be on all platforms. Makes me think that I should start like delay, right. delay going, yeah, delay yeah, my yeah, over yeah, pairs and going yeah, bet, yeah. bet, turn river. <laughs> Dude, we're finding all, we're finding <laughs> just, all the new lines. Uh, we're finding the, the the back shove <laughs> bluff <laughs> and back the, race bluff. Yeah, the back, well, the yeah, the, yeah, all that. <laughs> Delayed double barrel all yeah, in. They, bluff. Yeah, they These are the new the new lines. The Germans are already on it. Um. We followed around a 1 2 grinder oh. for a year. Stanley to 1200, Queen Jack off. Alex going to 3 bet from the middle blind, pretty standard, I would think. Nines drives Berkey out of the hand. Stanley's going to call. Yeah, I like this. Stanley's out flopped Alex here. I mean, Alex is, if he decides to check or bet, he's certainly going to continue with nines with the nine of spades. For sure. I got to get two guys. 
He could probably bet small, or he could check, and he does check. Yeah, this hand turns fairly well. Oh, so checking, checking makes a lot of sense. Like 10, 7, 5. I don't know. Oh, so <laughs> <a good> <laughs> well, like, so, so, like, from my point of view, uh, as somebody who's, like, been in the industry a long time, it's easy to forget. Pretty big bet here in a three bet pot yeah, for Queen right. Jack on a Queen so High like, board. He bets 85 into 11 5 here. Overlook too because it's just happening all the time. Like streamers this or yeah. And you know, it's I funny think, because, you know, you, this looks like such an automatic defend, but at a certain point, do you fold out depending on the sizing? He does call. For sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. you could definitely yeah. debate just folding. Yeah. Or like, I guess he's going to force Stanley to like put in that all-in bet, and then he'll decide. Yep, there it is. Pot size all in. It's good for your production if people fail. Wow. So... But Stanley being a little bit on the shorter side can be very advantageous to, to him here, Christian. Kind of looks like a flush draw. Yeah, but now, now Fox and having like nines with the nine of spades is bad. less, yeah, less good. Because <laughs> now you have a spade which your opponent right. doesn't have as a bluff, right? Right. You also block nine ten, which is a double gut shot. You also yeah. block some flush draw. So it kind of sucks, but Five years ago, I Fox is not being put in easy spots. That's through. for certain, yeah, and that's a good fold. Yeah. yeah. Now you know you got a couple, you know, World Series. Of Give me another you got a bracelet. <laughs> in two years, you run this again. I'm gonna jump on it. Yeah. <laughs> you jump on it. You'll be in there. Yeah. I'll be in there. More of a World Series of Poker. No, but it's like it's a, it's a lot of work to do content 24/7. It is. Like to to get and edit it, and and you know you have. It's still getting organized, you know, like it's still early innings. I think we, you know, made some assumptions and, I, you know, whenever I make a mistake, a lot of it involves either making an assumption and not doing my best yeah. and, uh, and, uh, there's some hiccups, but learning, but sometimes it's just, learn it's a multivariate test on, all, on many, many oh. levels. Yeah. So we're learning and going, but I think it's going to be great. Yeah. I, I mean, you have the luxury. It's potential to be great. You have the luxury to like build a team as you go to. So when a need pops up. Yeah. You can add a member to the team. And and, and poker stars. Plug Ooh, member. pocket aces here po for Garrett. I mean, party poker. Party poker. Yeah, yeah. Plug shameless plug for party poker. Uh they were like great. And Stanley has limped. We like saw this from him earlier like, tonight. He was the only limper and it, he's limped UTG here. And he's gonna call, limp call. Yeah, he so, definitely yeah. wants to help he doesn't know this, but he wants to fade. A king or a queen. Oh, and we see a king in the door, and this could be trouble for him. For Garrett with aces, the ace of diamonds. And I can offset my cost. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm willing to take, you know, yeah, you can take a little offset these risks. Risk, yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's a it's a, it's a gamble. Yeah. Like, Three thousand like, will it's call. It's very expensive to run it. So that's similar to what we're doing. We're doing a bunch of original content. That's, that's, a, that that's a great card for Garrett, right? Uh, yeah, and I think Garrett's... Oh, oh whoa, are we like going to see a check call donk lead, lead here? And then maybe hit a home this is, something where Netflix buys. This is uh, those, like, 1Ks exotic. Yeah. 1K, 2Ks, whatever, and that's real money. It's expensive to, to, to do our dock, our budget. 8,500. By the way, if you're Garrett and you've got aces, look at the suits of your aces, right? There's only one yeah. specific ace five of hearts that's possible here, right? Sure. Yeah. So I mean, you've got the best hand here. I might even, I, I might just click this to 17, 18. Let's see what he does. I mean, front door diamonds could see some action card killers with the draws. You could also move in on this turn sometimes if he wants. Like, this is so hard to make a mistake with this hand. He's just gonna call. Rivers a diamond. Garrett does have the ace of diamonds. Thanks. Quick check. Now he's just targeting like King X, like very likely. Stanley has a hand of that sort. Well, I wanna check. Wow, he checks it back. Actually, I, I'm not surprised, Christian, because I was going to say, like, usually that check call lead is going to be, like, a straight draw that backs into spades or diamonds that are just, like, stop and going. <coughs> I mean, it's, it's on the surface, it. I, it looks... I, I get it. Yep. I, I think... If you bet a little and he jams, the only way you do it. Sure. But, like, if he bets, like, let's say he bets, like, third pot and gets jammed on, he could just fold. Like, his... <coughs> His opponent's is like not bluffing like that that often. Right? Take a look at the cumulative winnings, and that's why you can see Garrett's way out in front at 125,000. Uh, that's why, like, I like sometimes just clicking that up on the turn. Yeah, you that just seems get cool. get the you, you don't get, get scared stacks. away from the value. Yeah, it's yeah, that makes sense.
Yeah, and probably the the reason that Garrett chose to check is like the king was not the diamond, but like it's hard, man. Like people just don't check flushes on the river that often. Like once they get there, so I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to be too critical of it. I think that you know Garrett has his reasons. You know, so. Rebet here by Berkey out of the small blind with a mystery hand, and Garrett defends with uh, pocket fours. There's been a lot of like good boards for the in position player. Berkey's four. still choosing to bet four into 11. Curious to see if Garrett just releases this one on the flop. He has a lot of better hands to continue, but nope. Wow, he's gonna mix it up here. Yeah, you force, he's gonna force Berkey to put another bet in. Like, this is a good board for Garrett. Most of Berkey's range should start checking, so let's see. But he's betting again. So now Berkey's polarizing his range putting in two bets on this board after three betting. So, let's see. Bet 7,500. Are you saying that Berkey's not going to bet, say, aces or kings here twice? I mean, he could. He, he he definitely could. I just think that some of those hands will sometimes also check. So, it's not full combos of aces and stuff like that. Wow, saying. this is great, because we can't see what, what Berkey has. And Carrot Calls again. does not believe him, or he's going to set up some bluff on the river. Here we go to the river. The river's a 10 a good card for Garrett. I mean, you know, the reason why, like, this is kind of what I'm saying. Like, the reason why Garrett's not believing is because Berkey's becoming more and more polarized as he's putting, he's narrowing his range to becoming, like, either a jack, X plus, or nothing. And now Berkey checks, so is Garrett's hand good enough to check back, or is he going to bluff with it? I think he should probably. Well, he checks it back. Let's see what we got here. Ace yeah. jack. Ace jack, so. the jacks. You wonder Garrett, if he nipple. did give Berkey bet again. Oh, Garrett didn't believe him. Garrett had the wrong read there. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, maybe it's the right read. It, it's that's the problem with this stuff. Like, it's hard to know. Like, right. Just like Garrett is Garrett is probably saying like Berkey's ripping a jack or nothing. So when Garrett sees a jack, he's like, okay, that was part of what I thought could happen. Unless it's a diamond, and then. But like, I think Garrett would have been surprised if. If for some reason Berkey had like tens, and like like that probably would have surprised Garrett a lot more than than seeing Ace Jack. <laughs> Death is not the word for how he runs against me. And then I have Garrett. Ah, fold it. It's always interesting to see those those formations where like one player is getting like very sticky in in a spot and like guessing what their thought process was there. Like, come on, man. Give me the money. Yeah, you know how hard it is to flop the nuts yeah, with the four pockets? Exactly. Give me the fucking money, man. Like, wait, Alex here to 1,200. In the cutoff, king, queen off. Probably just going to get through. Wait, wait. Oh, I raised. You raised. And Alex is just sort of quietly and just not having a great night here, Christian. Down 92,000 here for the night. Yeah, it's rough, man. It sucks. Like... Berkey up 21,000. Get more yeah, playing. Like, uh, well, they, you, they, they're pretty, like, the, the great thing about this group is they get along, right? And they have, um... Is that, though? It's pretty great <laughs> if they didn't get along, right? I mean, they, there, there's, some, there's some little tensions that arrive, you know? There's little, there's, there's some romantic looks going on, too. That's right. also How long has it been? Oh, how many girls are there? Three. Oh, I feel like fine. Perkins is like Oz. Yeah, he's he's just around. behind a curtain, just like <laughs> whispering subtleties. No, the no. I, they, they pretty much self-assembled. And then, you yeah. know, and now now well, I'm just bringing a little bit of guidance. Yeah. You know, it's like Someone in the chat wants me to stop saying polarizing. And I can't just so I will abide him. For sure. He either has it or he doesn't. Uh, what are you going to do, like any like random events where all ten need yeah, to be like, there? Figure out the best way to Alex or King, Queen of Hearts. I like to call. John no. calls 9 10 of hearts. No. No, Bill in there, 10 6 of diamonds. Stanley also in there in the small blind with 5 6, so four ways. A whole lot of nothing here. King high, still good.
this is where I'm at, like, in... Like, these pots currently, like, where I'm at, are the ones that intrigue me the most. Like, how often should... How Fox and be bluffing. Yeah, like, right. that's that's where I'm, like, most interested right now. Well, well, you know, the sort of the cheater, as Doug Polk says, the cheater play, the, the solver play, which has sort of come into poker, which I think Doug said makes it less poker less interesting for him. Okay. It doesn't really account for multi-way pots. Right, that's, so. that's, that's what's so interesting. Like, yeah. it's like the new frontier of, like, especially for us that play cash, it's like, we see a lot of these multi-way pots. It's just like... Right. Yeah, and that worked, like, king-queen, like, okay, that that's a quote-unquote showdown value hand that turned into a bluff, but, like, he can't really show down king-queen high four ways anyway, so, like, he's bluffing, and that's, that's good, or maybe it's bad, we, we don't, we don't know. There's a champ. You heard everyone has champ? <laughs> He knocked me out. John here, queen, nine of diamonds. The final table. Everybody's sort of following the leader oh, well, now to three like acts, unless they're sort of in the blind when they're opening like the 1600. Queen yeah. Flop, Stanley calling here, four, five off. You always remember when you get knocked out what the hand was, right? Like you're just like, yeah, I'm trying to do Every time, like, good, good shit happens. Yeah, yeah, you remember that. John here is going <laughs> to delay. I don't know that we would have made it as far as a race. Going to bet 3,500. Yeah, that's cool. Right, yeah, I guess so. Uh, as long as you can emotionally process it, balance it, then you're fine. No, no, I think I'm bad. But if you can't emotionally balance it, you're dead. Because you just lose so much more. One of the other interesting things about the World Series, right, especially when you play in those long fielded events like the Millionaire Maker, yeah. Colossus, when you start to use that small sort of sizing that you study in certain boards, you get like a, a bluff response that isn't from yeah. a lot of recreational players. The spaz. Not, well, not even just a spaz, but just even like you don't exactly know if it's a bluff or not because you've used yeah. such small sizing, they just might just be doing it with Protection nothing. or like, yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen like so, yeah. That's the extra meta that like happens like in those spots. I agree with you there though, for sure. Raise it up here by John cool. Ace Jack. Stanley calls pocket fours. Bill Ace Eight of Diamonds. And Berkey's coming in here. Nine six of spades. All very reasonable holdings. Berkey flicking it in, getting a good price. Everyone else, good hand. Berkey flush draw and a pair. Johnson, Ace Jack, and Bill with Ace Eight. So two top pairs and Berkey with a big hand. See what Johnson chooses to do here four ways in terms of sizing 5,600. Gonna bet 2,000. Obviously, Stanley folds out pocket fours. I assume that Bill's gonna call. Berkey now with a hand that turns well, also like the seven and eight gives him a gut shot. Obviously, he has two pair outs as well as flush draw. Just calls. Picks up a gutter to a four. No, no, no gutter. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, no gutter. Sorry about that. Got excited with the yeah. six. <laughs> but the board will read out sometimes where like Berkey can find some bluffs, like yep. on a seven, on a four, potentially a deuce. He can he can have some like leads on it, rivers. And John's not scared of this card. He's gonna continue to bet here. Let's and see. you wonder if Berkey is going to possibly rep this card if whether Bill calls or or folds, you know, is Sparky gonna put some pressure on Sin here on this yeah, let's card? Yeah, I think it's interesting. Uh it doesn't really rep too much, like four deuce. Maybe some four seven. Yeah, four sevens in range for sure. Yeah, so he doesn't have he doesn't even have one in his hand though. So it's nice fold of, there by Perkins. Yeah, that's a great fold though. I feel like let's see. I I'm curious. I'm not I don't wanna say I think I think his plan is to like call and then potentially lead some favorable rivers. Well, he makes the call. Rivers a 10, not really that's, changing anything. That's not one of them, for sure. Yeah. And is John Sin going to try to go for three suits with Ace Jack? No, he just checks it back. Whoa! <laughs> I think he thought maybe yeah. for a second. That was 10-6. I think he thought <laughs> it was 10-6. Or he's just trying to needle perk. <laughs> Either one's fine. Mr. 
behind you. Wait, I'm very particular. John up now 25,000. Give credit like, yeah, to Perkins there, though, identifying that spot. Oh, yeah. And Sin yeah. betting twice on a wet board for just sure. to fold the ace eight. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Got to I mean, deal with Berkey behind you as well. Yeah. Sometimes you get check raise on the turn, too. Like, you call and, like, Berkey check raises and just put in money. You couldn't realize your equity. Uh, some of the players asking, I mean, some of the chat asking, like, who's up, who's down. Right now, Garrett is up a lot. And Alex is down a lot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then everyone else is like mixed in between. Stanley oh, stuck a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, uh, Bill, John, and Berkey up relatively small, respectively. Stanley opens this ace jack, gets called by Bill and by John. I don't think. I don't think Perkins is going to fold this flop to one bet. 2100 next to act has the queen of spades in his hand and a gutter to a 10. Makes the call. Turn is a 9. Check, check, rivers a deuce. Stanley going to go for some value. I would probably just continue to bet that turn, right? When Perkins. Yeah. Seems fine. Yeah, for sure. But it goes check, check, and he bits the river. <laughs> Crazy about about these games, like, you know, it's like the stakes are just so high that the number is, like, it feels like a lot, right? It's like, you know, Fox is down, you know. Whatever, 80k, or, but it's really not that much. Like, how often have you you've been down 200 big blinds? Like, how often in like a no limit game? Like, infinite. You right, know? right. It's like, and this is like bigger. It's like, bigger because the right because the antes right. and it's three blinds. Everything so it's like, head. he's not even well, down like as much as like is right. being you know. It's just like a pretty standard deviation. What's the stupid deck? Being down like a thousand in a two right. five game. You're right. just down a thousand bucks in a yeah. two five game. Like, it's not that serious. In a 2-5 game that, like, has a straddle on all the time. <laughs> Pretty light open here from Alex on the button. Going to get 3-bet here by Johnny's queen. Are we going to see some gangster tournament blocker shit here, that's Christian? What it, that's what it looks like. Ga gangster is... He's in the street. Yeah, man. blocker. Fox. 4,200. <laughs> Fox and goes hard. To twelve five. Yeah. I think now John just has to call. And he can five bet bluff, but I just don't see it happening that often, I guess. I think he's gonna call, yeah. I mean this is the the normal sequence. Ugh. Johnson, ace nine, ace here, twenty six thousand in the pot. Me? Obviously, John's right. gonna have a fair amount of aces though, too, right? It's osmosis. Yeah. <laughs> but he'll also have like queen jack suited and like king queen suited and like maybe a hand like jack ten suited and pocket eights. So like I expect Fox to bet oh, because so of those reasons. Christian, and I got the flu. His girlfriend and my friend got. Some He's going to bet that 20% and we're all in the same sizing, yeah. 5,500. And because of the target. So, like, kind of the hands I mentioned, like, all those hands just kind of auto-fold to, like, any bet. So yeah. he doesn't need to risk that much. Like, But it's, like, weird. Christian and I had, like, no ears, no throat issues at all. We were all stomach and viral. And then they were, they were like, coughing, sore throat. And that's a check raise. Yeah, that's interesting. I was just going to ask... You know, when you face a very small sizing, you get to check raise a more robust range. But I figured because John's hand doesn't really need any protection at all, that he might just call to try to let somebody barrel. Yeah. But he makes it 17,000. Yeah, I mean, John's just tricky. Like, he's just going to mix this in there, force, force Fox into, like, defend that appropriately, and, you know, he gets it done. 
I think that, you know, that's one of just that little pre-flop action there is where I think years ago, and maybe sometimes still in tournaments too, you see a lot of these really aggressive tournament players do really well by adding pressure on their opponents pre-flop with a lot of blocker plays. But when you get into these cash games, the guys that play high stakes and know how to, con they know the right hands to continue with. So you want to yeah. arrive with a good hand when you make that play, right? Yeah. Some sort of playable hand. Right. right. The, the, I guess the difference, and Foxen knows this, like it's not, no knock on Foxen, obviously. Right. He's a fucking, he's a goat. Like, um, is that in tournaments, when, when that play is pulled, leverage is bet right now. Right. Like, so it's like, often your opponent has to move in or fold mm -hmm. where in a cash game like the person could just call right you know and it's like they can have a continuing range right exactly yeah. so it's like now they they have a fold a call and a five bet range you know so it's like there's just more things to consider garrett has flopped the flush here by the way raising jack ton of clubs from under the gun doesn't look like he's going to get any action though 2000 into 4200 And that's where I think where I struggle. I mean, that question that I had asked you before was somewhat referring to me, too, because I have not had the best tournament results. And where I struggle is, okay, I've got a continuing range in a cash game. What am I supposed to do in a tournament? Like, yeah. what if I three bet the nine ten suited and the guy four bets me? Well, yeah. now I'm only going to have a pot size bet left. And yeah. I'm supposed to I'm definitely Full. continue in a cash. Right, right, right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's it's so way different. It, it's like two different games, man. It's like the strategies are different. Like, it's all about like understanding the leverage point. Like, leverage point is just much sooner. So it's like leverage is either pre-flop or mostly flop and turn. Where like in this game, leverage is like never met river. until the <laughs> river, right? So it's like yeah. So it's just like you're constructing based on the leverage point instead of like, <coughs> and and you should pick hands accordingly. Raise it up here by John, 1,200 on the button, ace-9 off. Garrett going to make it 69, ace-king of hearts. <laughs> now we see you with the pain. And John just not going to defend there, especially with the small blind in there. He had you all trapped up there. You escaped. And I think it's hard sometimes to do that live just logistically because... You're constantly moving around tables. You don't know exactly how much somebody has unless right. you're constant. Like it's a lot it's easier a online, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Online's easier. Yeah, you just know how many people, how much they have. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah. look at the screen, right? Yeah, and it's like it's annoying to be that person, but sometimes if you're gonna pull like like that that play, like Foxen did, you know, like in a tournament. Fox and will for sure know He'll know exactly exactly how much that person has. Like right. even if he has to ask them twice three like whatever mm -hmm. like you know Berkey gonna open to a little bit of a larger sizing now under the gun to 1500 I think it's called by Stanley on the button with ace seven offsuit queen seven six all speed yeah, let's see what Berkey chooses these monotone boards are fairly interesting Stanley's not even going to defend there with the seven no spades. So you know, definitely people will overfold those those monotone boards. Get some stats here that I can uh, share with you guys. So uh, Berkey playing 38 16. This is of course V pip and mm -hmm. pre flop raise. Uh, Johnson 45 27. Johnson's going hard. Stanley 40 16. Bill Perkins 22 9. Garrett 36 25. And Alex 50 36. Six handed. Yeah. With an ante, though, so it's pro right, pro right, right, VPIP right. probably shouldn't be in the 20s. For right? sure. No, yeah, I mean, people are going to defend the big blind a lot mm -hmm. here, and as they should. Perkins here with Ace King. Uh, no. Yeah. He'd rather not say on the street. I don't say no. I was like, no, Gary said no. No, I'm, I'm not an ant fold. <coughs> Gave it away. Heads up, heads up here, Berkey versus Perkins. Berkey got a three bet here. Okay. Well, Perkins has got, again, decisions here. It's Button versus 
Was it? Did Berkey three bet? Yeah, I saw five. I saw five. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that was a three yeah. bet and a call. Just I, really I quickly. Agree. Yeah. Let's see if we can see the the middle of the pot. Yeah, I mean Berkey's obviously betting there, right. so. And he's betting five. Yeah, there it is. We, we got it now. I expect Perkins to float one here, minimum. Ace king with the king of spades. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Berkey to five thousand to call. Out flops Perkins, 5,500 call. You can see that Bill still has some decent equity at 27%. Well, now Berkey here. That's it, two pair. He's drawn dead. Perkins is drawn dead. Yeah, this is a good card for, for Bill, though. So let's see what what, what uh, Berkey decides to, to do here. If he bets, that's like 10k, yeah. These, these two players have a lot of history, too. Like, they've been playing a lot of live streams. Back last right, give it. two, three years. We get you if you were bluffing. I was not. I don't think you were anyway. Seven. I think we had a fair play. Yeah, for sure. Free flop, for sure. Nine or something like that? Perkins has uh, impressed me here so far tonight. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really know what to expect. I haven't really Bill seen Perkins? it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. He's 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 been working. He's been working hard. Um, yeah. He's, he's, so from what I, Jack? rumor, Wait, I can't confirm, <laughs> <enough. laughs> rumor at least is that so the people that were working with Negrano a couple Jack? years ago, you know, um, are working with Perkins. So. so. Ah, Berkey with Jacks now. Garrett opens 12. Yeah, this is just going to probably take it down. Yep. You can see that Garrett just, you know, he, he doesn't have a problem not defending the hands. He's not supposed to jack 10 off, 10 8 off. Yeah. Buckle up, son. Yeah, he just releases, Buckle like. Up. And I mean, he should be opening, you know, aggressively on the button with the ante available. Like, sure. So he's going to open hands and you know, he's going to get three bet. Oh One of the things, like. That's Garrett's stats are pretty good. I like Garrett's stats. 35 25. That's yeah, the best anti game six. Yeah, he's just yeah. playing yeah. tough, and aggro, so like and not like dispute. No like, yeah. It's just tough. You know, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's just that one question of could he have stacked the king queen? Right. Kind of didn't click it up, and then now it's like, oh, what is what is a, what does a check call lead represent? For sure, for sure. <laughs> And it's tough to know, like, it, we'll never know what Stanley's doing that with, so, like, and... Because it's usually not a king, to be honest with you. It's the second limp of the night. Usually people would raise with king-queen as opposed right. to... Yeah, so it's it's hard to know, so it's like now Garrett has more information if he's able to, like... I'm sure he's curious about that hand, right? Because it's like... Or or maybe he did see it at Showdown, because... I think he checked it back, and he... Right, Stanley had to show. So. Right, so then he now he now he has more information. He'll be able to, he'll be able to you know, make better decisions moving forward in the Mayan. But then you would have said, okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, I check. Berkey Jack ten of hearts, fourteen hundred. So he's can make it a little bit larger. Bill in the middle. With king queen off, looks like he's going to three bet. So obviously Berkey's going to defend here. Yeah, we're going to see a flop. It's a fourteen <laughs> to fifty-five. Oh, Berkey oh, snap calls. You spot me position, no, Berkey. Berkey I'll spot Berkey. him the hand. Yeah, you got position, so things can be bad for me. Check. Eight six four. Let's see if Berkey starts to bluff here. Back door straight. Back door flush draw. No check check. One liner to a seven now. Wow, this is really, really strange because he checks the flop and now it's going to lead out here on the seven. You bet me and now you're going to bet that card? And that's Berkey just said that. It's so pretty, too. Really I'm a little surprised that Berkey didn't start a bluff there. Yeah, I, I kind of flop. I kind of like starting a bluff. I agree with you there. Like your hand turns really well. Seven, very deep in the seven nine, ten, jack are all yeah. very good hearts for you. Yeah, heart. Uh, so it's like I kind of like that. Just start betting the flop there with that candidate for sure. <laughs> Button moves over here to Stanley. Half back, half Again, we are uh, here playing 100, 200, 400, no limit. 
with a 500 Andy. I'm Bart Hansen, joined by Christian Soto. Christian Soto, one of the <laughs> two guys that have ever interviewed me. I know. That's you and awesome. Joey Ingram. Yeah. Way back on YouTube. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I. It's uh. It's good. It, like I, I still remember it. It was, you know, that's when. I like that. I like that it's such a sm small amount of like exclusive interviews you've, you've given. Stanley here raises it up to 1,200. 9-8 off. Alex going to call. Queen, queen, queen. Hmm. Stanley turns the full house. Yeah. Fox with a flush draw. If that matters for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, if you only get there versus the guy with ace high, right? Yeah. Oh, he bets 1,100. So obviously, Stanley's not going to go anywhere here. Okay. Well, let's see what Foxen chooses to do here. How much ace high he assigns Stanley. <coughs> Looks like enough for him to bet here. It's unfortunate because Stanley's just going to snap. 22 and a call. Okay, so some couple people are asking in the chat, where is Dennis? He's actually going to be coming in in 15 minutes to the game. We'll All be right. Seven -handed. Dennis, is, Dennis goes hard, too. Dennis is yeah. someone that... For those that, of you that don't know, Dennis Blyden won the WPT LAPC last year. And, you know, he's he's been playing some cash, and he's someone that is very entertaining to watch, and he's going to fight for some pots, and it's going to be interesting. I really enjoy watching uh, Dennis and Fox and Berkey. This is a great lineup, man. <laughs> Some people want to know how many interviews Bart Hansen has turned down. I've seen, <laughs> I've, I've seen and heard Bart turn down Vogue. I've seen him turn down Forbes. I mean, Bart Hansen's tough, tough one to get. I got pretty lucky. I'm not gonna lie. You're mostly in Houston? What's that? You're mostly in Houston still? Uh, actually, St. Thomas back and forth, but during the school year, mostly in Houston. Yeah. Because the kids are in school. Yeah. And then not the school year. St. Thomas. Did you play the main event at the LAPC? Did you play much? Yes. You did? No. Oh, yes, okay. unfortunately. What the hell, man? I actually skipped that one for the first time in really? many are you, years. Are you thinking of playing? Uh, I'm just not playing tournaments, oh, really, good for this you. year. Good for uh, you. Except for a couple the of The main event and yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, tournaments are, are you know, they're a gift and a curse. Yeah, I, I, I don't really enjoy them that much. I, you know, I justified it by promoting my business, but right. I feel like that can be better done on social media Check. nowadays. Anyway, yeah, that so makes sense. Just the the allure of like you win a tournament and the advertising yeah. from it is not the same as it was like maybe like five years ago or something. Yeah. Garrett here, Queen Nine of Hearts, raises and takes it down. Nowadays, someone wins a tournament every day. Like every every two There's people win a tournament every day. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere. I mean, I'll play the main event. I'll play the 10K 08, which is a limit event. Right. And then uh, I'll play the Millionaire Maker. I love that one, and it's yeah. also right there with the 10K. For sure. So, subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course. If you're watching this, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, they usually. Um, on the YouTube live at the bike YouTube channel has like hand of the day, which is like usually a clip of like one of the biggest hands or the most interesting hands or the most G'd up hands that you'll see. And the production is really nice. The intro and everything. I'm a really big fan of it. Berkey here to 1500. Ace 10 off. Stanley gonna defend King Seven in the straddle in the third blind. Yeah, I think this is actually pretty fine. Like, he should be defending pretty aggressively in position with a king, and he's out there. It's fine. Berkey bets and takes it down.
You know the other thing that's interesting, which you'll see here too in this game, and in tournaments, is that, you know, you see these tournaments and like some people are like sizing the 2x, right? So you've got an ante in there and your head's up in the big line, especially against a late position opener. You're like defending like almost 100% of your hands, right? Yeah, yeah. But what happens when someone goes like 2x and then it goes call, call, and then you're even getting better odds? Aren't you still supposed to defend less often though sometimes? Well, this because is the interesting part because you're not supposed to defend as many hands as if you were heads up. Right. Even though you're getting a better price. Correct. Right. Because the equity realization of, of the of your hand is way less mm -hmm. now. Like, you don't win the pot. Like, your equity pie is way, way, right. way lower. Right. What was your, what's your feedback on the burn? Um, incredible. I mean, it's, it's hard. Like, I, I really pride myself in being able to, like, articulate things, but it's really hard to articulate Burning Man. It's okay. You can tell me what you told me. Not now. enough drugs and a little too much nudity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> slight disappointment yeah. for John. Slight, slight, slight disappointment. Uh, no, I really loved it. Check this. It was really good. Some people saying you're being a Poker Hall of Fame 2039. That's, that's pretty good. That's not, that's not that far. 20 years from now? Yep. That's pretty good. 15? Alex has bet fifteen hundred here. I don't know who's in the pot. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> what do you mean? It can't be bad to be in the Hall of Fame. Have you been? Uh, yeah, but I was only there for a day. Oh, really? I flew. I was, it was. It was. It was. It was. It wasn't the right time for me to be a Burning Man. Yeah. My girlfriend was shooting some series in Oklahoma, and we were gonna go together, but then she got the job, and then it was, uh, I was like. I was getting peer pressured to try things I've never tried before. It was really surreal. At Burning Man? Yes. So I have a whole bunch of naked, half naked guys coming to my cabin. Uh, I'm like trying to sleep. And they're all like, you gotta try LSD. And I'm like, <laughs> this is like, this is a, <laughs> you guys are a lot right this now. This is a lot yeah. going on. Like I got literally eight naked guys led by Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> I was in, I'm like, I was in something's really, like, I gotta get out of here. Like a, you're not going to enjoy it in that scenario. Yeah, I feel like being peer pressured to do things is like not the, yeah. it's like not the, it's not the nature we're of it. We're for not doing it. You probably would have had yeah. a bad I trip. Got the house, I was like, I knew there was like a problem. Like I broke, I, I literally <laughs> like called the chopper and got out of there. <laughs> I chopper out. Well, John's going to see bet here, seven, red 7-5. Seven, this is button versus big blind, and I assume that Bill is going to take off here with like the back of flush draw there. and an 8. Excellent read. I'll let you continue until you fire does. away. He does. Wise decision. Turns the nut flush draw. And a good shot. Right, so honest, mid -hand. Johnson drawing dead. And <laughs> Rivers, the nut flush, does pair the board, but he's got the queen high flush. $3, this is a really hard, to, hard card to get paid on. Like the ten improves your your range as yep. well. So He's a champion. Uh oh, is John Sin gonna step in it here? Nah. Has not made a misstep all night. Uh oh. Raise me just like that. <laughs> seventeen thousand. Three thousand to seventeen thousand. Five and a half X. I won't say it. I mean, here's the thing: is he yeah. checking back any sets on the turn? No, he's repping effectively eight x of clubs or a ten. Re-raise. Re-raise? <laughs> Whoa! I'm not sure about that, but <laughs> well, don't know if I would have put the three bet in. But nice hand there for Bill. Oh, well, he's blocking the house. We'll see. If that was a block. That'll be fun. <laughs> Well, let's go. It could have been a both, but it wasn't. Let's go. Oh, I missed that hand. Either way, it's I missed the hand with played. Played. <laughs> it's like either no way. No matter what the contents of your hand, excellent played. Yeah. It's like John had a big hand there. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's How go. I that was, that that was fun. when a guy says, know, like, good. good read, like, I give up, you know, and it still goes for the river raise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I was like, what do you have? I was like, you gotta have You something. wanna know? Yeah. I had seven high. 
<laughs> so I was getting no value. It was not like you were going like, to no, no, no. over straight. Like, here. you could have, like, tried to min raise me and get, induce me to shove, but it probably wasn't going to happen. There you go. Yeah. Take a look that at the V pips been, there. That would have been probably the proper play. You got 17. Maybe you shouldn't have got it. 46 33 for Alex. He's going like 35. Look. And he goes, oh, he's yeah. weak. And then like, <laughs> so we got Garrett up top, Alex in the, the bottom, and everyone sort of in the middle there. Or was being thrown into the muck. John and Berkey are moderate winners. Stanley. Yeah, and that. That big swing between Foxen and Garrett is mostly coming from that hand of Ace King versus Kings on Ace Egg Sex in a four bet pot. So that's where like the majority of that loss and win is coming from, respectively. I'm gonna figure out a good answer for this one. I do like the amount of chips I put in that I don't know. I just like put a chunk in. Yeah, you were is. on the clock, man. Yeah. You were down to like three seconds. Yeah, and that's, that's the, reason the reason why. 15. 15. Can't use these up. These are valuable. Yeah, I should have used the time for that. Yeah, time bank <laughs> for the hand. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> for my raise. I think that's where I screwed up. And it would have been more. King Queen takes it down there. More raise. Deck, you know. I really like the, the psychology of the time. Just, just the atmosphere of this time. game. Like it's yeah, it's kind of fun. It's not super right. Good. It's yeah. like pretty chill. Like obviously these stakes are massive. Sure. But like you know these players are just like pretty comfortable in the in the environment. And like generally they're just like having a good time. Since having a blast. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So about 9,000 viewers here. Three hours? Yeah. About three hours. 1,200. And Perkin battle. Alright. He just elects for a little call here. Perkins here. Ace King again. Ace King of clubs on the button. Why that last hand it's 1,200. Perkins going to defend. Check. Very, almost, almost Check. very similar board to last time. Oh. Check, check, now Berkey here with a gutter to a 10. Yeah, Berkey has to bet now. Got about 2,000. Gosh, man, I really like you, but sometimes I really hate you. I'm You're annoying, like, aren't I? so annoying. Oh, man, oh, man. I did a very important card. And uh, Perkins folds. Some players asking how much Garrett in for. I think, and don't quote me, Garrett is potentially in for 100k. Yeah, he's got 211.5 and he yeah. bought in for 100. Yeah. He's up 111,000. Yeah, most players bought it for roughly 100k, except Foxen. Foxen bought him for a little bit more, uh, roughly 200k. And so that's kind of where we're at. Bill bought it for like 150. I felt like Ace King clubs, though. <laughs> See, that's my, that's very, my, it was very Ace King. If it was Ace King, it's eight. Yeah, that's my read. 1100. Ace King clubs. Clubs is. 1100 here from Stanley. Deuce, four diamonds. Wow. Bill just mucks an ace right on the fucking turn. You know. You like that? What a boss. Ace Garrett, that that, that hand with the Ace 8 must be coming back. Yeah. I'll 9 6 of spades versus yep. Ace Jack versus Ace 8 of diamonds. All the equity. You were 51%? How could I not be, man? Oh my god. How lucky did you get for her to come ace high? It was an ace. I have an RMP call. I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. But I'm going to tip you. Ryan, when was the last time Bill Perkins was on the show? They had me fly in, but they won't. They won't. That's for you. Okay. That's Ryan's fine. telling me that Perkins is this the first time he's been on the show? <laughs> Could it have been him before your time? Me, that he was on the show? Oh, may, okay. Well, I, I guess this is his first time. I could have sworn he's been on the show before. You're doing okay. Yeah, No, 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 no. I'm not greedy. <laughs> Said he's been on every other every show. Every other show. Good luck, Gabe. Like, holding. Pokestar's big game, like every, literally yeah, probably every other show. Pokestar's big game, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Five. 
Fox and opening the button and Berkey here with Jack 10 of diamonds is three betting. We don't get to see Foxen's hand just yet. Foxen doesn't want to raise fold the button too often. He definitely defends here a lot. So Foxen gonna call here with a mystery hand. Berkey here with a gutter, really good for that three betting range, right? Yeah, he's gonna bet. He can also turn some additional equity with some, like a nine or a seven as well, right? Yeah. Oh, a nine. A seven yeah, seven two, shot. double yep. gut shot. Yep. Well, this is going to be fun, so let's play a hand out of Foxen's. You know, all kings, all eights, all right. pieces. <laughs> Bet call. Queen jack in his range. Turn is a jack. Interesting now what Berkey wants to do. If he bets here, he's probably going to unleash the clip or he's going to check. You can see the action tracker there on the, the left okay. above the card. So. 1200 to 5k call, 4k on the flop call. 19 1 in the pot now. Checked Play over to Foxen. Check, check. 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 I don't know who she is. Probably. She better than you? Probably. <laughs> probably more disciplined. You're more disciplined. And is Berkey Less just going to hope to beat an 8 here? or? Well, it seems that way. <laughs> I'd rather be, it rather be her. <laughs> oh, King Queen here for Alex. Yeah, Makes sense. Logical Makes hand. sense. And I assume King Queen will probably check this back too, especially on a rainbow board. If would Berkey have like a weak ace here sometimes? He could, but I think I think Foxen yeah, yeah. I, I think I think Foxen's gonna probably bet checks all aces all ace X's check to him and then like check sometimes with like this hand then. Yep. This hand's played really standard by both players. Good to see uh Foxen win one there. No, There is Dennis Blyden. <laughs> yeah, there he is. You want to come in? That was my strategy. Yeah, sure. Someone told me that uh, Foxen used to play college football or something. Yeah, like that, at Boston. Boston College? Yeah. What position was he? I think he was a tight end. A tight end. Wow. So he's got to be over like 6'2", six, 6'3", six, something big. like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Feldman given the stats, 6'4", like 240. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> not Gronk, not quite Gronk stats, but still. I once, <laughs> I saw, I saw Fox in, in like an MMA match. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> so you think that Foxen could probably take out Olivia Olivier Bousquet? Then? I don't know. I really? Don't, I don't know. Uh, Olivier Bousquet is only like 190, right? Yeah, but <laughs> like I saw Foxen when he watches his back, he'll laugh. But it was like it was like a legit like mate. Like it was it was in a hotel room. Though. <laughs> Long story, but it was like a legit. Oh, Berkey bases. Yeah. Look at this. Garrett opens here, and Fox in three bets. King five of clubs. Berkey with the aces. And Berkey's going to smooth call, and Johnson's got nines behind him. So the non-standard play by Matt Berkey, and what is Sin going to do? So raise three bet cold call. Sin with nines. Sin's going to call, probably. Boy, that's just something you don't see that much. I mean, could Sin four bet here, though, too? Oh, that is and he is going to four bet. Berkey's, if it falls back to Berkey, Berkey's just frog, likely just going to call. Like, as the action is played. Um, unless he chooses... I mean, do, it would look really 
bluffing. Back race. Yeah. Back race. We talked about that already. Yeah. Back race five bet. But I see. I feel like aces is like such a special hand that he can just flat again. But I mean, yeah, but he can do anything he wants. Aces on the butt. Like, it's hard to make a mistake here. Berkey just has to decide like how strong does he think this hand is from John. A four bit out of position here is usually pretty strong. John's like at the extreme bottom of his range. So just to call. Okay, pot's 40k. Yeah. Roughly 2.5 SPR going to the flop. Queen, queen, jack. Very good word generally for Berkey. Check. John's gonna check here. None of these players are like thrilled check. with this flop. Check, check. Does John put a little protectionist type of bet out here? Uh, like 8,000 or? I mean, what is he targeting, I guess, is my question. Like, bet. it's hard to get called by worse and hard to fold out better. 14,000. Yeah, I, I guess I don't... I mean, Johnson's a very good player, so like, I'm sure there's reasons, but I don't see, really see a better hand folding or a worse hand calling. So. Murky calls. Backdoor diamonds now. Oh, the river's a nine! Oh, wow! Whoa. Full house for John Sin. Unbelievable. Sixty-six, seven hundred. Yeah, I don't see how Berkey can really fold. He's gonna bet real small, seventeen thousand, and just a flat by Berkey. Wow, those nines wow. are really, 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 really helping you. Nine is your favorite number. Come on, just admit it. What do you think about that sizing by John? Like when you you sort of like you know put in a. Put a sizing Whatever in on the turn, the was, and then you sort of accidentally yeah, bink the nuts. It's going down. It's going down. Yeah, and, and I think that's kind of what happened. Like on the river, he landed, it, and it's like kind of unsure what his target is because, like, what does Berkey have? Like that he called the turn with? Like a, he's jack, I guess. So it's like he's targeting like a jack because it's unlikely Berkey has a queen. And it, Berkey's outside of construction, so it's like John's not thinking Berkey has aces or kings ever, like often. So. On the river, like, John's just thinking, like, Berkey is a jack a lot. So that's the bet he he chose because it seems like Berkey is jack. Like, jack or a small pair. Right. Eights, something like that. Yeah, I yeah. guess eights, but... Yeah. yeah. Eights makes sense. Eights is going to fold the river, I think, though, but... Yeah. So it's like he's just targeting a jack, and that's that's the size that yeah. a jack might call, so... Berkey here, ace five of diamonds. Some of the chat asking me to take over seat one. I do not want that seat. That seat <laughs> looks pretty bad right now in terms of running good. I don't think. Uh, I don't think. I don't want. To, I don't want that pain. I'm gonna, yeah, party. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna join their party. Set of fours here for uh, for Bill. Yeah. Gutter here for Berkey. No one has a heart, and uh, East nine for John. So top pair gutter and uh, middle set here on a monotone board. Okay, and John's gonna bet, and Bill's probably gonna check raise. Oh. Just a call. Okay. Heads up. Check. Relative well, brick on the turn. John's gonna feel pretty good about his hand in terms of like betting for value slash denial. Bill Klein, though, with a set of fours. Bill Perkins, but... Oh, yeah. Does check I, don't, I, don't, I, don't <laughs> I don't know where you're... They I don't know what's going on okay. here. River's a jack. And I was wondering if Perkins, if he just decided to play the check call line, like if he wasn't he wasn't going to raise. Because, wow, and, and thin, it's since going for super thin value, and he's going to value own himself, and I think he knows it when he gets insta call. <laughs> right. But that was certainly a value yeah. bet, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. no nine on the river. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bill, Bill Klein's, sorry, Bill Perkins should just be Perkins under the, 
not Bill. Yeah, I didn't know what's going on here. <laughs> One question is why do billionaires play poker? And it's um, it's competition, man. Like these 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 billionaires are like very successful people in life, and they're they're competitive. They, and they're smart people, and they want to take on some some of the best. The money is not necessarily the factor at all. Whether they win or lose today, it's just another day in their life. They, but they enjoy the game. And there's also enough luck in poker where they can play well and they have a chance Better. to win. Like For you sure. know, it's like going out and playing with a professional golfer. You're never gonna beat the yeah, golfer. You're never there's no win. chance. Yeah. For sure. But uh, one thing about that line that Perkins took that I, I'm actually a fan of, as we see Dennis here, I'm going to raise it up here to 1,500. More on that in a second. Stanley here, 7 6 off, going to make the call. Okay. Right. Perkins calls and Garrett calls. I haven't heard a ton from Garrett. There we see Dennis Blyden. Check. 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 Check around. Can't see what Garrett has here. Check. Check. Thousand? Don't see the turn card. Thousand and a call turns a king. One, 127. Make it 4,000. And Bill check raises a nine, which looked to be the best hand, and I'll take it down. What I was going to say is, is that guys like Perkins, and I've seen a lot of these guys, like if they play in a lineup like this yeah. against pros, whether it's intentional or not, but a good line for them to take is actually get the, the pros to value on themselves, because if they play passively and they breathe on the pot, the pros fold. So they just, they'll check really yeah, strong hands to check call. Yeah, and, no, ends, and it ends sense. up being like... Yeah, yeah, and the pros tend to like get very thin against yeah. Yeah. like players that they've seen cap and like we'll never turn uh, a bluff or right, like right, that, right. Yeah. Your aces are dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree you know with that. I Checking like points. sets Checking good to hands. get guys to like that yeah. top pair for three streets. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, well, if they want to know how to get us, just, just trap. But if you trap, sometimes they hit a nine. Fifteen hundred. Dennis to fifteen hundred. Stanley gonna call. King three of diamonds. You got a third player in the hand. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to see Dennis, Stanley, Except for how fat and it's either Foxen or Garrett yeah. Foxen. We don't see what he has, but Dennis bets Queen 10 here with a ton of hearts. I have, I have a small one right now. Dennis and Foxen are our friends as well. They're, they know each other from poker as well as outside of poker. Well, Foxen calls with Queen 6 with the Queen of hearts. So pretty close in equity here. What are you at? No, you're not 20. I have to do that. I just hit that here. You're, yeah, you're, you're not at 20. All right, 18? I don't know. 18 or 20. You want to do one where, so like, Fox we both... Yeah, I think it'll look like you just check call lead. Like if we both hit our and he's going to get yeah. raised on the turn. Yeah. Wow. Check call yeah. lead. No friends. And now Dennis raises him on the turn. I think... This is a play where a, where you a lot of the you know one of the newer things is you credibly represent one of the board pairing cards that you can have right mm -hmm. oh, line like a five or a seven yeah, or something right that's why Foxen chose to lead the turn yeah, yeah. I've never been at ten I've never been at ten forty five hundred to fifteen thousand huh? yeah he's I'm just not okay. gonna I do some I do all kinds you know, of things so there's a slight I told you that's <laughs> Dennis is not here to fold yeah, yeah I'll try and get down ten percent. So does Dennis play a lot of cash too, or Dennis plays a lot of uh, PLO cash ah, okay. more than no limit cash? But Dennis is he plays super aggressive in your face, like. And he won the LAPC last year. And he won the LAPC. Yeah. You know, if you watch that final table, Dennis was uh 
throwing in the blind rays I gotta at the final table, you know? Blind rays, really? Yeah, you know? Oh, wow. He was just like so under G the, the GTO play. He was under the gun. He's just like, <laughs> he's just hitting the blind rays. Like, under the gun nine-handed? Or no, six-handed? It was, it was yeah. like six-handed, yeah. He's just like hitting the blind rays. Like, let's go. Like, <laughs> that's strong. I don't know about, I don't know what the Germans would say about ICM. <laughs> he's just like going hard. Kind of reminds me of the 2005. I'm gonna date myself. 2005 uh, Legends of Poker. Here at the bike. Oh wow. Kenna James and the guy. I don't even know the guy's name. He was, they were just going shot for shot, heads up at the final table for wow. like a million dollars. <laughs> That's crazy. Kenna James used to come on. Uh, you know who Kenna James is, right? Do you know? The, yeah, I guess it's an old. I mean, even Feldman might not even know who that is. Feldman, do you know who Kenna James is? Oh, he's on the wall. Oh, okay. he's on the wall. Yeah, he used to play back in the day. Who, who's who's uh, the no, next nomination time. for the wall? That's 6 thousand here from Bill, which means that this, I'm assuming, is a 3 bet from somewhere here? Or I think Matt might have 3 bet here. What looks like... I, I can't believe it's a straight race to 6,000. I think this is a yeah, raise by Bill and a 3-bet by Matt. Very likely. Call. Very likely he's playing that way. Yeah, and Bill has flopped a flush draw and a gut shot here. So. Yeah, and this is going to win. I like the flop. Through the river. Don't put diamonds on that. You can see a little bit. Uh, I beat you on the turn. Pretty good flop. Pretty good flop for this guy. Uh, river is even better. Kenan James was an old school pre poker boom. Yes. Bro. Yes, I will do that. Right. Strong. Pre poker. Hey, boom suited, I will do that. Well, he was a character. You know, he yeah. wore a cowboy hat. And That's awesome. Every time we raise, you're going to take it. I wish I would have peeled one. I had a backdoor. Peeling? You had a backdoor? Yeah, these five of diamonds. Yeah, but you don't know if your ace is good. If I have, like, he's just being. Gotta live on the edge sometimes, you know. I understand. You can't just be Ace six of spades for Perkins and the cut. Twelve hundred dollars. Who is he kidding? He's never folded. I would, I would never joke around. John gonna defend Jack seven of clubs. Whenever you know, you know you, one of these is gonna work. Check. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Double, so gut Double gutter back to a clubs, yeah. Yeah, I expect check. John to be betting. Oh. I'm really surprised John chose didn't, to check. Didn't bet the turn. Yeah, check. now Bill just runs it to an ace at yeah. the end. Thousand. Um, you can bluff me. No. I, <laughs> maybe that would be a hand that John would check race flop if Bill had bet. Jack seven or clubs. Yeah. I wanted it. Possible for sure. Uh, you were like, I'm going to fire 10,000. I'm just going to... Should have just all in. <laughs> you would have won. You would have won. <laughs> all in would have got it. Out would have got it. Alright, these are the stats updated. Garrett out of like, 108,000. Like and Fox down <laughs> about the same. No. Right, and Berkey's now down 40,000 after that Aces hand versus John Sin. The swings are real. The swings are real. Fox opens but, uh, button, gets defended you know, by Blyden on the third blind. Um, Fox flops a gut shot no, but I and two overs to second pair. That's going to justify a bet for him. Uh, I haven't got tested in a year. I was like 17 and a half a year ago, but I was like 20 pounds every year. Yeah. If I had to guess, I'd say probably confidently sub 16, definitely not sub 14. This is the latest I've been, though, since like college. But moves here to Berkey. Needles are allowed and encouraged. That's a new rule we put out. 
We're going to be going here for another four and a half hours here. Ryan Feldman's going to come and uh, relieve me here in about an hour. YouTube is for the hate. Twitch is for the love. So what happened? It's a... That won't make it 1,200. People can't recognize genius, man. 1,200 here from Bill under the gun. He's nine. Garrett just flat sevens. This is going to be a three by my turkey. Yep. Makes it 5,000. A little bit on the smaller side. Stanley's picked up ace, king of spades. Is he going to cold four bet here? No, he just calls. I kind of like, I kind of like just putting it in there with ace king suited. So ace king sevens and ace queen. So if we make this bet, do we have to be at ten percent at a year from now, or we just have to be at ten percent at some point before a year? Five thousand here. I like it to be a year from now. Okay. From Berkey, Stanley's gonna call, and I assume that. Garrett can't. Okay. Did Stanley call there? You no, know, like you get it. He, he has not. Done. He has yeah, not yeah, called yeah. yet. He's but got backdoor spades. This is an okay hand for him to call for sure. I mean, what, how much would you want to do it for? Well, what's meaningful for you? I, I mean, it, it, he does call, and that's going to get Garrett off the best hand. Garrett can't over call here. Turn is a four. Now the goal is. That's actually going to be a pretty scary call to, like, like for Berkey, this guy cold it, calling and then check calling yeah, flop. It yeah. seems like it's nine, yeah. ten, something like that. Sure. Or a jack, rivers an eight. <laughs> and he's going to win it. He's, he's actually winning 5,000 more than if he had shoved. Oh, wait a minute. Betting? Is he going to bet here? Tough. I've never been at 10% of my life. But I feel like it's something this I This should do. just like, win. Berkey should have. He's just like, like, what can you do? I mean, yeah. How, yeah. how does he have any bluffs here when he calls right. the flop? <laughs> 13-7. Really? No way. Yeah. Almost like you ran into like eights or something, right? Right. And, and also just, he could be value betting like maybe queens, you know, like that didn't stuff. Like if he didn't yeah. stuff ace king suited, he might not stuff queens like pre. Berkey's thinking about it though, that the line is, I guess, yeah, he's gonna, fuck, gonna get rid of it. Yeah, it's just like really Garrett, hard to you, find bluffs with this line. No, no. It, the weird the part is like I, I mean, I don't know. Like, I guess the under on he has so little now. bluffs that no, he, no, exactly. Stanley felt that he should, he should probably turn this one into a bluff because he has so little bluffs. Period. <laughs> No, I, I go to Texas Stands and I was it's, like, it's, I feel like it's really, it's really, uh, it's between 18 and 20. Surprising, yeah. Like what, what those ranges are. Yeah. Like the, what the body actually, like, what your body actually Yeah, when well, you actually get a when scan. You're like 20 or I mean, if you type though. in like 20% body fat, you know, it's surprising how lean it is. That actually makes me feel like I'm drawing dead for the 10%. You have to put on some muscle, man. I mean, I understand. You put on muscle weight, you But I would have guessed they weren't at 18%. Oh. 1,200. Telling the closest point. I've been... Ever since I turned 50, it's been all downhill. Will it be our second battle? Yes. No. Unless you spot me another card. I hear you. cool that they have uh, the stream running in the room. Uh, they, they <laughs> and you have seven five off. Yeah. Uh, seven high. Just like a, a I mean, it's the hand. Oh. True to form, John is not <laughs> suited and does not have very good hands. Listen, sometimes you just have a feeling and it doesn't work out. Yeah, I understand. It was gas. Ace queen here. Seems like we've seen a lot of ace queens for whatever yeah. reason. Wow, Derek, Dennis is just stuffing something. They don't see what he has, but he's got a mountain of chips that he just... 10-7 off. The man size bet. Ten, yeah, Dennis is not here to fold. Dennis Playing is, uh, the equilibrium. 
Yeah, East Queen off call. here from the cutoff. I said John's Dennis, gonna make a call. Dennis is in your face, man. Like he's not he's not here to make life easy. Big three bets, big bets. Check. But John has the recipe for everything. It's an honor system three. game, man. Do what you yeah, want. Whatever. He wouldn't care. Yeah. Give it a minute. Yeah. No, I was working. So four thousand here and a call. Men's call for you, but I'm gonna call for. <laughs> Turn here is an eight. So Dennis here turns. That gut shot. Gut shot. Bets twelve thousand. John gonna continue to call. Is that good? You can see John's ninety-one percent here. And only hope. Rivers a king. It's a good card yeah. for John. Dennis does not really want to give it up. Thirty-three thousand. John with a little bit of a wry smile. He knows he's gonna call, and he makes the call. Wins a hundred and twelve thousand dollars with East Queen. You're right, nines were good. You were lines. And that's a big pot for Johnson. Nope. That's gonna <laughs> skyrocket his winnings yet. for the I night. See that. I would hope. I hope you did. Just so you're aware, if I felt everyone on the table, I'm getting a private jet straight to Columbia, and you guys can all come. Everyone. Yeah, I like that. Just once though, like so. If you rebuy, like it's so. If you guys, if I felt everybody, and then you guys all rebuy, and then you guys all felt me, like I'm still held to that deal. John up above Berkey, uh, above Garrett now, yeah. 105,000. Yeah, John's Johnson the boss. This last hour has just been the Johnson show. Just for sure, everything going to Johnson's way. He's playing well. And, you know, making it happen. No. Raise it up here by Dennis. Queen 8 suited. Alex going to call in the third blind with pocket fives. Oh, flush draw here against a bluffer. Well, I mean, fives against him. You would think that Alex is going to call down here. Fox is going to hold on for some streets, yeah. but Dennis is not going to make it easy for sure. He's, he's going to put pressure. So 1,200 here. Queen eight of spades from Dennis. The flush draw makes the C-bet, and Alex calls with fives. That picks up a gut shot as well. Dennis is just going to keep the heat, I'm sure. Yep. Pop 5,600. Expect to see... I'm actually surprised to see the smaller bet, but he's... Two, two overs, a flush draw, and a gutter to a jack. You can see he's 39% with his draw with one card to come. Yeah, and Fox is just going to get sticky. It's a perfect fluff. Yeah, you would think that that would be a good spot for like a big bet on turn, but just a small bet. Let's see if he's going to follow through at the end. And the river is a spade, and Dennis gets there. The run bad for Alex continues. Yeah, it's just kind of not Fox tonight. <laughs> so far, at least. Two X. It's like I do not check. Thinking you were like, shh, shh. I was like, <laughs> either either got it or you don't. Know. <laughs> but I can't pull it. I mean, we just saw him seconds. barrel off 50,000 with I nothing this against is John. This is the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saved the time bank. He's time bank done. conservation. But I guess Fox and figures he has enough tens to defend with there, right? Yeah. I'm not going to call five. <laughs> yeah, that's he true. He like put the chips in and got to see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it lied about that. No, I don't. I, I, <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind. You have a king. You're like, ah, oh, 10 high. <laughs> Actually, might start doing that. I said game was on when Dennis walked in the building. Like, game is 100% on. 
pots are going to swell. And we'll see the f where the chips fall. Stanley here in the cutoff with ace hit off Berkey. Ooh, with aces. Berkey with aces again. This is not gonna to not gonna flat go. this time. Yeah, this is just gonna probably win. And, oh, looks like Stanley does flick it in. Ooh, Stanley gonna defend here. So Berkey with aces again. Ten six five. And that went. Yep. Luckily for Stanley, he doesn't hit an eight or anything like that, or the case ace. Mm -hmm. Commentators explain Berkey and Dennis history, please. Uh, Berkey and Dennis have been battling in the last three weeks, both here and uh, Vegas. In the cash games, or in cash okay. games, yeah, yeah, and just no limit turn, no, no limit cash, no limit cash. Yeah, there's been big swings between those two um, here and in Vegas, so. Dollar amount in the millions, probably. Take a look here as John is now up 105,000. Garrett up 101,000. Garrett now down to 3121. He just hasn't had any hands, I would say, the last hour and a half. Feels like we haven't talked about him at all. Garrett? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's also playing. It's tough. Like, Garrett, Garrett's very astute. Like, he knows that Fox is on his left, Berkey's on his left. Like, you know, he's not just going to get to, like, open freely. So he's going to play a little bit more. Constructed. As I say that, he opens the 10 6 of diamonds. You know, Dennis okay. defends with deuces. Check, check, turn is a 7, and that's open ended there for Garrett now. Gonna bet 2,000. And he'll take it down. Some people saying uh, Garrett added on a hundred. That's potentially true. He if, did add on a hundred. If the graphics have yep. caught, haven't caught up yet. Yeah, he's got three hundred five thousand. I guess he's just trying to cover Johnson. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. Because <laughs> because John started at one fifty and Garrett only started at a hundred. So. Right. So now we have over a million dollars on the <laughs> table. So there you go. There it is. The million dollar cash game three point oh. Raise it up here, Jack Tennis Spades from Alex Johnson in the middle blind. Just call, just calls the East Jack of Hearts. Yeah, I think that you know he has incentive to to do that and potentially keep Dennis in Dennis, in, in the pot with a wide range. And see what Obviously, you're the best ever. Try to flop something you good. Bring, you bring boxing out of his shell too. <laughs> one thousand and a call. Two for the price of one, man. Thursday, the one where we, we played together. Wait, no, so it was Friday, the next day. I didn't play it, no. I, I had a few cocktails the night before. <laughs> I went from, no, I'm good, I know this is going to go, do I don't have a beer, to four to, uh, Ten know, seconds? I don't know. So I was going to say, is Alex going to sort of play a delayed river barrel? Because if you're just checking back everything but play. Yeah, yeah. the Queen of Diamonds here. here. But he bets, 3,500. Are we also drinking? Because we'll change too much with how I play. Yeah. Maybe better. Right. And John just going to get away from the best hand, which is ace-jack. 
Someone in the YouTube chat asked, what are the chip color denominations? Well, let's go through that for you. The biggest chips are these lavender chips. They're sort of pinkish. You can see Bill Perkins in front of him by his left elbow. Those are 5K chips. The gray chips, which are also sort of big greenish gray, are 1K chips. The whites are hundreds. And if you see blue chips, they're 500s. So there's the 5,000s, the 1,000s, the 500s, and the whites right in front of Perkins there. That's 100,000 straight, stack of 20. You can see that Garrett has 200k stacks of lavenders. You played with Oscar a lot, though, right? That's not really his style. Yeah, you have it. Oscar's usually a little fight. Alex to 1200, king four of hearts. Or at least 48 hours. Sure, we'll see a defend here from Stanley. He's 10. More often than not, I've seen him just play till like 11 the next morning or like. Or the day after that. Yeah, even the day after that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, for sure. That's Alex the first here time I've seen with right away. an over as well as back to straight drop, back to close trust, and continue. Six or seven hours of being Pretty good board for him as well. 20 hours of getting out. No, I'm. I'm Stanley just checked folds. <laughs> So it seems like with Stanley, he's not finding those backdoor calls that some of these other guys, these yeah. pros are calling with, you know what I mean? Right, as well as like, Ace High could just be winning. Sure. So it's one of those things. And that's what's made... Jack 3-6 rainbow, I mean, right. it's 10. Against and that's what's made, to be honest, like, C betting tougher in the last like two yeah. years like people just don't fold anymore like right they understand their backdoor equity they just like yeah peel. we're doing the wrong it's, like, thing playing on a street before you used to just like c-bet and win <laughs> there's no more c-bet and win <laughs> you're drawing dead so, like, there's a lot more like checking yeah. more balance now with stuff like that like, but if you start least, a like, yeah, but if you start a small c-bet on the flop though you can vary your turn a lot <laughs> right 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 for sure for wide sure. i guess like the standard like oh just like you know half pot it or right. like that doesn't work anymore Alex here, two hands in a row, raises 1,200, ace-10. Stanley calls queen-7 of clubs, Bill in there, 9-8 off in the third blind. And top and bottom here for Alex. This is like kind of where my intrigue is also, like these triple Broadway boards are like I don't know interesting in the way they play. I think we did. Sure. It looks like he was nodding, yeah. I think that was, I dare you. 22. <laughs> what a half pot size bet here. Uh, it's probably just going <laughs> to be a full. Right? And the hand man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he dared. We dared, we dared you. We double dared you. Well, just, I, I lived here the past, like, six years. Yeah. John, what the fuck was this hand, man? What were you doing? What? I, I <laughs> what the fuck was this? For, I don't know. Berkey oh, what like, a lucky Berkey was letting him hang was. himself, and he just, like, I don't know, the, the, the rope broke. Like the Robin Hood movies where the guy shoots the arrow, the rape breaks, and, you know, well, chaos breaks. Like, I didn't even put it in the full mount. I didn't think it was a chance in hell you could have a good hand. So Perkins is up 47,700. Internally, you're just like, oh. Can Dennis hold back me. Christian from the 10-3 off on the button? Oh, Looks like the, the answer is no. Is why me? Nah, and he's not. Why not? Dennis is not. Why Dennis me? wants pain for you. It looks like he opened like, it 1800 too. Yeah, he's. He understands. So he's gonna go. 19. Yeah. All right, fine. Not quality. Dennis just wants to show you who's a, what's up. I like that. Bill's, like gonna, Bill's gonna call here. Jack eight of diamonds. There's the jack. <laughs> Dennis with a three. Yeah, Dennis is going to bet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> surprised me. Uh, I like the wink The wink check. It's How about top two here for Perkins now? 1,500. Very small bet from Bill Perkins here. Same thing if you've seen it, I'm like a bigger. Seven That's seven thousand that this is a raise. I got like seventy five behind. Wow. Seventy five spread the hand. Perkins doesn't yeah. think too long with it and just Stop. calls. I mean a three would be a Stop. very spicy river here. <laughs> Ten as well. Leave me alone. River is a nine. 
call. 15,000 and an insta call. And again, we're going to see Dennis bluff off some money here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We all, we, you don't even have eights and threes? We'll have to see. We'll have to wait for the videotape on this one. I genuinely thought I did. You, you played it as if you thought you had it. I believe it. I've done that many, many, too many times. Dennis said he thought he had eights and threes. It's possible. I don't know. Sometimes you look back, but... <laughs> it's yeah, it's definitely possible. Um, so yeah, I, I mean... I the, the crazy part is, like, if yeah, Dennis... I was the real, the, the real I've also seen Dennis, like, catch some cards, and, like, he'll be up, like, 200k instantly. Which is... <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's part of the strat, too. <laughs> Calling to see his hand means nothing. Oh. Calling to see your hand means nothing. No, no, never I mean, see <laughs> Dennis is Dennis Blyden, WPT LEPC yeah, champion. Sure, you forgot about the like the yeah, chance he missed right. Did you say he's a German or no? He's oh, he's American. American. Oh, okay. Pocket nines here for Dennis. Gonna I think make he's it from Cincinnati. Oh, okay. Originally. Make it seventeen hundred. You're really putting these dealers through the ringer, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Every fucking time it's one of your Perkins <laughs> quietly <laughs> up seventy-two thousand. Oh, I could care less. I think it's kind of funny. We'll <laughs> now we've seen Fox and just defend you, like and defend and defend. And he's going to defend here thing. too. But it's the one and two. Yeah, that yeah, that queen it. six off yeah, defend yeah, is a little bit, is real. <laughs> a little bit ambitious, <laughs> multi-way, but yeah, he's just not going to defend with his. This big of an ante, and Dennis turns a nine for a set of nines. Alex just with king high low. Faded Spade, get your cards using code B-I-K-E at FadedSpade.com using that code for 15% off. You get the four color deck, you can get the RFID deck, you could get a custom deck with your name on it. It's all there. FadedSpade.com. I don't know if I've ever seen a, like a live four color deck before. Yeah, I have one. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's oh. nice. It's nice. Very cool. So it's blue and green and red and black? Yep. yep. Yeah. Dennis with nines back to back now. That's the White House. When I look at people's names up there, I have, it takes me three seconds to to translate. Yeah, every, every time it says, uh, like, Bill, I'm like, <laughs> who's Bill? <laughs> and then it'll say Class Alex, here? and I'm like, fuck is Alex? Last names, please. <laughs> yeah, last names only would be great, boys. His name's not even Alex. He's made that shit up. <laughs> so sixteen hundred call call. On Twitter, it like listed the lineup, and one of them just like it says Stanley. Yeah. And one guy comments, and he goes, Ooh, "Does Stanley think he's Madonna?" Or what? Ooh, all right, over pair here for Dennis. Bill Perkins open ended here with seven five. So we're gonna see a little action here. Pot is ten thousand. Dennis bets four thousand. I'm gambling. And did Stanley call in between? Wow, it went bet call with ace nine. That's an aggressive. Stanley, remember, he was overfolding here, but I right. guess that's what he's seen from Dennis. Yeah, it's, a, it, it's one of those things like Dennis gets people to overadjust, and this is one of the overadjustments. Well, he got it. He got his straight. Now it is a <laughs> third heart. heart. He's got the nut straight. <laughs> uh, yeah. Gets pretty checked to over to Perkins. He's getting that real small. <laughs> yeah. 5,000 here. So Dennis with nines with the nine of hearts. Does have some equity. Of course, Dennis has got to worry about Stanley, though, in between, too. He'd be drawing, like, totally dead here. For sure. Like, you know, yeah. And he's going to fold. I think that's a very good fold by Dennis there. Yeah. Told you, I went. And it came. <laughs> Can I use that trick? You'll snap it. Snap it out. Perkins up 85,000. 
Garrett up 103-8. Johnson up 102-3. Some big winners in the game. Some some losers <laughs> in the game as well. Fox down 110. Berkey down 46. Stanley down almost 60. So there's some big swings so far. Dennis, pretty wide open here under the gun. Jack, six of diamonds. Garrett, pocket tens, three bets to 5K. And Foxen in the small blind, ace, queen off. Yeah, I, I don't see him flatting here. I think this is going to be a four better fold, right? Yeah, I think Foxen tends to lean towards the four bet here over, over a flat. So I expect that to be the case. You could fold, too. Could fold, but... It's this... a UTG raise, although it's Dennis, yeah. and Garrett 3 bending. But this right. formation just seems like, you know, Garrett is just trying to attack Dennis with a linear range. And... Well, it looks like... Yeah, there it is, 16-5. see if the Twitterverse is saying anything. And this is a tough spot for Tens. Like, he's forced to call. Sure. But, you know, this hand doesn't perform well in 4-bit pots, generally speak. And there's the defend. So here we go, 35-3. 4-bet pot, ace-queen off against pocket tens. And this is where it gets hairy for tens. Flop's the best hand, right one over. But are you going to call the barrels off? It's hairy for both players. Like, it, you know, this is a board that is pretty neutral-ish. Like, it obviously advantage is, like, more towards Fox, but... Now Fox has to decide how many, how many shells he wants to put out here, and 10, assuming he gets called here, now what? So, ten into thirty-five. I mean, Garrett's for sure gonna call. Garrett can also turn some straight draws as well. Right, and those cards are good for, for Garrett's range over yep. Foxon's. Turns a deuce. So now it's interesting if if Fox just wants to go off here. He's got pot and a quarter. Yeah, what would likely happen is you'll Stack. see a medium-ish bet here, maybe in the vicinity of like 20, and then... To and set then, up a jam. Or, like, or, right. or give up. Yeah. Right, right. Now he checks, which is definitely something that you probably wouldn't see with an overpair. So you wonder if Garrett's going to bet for some equity protection here. I don't think so. I, I think I think he's going to check. Just yeah. he does. He checks behind. Ooh, and the river's an ace. So one for Fox in there. Terrible card for Garrett. Right? Yeah, very good card for Fox in. With the twitchers, now Fox has to decide what type of sizing he wants to choose. This is obviously a very good card for him. He doesn't have that many bluffs anymore, so. Thirst, thirst loud hosting. Yeah, I'm just gonna just chat, jump in the chat. Are they hosting? Yeah, they, no, they're they're uh, they can multi twitch, right? Like they can, they can go multi multi dot TV and then go. Uh, 29.6. Yeah, that makes a lot of uh, sense. Right. This is okay. kind of like a catch-all size. So. Gonna... Is somebody else commentating Thirst Lounge? Uh, they're they're playing actually. They're deep in a tournament. It's about oh, half the size of the they're pot. They're playing a tournament, so they yeah, can. Is this all the party guys? Or is it the show guys on top of it? Uh, party? What do you mean? All the new party guys? Um, yeah, like party. So before <coughs> this, I was like, I have this channel, and I was like. Busy yeah, I mean, on Garrett it. now, so, like, his hands deteriorated like, a lot on this river. Probably just has to release. Right. Jamie and were like, well, what about two hosts? Because one guy, and then three, and then it was like ten. It just, like, exploded to this, like, let's just get ten people backed up in the house. That way there's no stress on any individual person. And they can do their own thing. Like, you know what I mean? They can just stream for three hours or a week. And it's Is Jamie and uh, Jeff doing anything for you now? 
I mean, they, they ran the, the curation process. Mm -hmm. they, they, like, ran it real quick and got the guys in. But they're not, like, streaming or anything for you? No. No, okay. they're helping out. And, yeah, I mean, yeah. Jeff runs Party Poker um, online team. Yeah. So. <coughs> Uh, so the ten guys were new, and then they 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 uh, they they were, one was already a streamer, but it wanted to come you know take the deal. The rest just said fuck it, I'll take the deal, see what see if I like it or not, you know. So we followed their journey. I back on that. Whatever. Garrett in the tank here. I, I think it could be right, great. Fold. Ian he folds, he announces fold. Wow. So I I jack five, I think. Lost the I mean, he, if the guy has two overs, right, it's only, he's got like 12% like equity, right? Yeah, I think, the turn. The, I think the turn, it's pretty, pretty like, it's just pretty standard track, like, he just got pretty unlucky on that river. He can't really expect <laughs> too many worse hands to call and better to fold, so it's just like... I mean, next time, what's it be next Obviously, time? he's giving up Four, the ability eight, for a Fox to realize his equity, and, and that's back. unfortunate. Right. On, you're up. <laughs> there's slash pay for advertising. Ace, three, four, yeah, five, we six. don't know. If I lose money, I, 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 I would have paid for the advertising. Man, I, my heart breaks for you, really. <laughs> that's what it happened in 2018. <laughs> Raise to 12 here from Bill. Mr. Fox. Stanley, you bluffed me with the Fox in here, king nine of hearts. Is he going to flat? Or he Both. seems to be keep going like he likes to do the multi bet thing. Yeah, I yeah. think he could do I think he could do either one, and this is fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start calling it that too. What? The multi bet. Multi bet. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Like Whether it's three bat, four bat, whatever it is. Multiple <laughs> bets. Like, if they double barrel, it's a multi bet. It's that too. Everything. That's a very like all inclusive term. I like that. Oh no! So negating. It's a little little Scarface, you know. It's not bad. So negating. Your wound is so polluted. You ever been to uh, Cherokee in North Carolina? No, but I've heard that it's really good. I'm going when they there. Have the going there next month. Not for the circuit, but I'm just going to be there, and I'll be there for a couple of days. Whoa. Have you been before? No. Oh. No. I'm taking a trip to visit my folks and stop in really? North Carolina. You know, yeah, I'll, 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 hit you, I'll hit you up see how that, that is. Yeah. Like, how was it? Because I've never been there. And like, yeah. I want to check out I Asheville, North Carolina. Well, yeah. And then you supposedly drive through the mountains. It's going to be like on deck free. They're going to take time. I've been to Charlotte. I, I like that city too. Yeah, I'm flying to Charlotte. Raise it up here to 1200, Garrett. Huh? Yeah, it's not like it's. Stanley gonna can uh, defend King 5 and Garrett. Flops top pair, Stanley top, flops bottom pair. <laughs> yeah. Some people saying the mountains are beautiful over there. Garrett now turns a spade draw. There's also a hand in progress, so I'll shut up. Um, I don't think I can ever make it. Let's do that too. 3,000. Yeah, that's it. Asheville sucks. Come on. I've never heard that. No, well, some people, <laughs> some people say like the mountains are really nice over there and, and things like that, so it's cool. Someone says they work there. Dan says they're Dan the man. I'm very proud of the way that thing's sticking on that. It's hanging. It's hanging. It really is. It's like right here on the corner and this corner. That's it. Strong gust of wind, it'll it'll come off. But. Of course, you can rewatch well, this, this episode nice. thousands yeah, more. Well. Live to the bike yeah, yeah. Get two free weeks using the promo code High Stakes. Johnson, only person up now, Five. plus a hundred thousand because Garrett lost that hand with mm. the yeah the tens versus the ace queen. Yeah, Johnson, a lot of things he's been playing great. A lot of things have been going well for him as well. So no surprise to see him up. Six figures in this game. Dennis looks like a three bet Berkey with pocket eights. 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Working getting loosey goosey with the raises. Taking it to the streets. Here yeah. we go. Ten nine off. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Not to, not and these guys aren't that deep. It's a, like a hundred BBs almost. It's a good flop for <laughs> Berkey. Yeah, Berkey's flopped uh, middle pair and a gutter check check. Dennis also has a gutter with eight. Ace is good for Dennis, but it goes check check, and that's a jack. This is probably just gonna check down at this point. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there might be a spitball fight. Worst beat I put on anyone all night. You know another place I'm gonna go to to visit the poker room, which is I'm sure you have not been here. Okay. Is Bangor, Maine, on that same no. trip? No. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's called Hollywood Casino. My mother family's from Maine, so I'm gonna nice. finally make the trip further up past Augusta, to Bangor. I, there are certain places I want to go, like it's not Bangor. You'd want to go to Portland, Maine's cool. Right, right. Like yeah. Maine. I want to go to like Seattle. Then it's going to three bet here on the button, ace 10, or just, excuse me, straight raise to 1500. And we're going three way to the flop, 5200 in the middle. Garrett, defending king 3 0 in the big blind, or the third blind, excuse me. Stanley flops the flush draw here, checked around. Thirst Lounge logo on the flop. And no one has a pair. If this goes to showdown here, Dennis is going to win it. Now Garrett here sensing, and he's going to bet the pot 5,000. He's going to pick up 5,000 here, I believe. I mean, Dennis is not going to call next to act. So those little spots yeah. there for Garrett of awareness. That's 5K. Sid and I are coming. Yep. Yeah. We're kicking the doors down. Yeah, yep. come, dude. It would be great. Come on down. We're gonna come Run down around. like drill sergeant, shake shit Pause, up. Call shit up. We'll film it. <laughs> like shake shit up. You call that a raise? <laughs> what are you doing? I thought you guys been studying saw for a while. You guys are terrible. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen here for Dennis Jack Ten. It'd be great to watch. Each of us would be yelling at them for something totally different. <laughs> yeah. And then every time the other one said something, like we'd be like, what you're you fucking idiot. They start fighting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we definitely leave them more confused. A little bit of something them. here for both Foxen and Stanley. <laughs> They'd like divide into camps. Like, I'm going with the Berkey team and I'm going to <laughs> Stanley turns and like eases that. up. Yeah. They're yeah. going to camps and be a war. Third yeah. club, and okay. no one okay. has a club. <laughs> but Dennis <laughs> now is going to bet. He picks up a Broadway gutter. <laughs> and Stanley's going to race. If it has anything to do with swimming, my yeah. camp loses. How about, how about if whoever does the most flips jumping off the cliff? Like if just like trying to oh, do as many shit. flips. Pretty cool raise there by Stanley. You're a psycho. <laughs> it's kind of like fun. valid yeah. denying. Broken neck. What's no, no, no. It's like good <laughs> water. You make... Have you ever been to New Orleans and played there? Too? The two five on Captain there. Head, no. Oh. I've been to. I've been <laughs> Florida. Well, obviously, Florida. I've been there, here, all East Coast, but that's it. How many states have you played poker in? Uh, not a ton. Not no. a ton. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I did. How'd you get that out There's so many card rooms in California, people don't even know, like little three or four card rooms. Got it, man. Places that have like grandfathered licenses from like the old yeah. west. You know what I mean? Stuff yeah. like that. 
You actually see that like in some of those okay, northwest, uh, the yeah. whatever you call yeah. them, the kind of like the big states like Montana. Like they have like card rooms like in the back of bars, Deadwood, stuff like that. Raise it up here. Ace five of spades. Two thousand. Take it down. We just, we're watching what am I trying to say? Like the mountain region. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sky Conference territory. We're watching you get called twice with Queen High and then get folded too with the Queen High Flush. And you didn't win it. Straddle? Straddle's on now. Yeah, here we go. That's all it is. Yeah, sorry. And Dennis is pretty short too. Thirty-four nine in his stack, so I said it looks it's like, like less than fifty blinds. He, I think he's gonna be itching to get it in here. CLC. Raise it up. Alex is going to make it 25 over 1, 2, 4, 8, so just over 3x. CLC comes in. John is Ace 3. Chip nope. leader something. Chip, chip leader coaching. Oh, chip leader. Dennis calls it. Actually, uh, I, was, I, I would have thought Dennis might coach. shove that hand, actually, but he calls with Ace 5. And that's and a good board for Fox. There's the king. He's going to be looking to get this in. Turkey, you and the ace. No, no, no. Yeah, they're being great to me. 19. 10k. Whoa, 1900 10k with ace 5. Wow. Yeah, I mean, Fox is loving this this time. Just thinking if he wants to move in now or later. I mean, if he calls, the pot will be like 26. It'll be a pot size. No, less than a pot size bet. He does call. Right, and I think that's. Turns an eight. Like uh, Dennis is not going to fall. Dennis can hit an ace here. Rivers a queen. So now, <laughs> Alex here at the top two. Just like never do, but like Jason would obviously I guess you try to target like queen jack or something. Uh, it's Jason sort good. of a weird race. Oh, yeah. Jason check. Alex checks. Yeah, he's yeah which I think is cool. I think. I think I think that's, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fox is, like, pretty yeah. astute to the... Uh, he was, he yeah, was great. Fox. Yeah, he was great. He'll come down anyway. Yeah. 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 Okay, so well, we got that. Yeah, yeah I like Igor that. It's a good draft. Igor and Liver would be a good pick. That's a great draft pick. Okay. Um, you know what I think is fun? Dan Smith. I haven't hung out with him enough. I imagine I he is fun. fun. He seems like he, he seems like he likes to DJ. Yeah. We got a draft. We got a draft dance for that. I'm going to draft. All right, so we got Igor. What's this draft? <coughs> Alex. <laughs> No, it just looks like he would just work out the whole time. I don't know. Uh, Dennis looks like he left the table for like a second. Come down to the Allens and have fun. It's the first time pro edition. It's like a, a week of pros just running around the island. On the boat. No, just like <laughs> Alex, our King Jack of Hearts on the button. Yeah, this is a really good hand on the button. A little bit of poker, but more like lifestyle. Looking for some action. And he's going like to get it from Berkey. Uh-oh. There are some fun people we're missing. we got to get a full list. We should get like the last 5, high roller list or something like yeah. that. 5,000 like, here. Draft from it. Now, you could just fold, right, to the, to the, to the, no, I'm not talking about King Jack, like when button opens. You could fold King Knight, right, the small blind. Suited? Yeah. He's not wearing the patches out. I think, like, the more we look at, like, the solves and stuff, like, you see that if, if Fox is opening a correct wide range, then he has to defend his hand. No, 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 no. Like, he has to call. Like, he should. No, I'm talking about you can just fold king nine to the raise instead of three bet from the small blind in a three blind configuration. Yeah, I guess I'm not sure on the three blind configuration, but I think obviously if it's a two blind, you have to call. I, I think king nine is still too strong to fold, to be honest, like even in the three blind. Well, Berkey's out flopped him. Alex does have a gut shot here to a 10 and backdoor hearts. 25. 
So he's going to start a bluff here. Remember, Berkey is the three better. So he's not going anywhere, obviously. Yeah, this is a good a good beginning to bluff for, for Fox. And just this board is really good for him. Turns a five. And I'm not sure Fox is going to let off the gas. Like... Probably gonna see something like around the vicinity of ten thousand, and then Fox an attempt to be moving in on the river. Sometimes, but we'll see. What? He can obviously also give up. So bad at this fucking game. Ten thousand five hundred. <laughs> every time I every time I'm wrong, all I can do is laugh at myself. <laughs> so about half the size of the pot here. Yeah, and at this point, Berkey kind of understands like he has to call here, and he's going to be put into some spots on this river. Well, oh well, well, I think that's a pretty good card for Berkey, huh? Right. I think also that shut that might shut Foxen down. Rivers of Queen, so Berkey here. Queen's full of nines, and you would think he's probably folding off some ace highs on turn, so Yeah. Yeah. Alex is just done with it here. Berkey wins. Would have been interesting to see a deuce. Yeah, and, and I, that I think he was gonna move in on a deuce, to be completely honest with you. And I don't know what Berkey would have done at that point. It's really tough. So, because I think when when the f when the cadence goes, three Fox bad. and yeah, yeah three, three bet call. call Fox and begins the flop the the bluff on the flop. He's already thinking like I ha this is a three street barrel hand, uh, and I just have like a really good candidate to like give him the blockers and all and his equity like to just go off. But then he obviously got an unfortunate river. Garrett. This is about as wide as he's opened here all night. Under the gun, 1200, 10 7 of speeds. And uh, Perkins going to defend third blind with ace 7. And look at this, Garrett, top and bottom versus Bill with ace 7 with the ace of diamonds. So you yeah. think Bill's definitely going to call her? For sure. Turns the king of diamonds. That's interesting. Wonder how Garrett's going to proceed here. Probably going to bet, I assume. Doesn't think too many bad things can happen from a profile like Perkins, maybe. Oh, this would be such a great play to raise here after, like, that little act, right? <laughs> That's true. No, just a call. Okay. And now, you, it's interesting, because you look at Garretan as, like, two pair, but do you get any more value here now I, with 10-7? I think, I think against Bill Perkins specifically, you could probably go for... Pretty thin value here, maybe like sixty-five hundred. Yeah, somewhere in that vicinity of like thirdish pot. Seven. Seven. Looks like closer to to half, and you know, I think I think Bill's candidate on the turn is like pretty interesting one to to raise. Uh, but he's looking like he's going to do it on the river. Wow, check raise. Now remember, Garrett folded to the back raise when Phil flopped the joint, and Garrett knows that, and this really does look like the nuts here. Raise to 21,000, so 14,000 more. Sure what was going on at any point. Oh, maybe 
I was just dead. I think I would have liked to see a slightly bigger raise. Um, just because chuck raising here is what the what the chat likes to say: either you have it or you don't. So probably should be trying to maximize the times that you do have it and maximize your fold equity when you don't have it. Great performance on the turn, he said. Wow, and he makes the call, and the right idea just not quite large enough, huh? I mean, he was getting a fairly nice decent call. price, like... I mean, it was still a tough call, yeah, like, for sure. <laughs> I think there's some merit for Bill to check-raise the turn, given that he does contain a 7, as well as the diamond blocker. So, like, the 7 is, like, sneakily important, just because... You block like some portions of of Garrett's calling call down range, like sets and two pairs and stuff. Obviously, this time Garrett had a two pair anyway, but it just makes it less likely that that's going to be the case. So like you can actually set up the bluff on the turn and follow through on the river uh, that way. Caught me my hand on the cooking jar. <coughs> I've been caught red-handed. Well, if you don't get caught, you're not trying hard enough. Yeah, I'm not trying hard enough. All in might have worked. <laughs> Would have worked more often than 21. It's like a lefty pickoff move, you know? Yeah, if you don't yeah, get caught yeah. bluffing, you're not trying. Right? Yeah. I still the butt of one. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was crying about the 4,000. <laughs> and then when I whiffed, I was like, motherfucker. No, it like worked in your favor. I was, I was like, like I'm this going guy for... fucking has the nuts. It's I'm like, going... I'm always here, but fuck it, I gotta look. I'm going for it all the time. I was so convinced that your card was the Ace of Diamonds with another diamond that even once you flipped your hand up, I was like, all right, you got it. They were both red. Had to look at it Seven four times. <sighs> what was it supposed? Seven of cups. Now look at this five ways. You're like, fuck, man. Alex starts this with a queen ten off oh. raise. Check. King four eight, Good couple enough. diamonds here. Matt with king jack. One way or another. Yeah. There's a couple people. Crickets with a so gut shot. Hand. And that's about it in terms of equity for the field. Okay. Surprised John didn't three bet that hand. Raise call yeah, on the button. Yeah. Three more people. <laughs> yeah, to get I, I, think I think you win. You bet into three people like that. What's all those people? Yeah, we don't get that down the hand. All my hopes and dreams down the 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 thing is, like, there's a lot of value in keeping some of these the, the players in the blinds in. Yeah. Like, I wonder, like, I wonder you know. like, yeah. is that a good bluff or no? Of course it's a good bluff. So check out the Thirst Lounge. That's Bill Perkins' Twitch channel. Yeah. And there, it seems like there's some, a lot of the table banter has been about the Thirst Lounge tonight. It has. It has. And what the plans are, what, what they're trying to do, and... I'm pretty excited about it. I think that it's going to be uh, as an opportunity to be like. I'm a really bad folder. So the play could be At least great, some of the table said that, like, the me, real maybe. world of poker. So no, we'll yeah, see. Yeah. Again, must bluff at least 20. So Garrett now back no, in the yeah, league. Yeah, Garrett, it's, yeah, it's more like six game. figure Honestly, Garrett. 40? Yeah. All right. I think 40 mean? has a little pause for concern. Uh, they do it on the window card. I hear it's a two. Deuce, deuce, deuce. Someone in the chat said, be right back, getting pulled over. Oh, well, wish you luck there. Hopefully it wasn't because you were watching this. <laughs> John raises here. 1,200, king, queen. Can't help myself. That's why they invite me. <laughs> me, yeah. I actually feel like yeah. it might be a deuce, deuce, deuce swap. I hope so. Well, I Alex hope so. is going to make the call. As a defense. Deuce, deuce, deuce. And Alex flop trips. About time, man. Diamond. He's defended every damn blind. <laughs> yep. He's just whiffed. Well, the eight and the six aren't here. We're going to have to. John does not see that. <laughs> Ooh, five is out, right? Five's out of the. Five's yeah, out this of is the just table, a good so. board now for Fox, and it's. He's just going to bet. 
I assume, but he doesn't, and I see why not, like, he's just gonna win here, like, every time, and he just has a lockdown, so he's just hoping John catches up a little bit. This is actually... Check again, know, right? I mean, we can a, see the cards, but... Right. This is a good... It's unfortunate that Fox actually has the ace, because it becomes less yeah. likely that John has the ace, but... It's unfortunate yeah. that John has king, queen, not no right. parent, too, right. as opposed right. to, like, jack yeah. ten or something. It's kind of annoying for Fox there, but... So I think this is going to be my last hand here, Christian. Ryan, oh. Ryan Feldman's going to come in here after this hand and uh, relieve me. Well, it's, it's been, been a, fun. It's been a pleasure, of course. I feel like... I'll be up. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play on the anti-game a week from Tuesday. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm glad I got to do commentary there. I feel like you're an OG of the commentary well, game. <laughs> and, and, like, you know, I pick up a little thing every, thing, every, t every time I get to listen to you commentate, so that's oh, nice. Come on, man. Big Three bet here from Bill, ace queen. I like this. So raise to twelve, call. Three bet. And Sin's probably gonna defend sixes here, right? This deep against Bill. Yeah, I mean I'll be pretty excited to call here on the button with sixes, two hundred thousand dollars deep. Not that I've ever been two hundred thousand dollars deep, just saying. Hypothetically, they do, they do show the in some land. That is unfortunate. And Stanley's going to come in here too in between? Yep, he does. Stanley pretty getting pretty short. Trying to get me? <coughs> well, Bill's going to see that. Now, John obviously has to worry about Stanley. I mean, this would be an easy call heads up, right? I think he might fold. It, yeah, it's just wow. like, it's one of those, like, kind of annoying spots. Like, you're getting such a good price, but, like, you have Stanley behind that might shove sometimes and still have to play streets out of position. And, yeah. Christian, it was a pleasure. Hey, man, for sure. Thank you, guys. No, this was, um, this was great. Yeah, and I'll be back to commentate a week from Friday and play a week from Tuesday because I'm going to Arizona, so... All right, guys, have a good night. Ryan Feldman coming in. You're the king of fucking... You got to burn it anyway, right? We're getting old here, man. I know, that's like, true. I don't want to die with it. Yeah, so. fucking... What's that 30000 going to help you with anyway, man? <laughs> a, a nice Honda Civic to get around in my old age. <laughs> What's up, Christian? Man, this game is out of control. Is it out of control? Yeah, so this is like part two of the game. Like official. Like yeah, we are now, <laughs> halftime ended, the, the band came on the field, Yeah. Uh, we had the, the cheerleaders, you know, all of that, you know, uh, uh, Ja Rule came out and performed, <laughs> and the music didn't come on, and right. now we are in the mix, well, welcome part to the two. Game. Of the million dollar cash game, there's over a million on the table, and look what I walked into. Garrett raising up on the button, and Alex Fox and waking up with my second favorite hand, Pocket Kings. It must be nice. You just let Bart Hansen commentate the boring stuff, and you just come right in. And it's king versus king queen. Like, went into the production, right? Must be nice. Yeah, you know, call for Garrett on the button. There, there were sticky ones? Like the, yeah, the 13K in the pot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And that is a flop if I have ever seen one. Can't stand up about them. Full house for Fox and top pair for Garrett. Let's see how much Fox can get in this hand. He's got the greater than 99, the less than 1%. You don't see that too often. I think he's going to bet just simply because this board is so good for his range that I think he just like wants to bet a lot here. So this is probably going to be a small bet situation. And then, yeah. I'm surprised he's betting, but it's a, it's it's going to really work out for him. People are probably asking, what is the less than 1%? How can Garrett win this hand? Well, that's his equity to chop if it goes 4-4. Right. And then they both would have quads with a kick. That's the only yeah. chance that uh, 
Garrett has. Obviously, he doesn't know that. This is a great flop to him. He's wow, feeling really is, good about this. this raise? Right. Wow. <laughs> and Alex Foxen, no matter what happens here, is going to win a big pot. And imagine the feeling when you're in a three-bet pot, you flop top boat, and you get raised on the flop. That is an amazing feeling. That's this like is, waking yeah. up Christmas morning as a kid. It's pretty dreamy. It's pretty dreamy. I'm a little surprised to see Garrett raise here on this kind of a texture, but he's running into it this time. Pot's 39k. Wow, oh this is... Oh my, what a turn card, the four, and somehow Garrett actually does have the the, the chop equity of another four comes. The full 1%. I mean, this is going to be so hard for Garrett to get away from. He's got fours full of kings. Alex Foxen has kings full of fours. The question is for Garrett now, how many streets, though, can he expect to get called by worse hands? Yeah, will so, Garrett pot control this turn? He's right. kind of trapping as well. Right. Of course, he could lose the aces or kings here. The river's an eight. This is. This could go a few different ways. This could go fox and bets, Garrett calls. It could go fox and bets, Garrett raises, fox and three bets. It could go fox and checks, Garrett bets, and fox and check raises. It's all going to depend what Foxen does here, and if he does bet his size. The it, interesting part, yeah, the interesting part for Fox is like because he contains almost all the kings in his hand. He's just thinking that Garrett's like probably full of it. So there's a lot of contemplation of checking. Yeah, I would say when when Gar when yeah, and he's just going to snap him off. When Garrett checks back turn, Foxen probably feels like he has to bet this river. Yeah, and he bets 24. A snap call from Garrett. He doesn't even think about raising. Hello, Dennis. And the way Garrett played it, he probably Hello, lost, you know, at the minimum, but, you know, he could have lost a lot more the way this hand played out. Like, Garrett could be betting the turn and losing a lot more, but by checking back the turn and just calling River, $87,000 pot definitely could be a lot worse. All right, this could have went Fox and bets, Garrett calls the flop, turn, Fox and checks, Garrett bets, Fox and calls, Fox and checks the River, Garrett bets, and gets bombed on, you know. It's always one of those bad feelings when you're Alex Fox in there where you're like, damn, I got snapped. I should have bet bigger. Yeah, Anytime yeah. you get snapped and you win, you want to bet bigger. And so he bet 24 into 39. Right. He's, he he could have bet like he 39. Bet 40. Yeah. yeah, he could have bet 40. He could have bet 45. Right. And he's still going to get called. Garrett can never fold that good of a hand. Right. The issue is just like Foxen doesn't expect <coughs> Garrett to have a king. Like it's just like yeah. Foxen's just like, well, right, what does he, he has have? Three of them. Yeah, for sure. It would have been interesting to see what Garrett did if Fox and bet super small. Right, right. Like, just like 20% pot. Like, yeah. does he raise? Yeah, that would have been interesting for sure. That's an interesting one. Maybe, uh... That's what Oscar would have done. Oh, yeah. Oscar would have caged. Oscar would have bet 1,100 on the river. Not that Fox and didn't cage. I'm just saying. Oscar. Anytime we're not sure how to play a hand, we're just going to say, what would Oscar do? Hmm. I like that. Where was Oscar? Oscar didn't want to come, come today. Or he, he just, just was I really don't know why he just wasn't available today. Yeah, yeah. He said that he is probably down for 4.0. Oh, next but, week. <laughs> yeah, probably not next <laughs> week. But I did say that last week, but probably not yeah. this week. Who knows, yeah. you know? Next week. Just, I mean, yeah. hey, See you guys listen, guys. I don't plan on this game being a regular thing here on Live of the Bike. Uh, I, I think we can do it every few months. Right. But I didn't expect last week that we'd be able to get this game this week. Right. And it worked out really well. We got... Some fun, you know, people in the mix like that we haven't had before. Right, right. Um, sure. We got Dennis making a second appearance, Stanley making his second or third appearance on the show, per oh, Bill Perkins, first time ever on Live of the Bike, Alex Fox is making his second appearance. So it worked out really well. I'm really happy with this lineup. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I don't know how often we can get this specific game, but I think that it, well, either way, it spells big things in the future for Live of the Bike. For sure, for sure. You know, I you should talk to people how just like this is not easy. Like getting all these players here, so many moving parts. Like, like it's not. I was yeah. really stressed out this week. <laughs> it, I mean, especially playing a game this last minute. I mean, uh, I'm like getting sick the last day. Just how stressed out I've been, and haven't been able to sleep, and on the phone a lot. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's it's been tough, and somehow I'm still trying to play poker during the day before the show. It's been. Uh, not ideal. As Bill raises up with pocket jacks and Stanley with ace king in the third blind just calls. This could have been a much bigger pot. Yeah, this is a little surprising here. I would I would assume Stanley would have wanted to play for stacks. Yeah, they easily get this in if if Stanley wants to. And, and Bill's gonna check it back, and now Stanley is going to stab at it. Yeah, and it's, it's an easy call for Bill. For sure. I mean, 
I'm assuming Stanley's better for value on this turn. Um, I guess value slash denial. I'm not sure exactly, you know, what the, the plan is. Possibly denial, yeah. Yeah. And Ooh, maybe he, he's betting the come. Realization of equity. Yeah. If you bet it, it will come. And a s oh, almost a snap call from Perkins. 4,200. And he is going to pay it off. <laughs> Could have been a much bigger pot, though. You know, Frustrating for Bill to lose that hand, but at the same time, it... It's like well, secretly it, run good. Yeah, like, like yeah. Stanley should always be getting that all in there. It should always be, right. you know, three bet. Bill either calls or he or gets stops, it in. Yeah. If four bets no, gets it in, yeah. Okay. So. Not to hit the river nice hand by Stanley. He Not needed that allowed. one. And here are the chip counts. Garrett covers everyone. That was that was what the the graphic said. And uh, I believe Dennis added on here. Yes, so there, Dennis is back in the game. He added on 40,000 more. Okay. So he's up to 60K now. Stanley, the short stack. Here are the stats. Dennis uh, down about 100. Alex Foxen was down over 100, now down just 42. And, of course, Garrett was up 100, now up just 67. Uh, John Sin, who was losing at the beginning of the show, I believe, right? Yeah. Now up 90,000 all of a sudden. Grind his way back. Bill Perkins, the second biggest winner, having a good day so far. In his debut on Live at the Bike. Bill Perkins flew in from Houston just for this game. Shout out to Bill Perkins for being super cool and coming out and yeah. playing the show today. I mean, that's super, super awesome. And Bill Perkins with Ace Queen going to three bet. Yeah, I like this three bet. Bill hasn't really missed a lot of three bet spots, which which I like to see from him. He's been playing pretty solid. Not three betting a ton. He could be a little more aggressive, but he's mixing it up yeah. enough. And he's three betting like good hands. I would have loved to see if he made it a lot bigger in that hand uh, earlier against uh, Garrett. Um. Yeah, we we had that hand, right? The hand where Perkins tried to check raise. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just making sure that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you are a speaker from the future. Yeah, yeah. I was just making sure. Um. Yeah, I would have. Man, if he just made it like seventy k there, that would have been right, so yeah. sick. I, I, that would have been a video. Yeah, I mentioned that a little bit. I was like, yeah, I think oh, we should. Man. It's just call that a bit sometimes. Um, you know, you'll see guys have the right idea, but not the right size. Right, right. And, and I think there's also like a little bit of argument for him to check raise the turn and then bomb the when he has the seven in his hand specifically. Yeah, too. imagine if he makes it like right thirty k in the turn and then just stuffs the river. Right. It's I mean, just Garrett like, can never call. No. But when you give Garrett such a good price, he's gonna call yeah, with a hand like two pair. For sure, for sure. Especially against like you he know, doesn't know what Bill has, but he's just like all right. He's I'm like I have a good this. price. Maybe you're bluffing every now and then. All right, I call. Too rich to fold two pair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. TMM. <laughs> Too much money. TMM Garrett. Yeah, it's Garrett's going to bet and take that one down. We're going to see it. You can, you can see it. Yeah. Don't show these other superstars. Look at this fucking guy. All right, so we have a uh, giveaway. Mm. Um, Surprise giveaway. Let me pull it up. It's from Faded Spade, who so is aggravated. providing these beautiful <laughs> cards so that we're using. Aggravated. And let me pull it up so that I can give the right details. Actually, I'm okay in any hand. But it's look. going to be... Uh, everyone we haven't had a 200k pot, pot yet, have we? <laughs> <laughs> so the, well, we got a chop, not, like, I think. With so the next 200k pot, we're going to have a giveaway hard. for a it's pack of Faded Spade cards. But if 200k pot, or you know, the next time somebody wins 100k in a hand, that's when it's going to be. We need someone to win 100,000 in a hand to give away a deck of cards. And somebody who you know says something... Positive or, or something constructive or makes a good comment in the either chat, YouTube, or Twitch after somebody wins a pot where they profit 100000 uh, we are going to give away a you know, set of faded spade they come, they go. Cards. The world continues to turn. Who's the chat rooting for to win that 200k pot? 
the powers that be. John yeah. Sin, the powers that Berkey, be Garrett, Adelstein. Make life go on. It's not like I was messing it's gotta around. be Dennis. Dennis. Yeah. I like that. Dennis. Uh, Fox in. I feel like Dennis has got to be the fan favorite, right? Hell yeah. He just plays so he fearless. Goes hard. Yeah, he just doesn't give up. Stanley's going to defend the Queen 3 suited. He got a bloated pot here, but Dennis straddled and raised it up. Or Matt, sorry, Berkey raised it up, Dennis flatted, and Stanley called. 6,000 to go pre flop, and now Dennis is going to bet with the best hand, 7,000 on the flop. When Dennis straddles, he just makes the game so big. Yeah, Dennis, Dennis is going to make the game big, and he's going to bluff, and he's going to get in your face, and he's, yeah, I mean, he's going to make it tough. The winners for the uh, giveaways for Faded Spades so far are on Twitch. G E E T H X G Fix G E E T H X and on YouTube Vicky X Vicky X. So uh, make sure you guys message Faded Spade Cards on Twitter or hit them up on Twitch or YouTube uh, to get your Faded up. Spade uh, deck of cards prize. So there's a winner for YouTube and a winner for yeah. Twitter. We had those were the previous winners, but we're gonna right. give away another another two winners. Another winner, yes. Come on, Dennis. Let's get him. All right. So the players are saying Perkins, Berkey, Garrett. It's a lot of uh, Stanley. Stanley raising it up on the button with ace eight off. The dead man's hand. Bill Perkins with ace jack putting in the three bet. I love it. It's a great hand to three bet. I'm telling you, he's not making. He's not missing any three bets. Nah. Got to play aggressive in this game. We're seven handed. Can't miss your three bet spots. I was surprised to see Berkey flat a few times in spots where he could have 3-bet or 4-bet. Yeah. When he had jacks in the small ball. It was like he was oh, trying yeah. to keep people in the hand, I think. Right, right, right. He had jacks and he flatted aces the one time. Yeah. And, I mean, who knows how the hands would have played differently if he was more aggressive in the hands, but... Well, nines would have just probably folded. Yeah. If he 4-bet, like, well, 5-bet or whatever. And he probably he yeah. wins the hand against Garrett when he has jacks against 5-6 suited. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Obviously, you could win more money by flatting sometimes when your opponent bluffs. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a give and take. Like, you're going to you let people realize equity, you know, and sometimes that equity fails and you lose the oh, pop. Yeah, sometimes I feel like it's uh, it's one of those things where, you know, a player might be thinking exploitatively. I want to play against this player, but not so much this player. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let this player in the hand, or I'm going to throw at this spot because I want to play heads up. That definitely, that definitely happens more than we think. Like, that happens more more than we think, I think. People yeah. three bet against certain players because well, they want to shut out certain players. And Matt Berkey fly. things like that. Some other players don't. Oh, that. for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Does, you know, Berkey's all that, about, cool. I feel like, yeah, exploitative like stuff, you know, playing against yeah, the right yeah, people, yeah, yeah, doing definitely. different types of things to. Yeah, to try to change to that dynamic. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I kind of, I kind of like that. I mean, if if I'm playing against Garrett, like. Maybe I don't want to three bet Garrett because Garrett's very good. And if I flat, maybe I'll let a weaker player in, and that yeah. might that might make me more money than just playing heads up for Garrett. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes when you're in a game and there's a few players that you respect and you think they're probably better than you, and there's a few players who you think are weaker than you and that you want to play against, you know, sometimes it's just profitable to play against those other players. And so um, it's also like you're wasting time by playing out of position or something against. Right a really good player when you can just move on to the next hand and try to get in a, uh, a pot with the weaker player. For it's sure. just going to be more profitable in the long run. If you play 50 hands against the rec players and 10 hands against yeah. the pros, that's going to be a profitable session for you usually. Or he chooses to, looks like, overcall here with king nine suited. Let's see how this hand plays out. Dennis with top pair with the queen kicker. Perkins with an open and the straight draw. I love the table talk between Perkins and Dennis. I wonder if they've played together before. I don't think so. Ten seconds. That I think this is the first time they might. Because I th I think Bill introduced himself when Dennis came. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like they could be best friends. <laughs> For sure, per Perkins. I feel like Perkins could be the best friend of anyone. Yeah, there really are. There, there's so many people that I've heard about in poker, who 
who were really close with him and just love him. Mm -hmm. He's just a good dude. Yeah. Fine. Bill's going to give Fair. up the open ender, surprisingly. And he Close rabbit hunting. Shout out to Dennis the Menace, donating oh, 10 really bucks on YouTube. Fun. Appreciate it. The other Dennis, the Dennis with one N. Said so many hot dudes at the table. Yeah, Hashtag yeah. poker bros. Dennis is Ram's nine, brand, nine, if you don't know. Yeah, right, Instagram. I've seen it. Yeah. Reload, I'll reload. Shout out Let's to Dennis. Go. The... Dennis, you're taking a back seat to the other Dennis tonight. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. Sparkling water and a hot tea. Oh, Jimmy Bluffett says, think Bill played an episode with Dennis on Poker After Dark. Did he? I didn't know that Dennis played on there, but it's like I think I saw Dennis play once. It's possible. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember his lineup, but yeah. What's up? Not done 300 again, right? Trying to be. I'm not there yet. 1600. You have, however, missed the self proclaimed greatest break even performance. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm not even break even yet. <laughs> I have to work to it. Berkey's not breaking even. He's down 27.9. He's working his way back up. He was stuck as much as, what, like 50 or 60? Yeah, probably around there. I mean... Are you surprised he hasn't added on? Uh, I mean, the chips are definitely behind him. So I, I think I saw them on the on whatever table's right behind him. So I'm a little surprised, but we'll see. Did you I'm, discuss strategy with him as far as adding on and stuff like that, or...? I literally just heard him say to Dennis that if you add on, I'll add on. So maybe that's, maybe oh. that's yeah. I'm not okay. I'm not sure what. We'll see. Yeah, like if Dennis somehow added yeah, 200, he'd add on right. 200. Whoa! All it takes is like one tilting pot for Berkey, and he'll just add it all. On. <laughs> I've seen Berkey just lose a pot. I'm surprised say, after okay. the Aces Nines hand he didn't add on. Yeah, I've seen Berkey just say, "All right, just fuck it." <laughs> 200 yeah. on the table. Remember, he did that in the yeah. first million dollar cash yeah, game. Yeah, for sure. He just dumped on like two or 300, and that's when we got over a million, I believe. 1,200. So if you want to reach 2 million, you know, the $2 million cash game, just oh, look crack, at this. crack aces again. Another interesting flat from Berkey and, and Johnson as well. This is very surprising. Garrett opens a button, or the cutoff rather, with 7 8 off, and Matt Berkey just flats ace king. I'm really surprised by this, and he lets everybody in, and now it's a great flop for Garrett. And, and John Sin, how does he not three bet? Yeah, I think, I think both of them are kind of flatting for the same reason. To get Dennis in. Yeah. It, it, it's interesting. I mean, it's kind of unlucky for Berkey that John doesn't three bet. Like, right. That should never happen here, but right. that's why John's flatting. But do you really want to play a four-way pot in the middle with ace queen off? It doesn't play that well. For sure. If if he were to three bet, Berkey probably just he's back four bets or stuffs yeah. it in or something. Yeah, he's gonna back four bet for sure. I mean, this is really unlucky. And now uh, Berkey does come along. He has ace high, and Garrett with two pair on a four-liner board, and the river's a queen. This is. Probably gonna check around. I don't think Garrett's hand is strong enough to bet. Yep, and he's gonna win it. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, well. Yeah, and that's kind of the the other side of the coin. Garrett wins, you know, I guess an undeserved pot because like if these players were to three bet, obviously Garrett's out of the way. Yeah. Do you think um, Berkey sometimes might play a little too exploitative in a game um, like this where you're playing against some really good players? Yeah, potentially. I I think that you know that's clearly a uh, a three bet. Like high frequency, and like, are you ever flatting in that spot, or are you ever flatting more than five percent of the time in that spot? I don't, I don't think so, because I think that Ace King is not as strong as like potentially uh, like. So I would three bet Ace King more than I would like three bet like aces. Oh, no, no, aces. like aces because like yeah. aces is like I'm not gonna get sucked down on as much, but like right. And like, Ace King but Ace protection. King is like, yeah, like shutting out equity is like pretty important because like it's like sixty forty versus eight seven. You're not off. always gonna flop top pair, right? Exactly. So like so Ace King, like I would like, if I'm gonna play like that, right? Like of like, oh, I'm gonna flat like to keep people in and stuff. Like I'll just like have more Ace Aces and Kings and stuff than Ace King. But 
You and Matt Burke are obviously very close. You guys have self for a while. Yeah, for sure. How often do you guys clash in like hand discussions? How how similar are you guys and how different are you guys? There's there's yelling matches at the house for sure, and and, and like. Because I would assume you guys have a lot of different philosophies in poker. Yeah, I even mean, though you run the company together. For sure, for, and and I think that's good because if we're both just the same, then that's kind of bad for the audience of like the students or whatever. You know? Do you think you guys being so different and Justin being different mm -hmm. maybe as well? Do you think that makes you guys better uh, as a company? I, yes, and I think it's made me better in terms of like understanding why he's doing certain things and a lot of my pushback on him has made him better overall because it's like, pushing each other yeah because yeah, i'm like i'm like no like you're just wrong and then he's like no you're wrong and i'm like no fuck you like yeah. <laughs> like you know and it's and, and it's good it's a good uh respective disagreements but like sometimes like we get mad at each other because we both think we're right and you guys obviously play way different stakes and different types of lineups for sure like you're playing i'm guessing more like 5 10 and 20 yeah yeah and he's playing more yeah, 4 my, 800 yeah nosebleed so with uh in with unique players for sure for sure and i mean you're probably playing tougher lineups on average it's official hmm. if you're in vegas May, it depends on the day. Um, like, yeah, I guess like some some five ten lineups are in some. I mean, on average. Yeah, probably maybe. Yeah. Because he's not playing as that many. The best super player, players. right? But the best player in his lineup is way will probably be anyone. Yeah. Which is Andrew Robel. Right, like Robel or like if. But who's the third best player? Right, exactly. So like a VIP in his lineup would be probably. Although the Rex in his game, a lot of the time might be better than. The, the wrecks that you're playing with. Right. It, but it's just more money on the table, so... Correct, correct. Yeah. Okay, like, we, we got it all in here, by the way, for, with Stanley uh, King-Queen. I don't think he's going to get called by anybody, but we'll see. 20K. Power poker. I like it. I like it, Stanley. <laughs> I like it. He gets it through. It doesn't matter what you have, I like it. Surprise Stanley hasn't added on, but we'll see uh, if he can chip up. What's the most common yeah, game so, you play so, so. these days? Now, like, 5, 10 win. It's probably my most common okay. stick. No, you crazy. Do you play smaller much? Oh, well, I've played small. I've that, put, that, like, <laughs> this year I played, like, some 2-5 win as well. No, no, and then I played... Is that on cap game or deep game? No, 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 no. It's 15 under cap. Yeah. yeah. That's right, yeah. You can sit here. I'm guessing there's a big difference in Vegas as everywhere, but between 2-5 mm -hmm. and 5-10 in terms of, like, the... Well, yeah, because, because, like, the 5-10 win in Vegas is uncapped. So then that game plays, like, significantly <laughs> bigger than, like, most other 5-10s. Then in town. Right. All right, we got uh, John Sin raising it up, and Dennis with the ace four off. A lot of uh, people will three bet the ace four suited, the, the suited mm -hmm. ace wheel hands. Dennis, uh, wider than that, going with the ace four off. So if you know that, then you know that he's you know, three betting a ton of hands. Like someone might three bet. What's like a normal percentage of hands that someone would three bet to be balanced? Oh. If they're three betting like linearly, like you're looking at like I it, I aggressively, like they could three bet like up to like twelve percent of hands if they want, like. And so like, Dennis might be three betting like twenty percent. Yeah, yeah. Like on average, like people are three betting like their suited wheels, suited broadways, and then like some suited connectors as well as like value. <laughs> So yeah, whatever the percentage is, Dennis is three betting no, no. definitely more. Oh well, yeah. I mean, he three betted uh, ten seven off earlier. Yeah, Dennis is not – he's going to put you in some spots. You know what I mean? Like, he's not going to – he's not just going to be there just, like, folding. That is uh, Lara, Bill Perkins' girlfriend on his lap there. If you guys don't know her, she's on Instagram. She's a model and dancer. Mm. And uh, you'll often see her in Bill Perkins' Instagram stories on boats. That's nice. The islands. St. Kitts. He lives the charmed life. It's nice. What isn't good about Bill Perkins' life? Nah, I mean, you know, he he earlier like jokingly said like, yeah, my my kids Google me and they say I have four hundred million and I and I tell them to take the under and they're not getting it. I think that's what he says. I heard that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we were talking about uh, 
net worth. Do we agree? Oh, I was reading comments from the YouTube chat, and someone said, what's Bill Perkins' net worth? And he said, if you Google it, it says $400 million. But he's like, I told my kids. That's awesome. I wanted to see her say, ship it, and you go, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> we got a lot of hearts here. And then they plan the whole thing. You're usually the one that says ship it. That's true. I am usually the one that says Three-heart flop would be interesting. Fair point. King King Ford. That's good. Trips for tennis. Trips for Dennis and uh, De Stanley the four. He goes all in. He's gonna get called. Mm -hmm. And Stanley drawing dead to running fours. Fifty-four thousand dollar pot. They're gonna go twice, but it's not gonna matter. Fifty-four k pot, and Dennis is going to chip up here. Yeah. And Stanley's gonna go bust. What? You were like three hands ago. Two times, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Three pair, no good. Four. Four. So it's like your crew of like guys that you like chat poker with, if 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 any people. Um, I don't really want to say. Okay, but that's fair. I have, I have people yeah. that I chat. You know what? These days though, I, I it's it's not as much because I'm just so busy doing the show. Uh, it's not as big of a like crew as when yeah. I first started coming up and learning. Yeah. Um, I've had like different people over the years. But yeah, I mean, I have a, a few people that I, I talk a lot of poker with, but I'd rather not say. That's cool. No, that's fine. Who? Um, no, that's fine. But yeah, I'm just not as active in it as, as yeah. I need to be, just because uh, most of my knowledge these days from poker, as we see, Stanley uh, is going to rebuy. So Stanley going to add on. How much did he add on? Is a hundred or? How much does Stanley add on? Wizard patch right there. Or buy? Hundred. All right. So Stanley's going to rebuy for a hundred thousand. Sweet. Game on. We got about. 1.2 million on the table now. Mm -hmm. Very true. Um, yeah, I'd say the last couple of years since I've been doing Live of the Bike, the majority of my poker knowledge has come just from commentating, observing the games, yeah, that's uh, cool. being able to watch these players play, uh, especially the Friday games, and learn from them and pick things up. Yeah, like players like Zet and Dan and Dan Zach and all yeah, that. Yeah, and then talking with guys like that as well. Yeah, I mean, for sure. We disagree. Yeah, I think, I think that's like... One of the best ways to like get better, like even if it's someone that, like even if you don't agree with what they're saying, like just understanding their perspective and understand that some some people do think this way and why will help you exactly like, regardless. You don't have to do exactly what they do, but just right. understanding how different people think. Yeah. Then he's gonna ship it. Why are you taking advantage of our disagreements? Come on, man. I know. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Literally, like the only time. I know. Stanley rebuys 100 and flats a 5 3 off, so he is in there. Looks like Garrett putting a 3 bet here. 9,000. 9,000. I don't think Matt Burke is going to fold this end. What do you think? He should. Ooh, no way. He's calling. Oh, he's going to put in the 4 bet? No. No way. He's trying to see if he's getting. if he's deep enough to. to to call. Oh, he does fold. I'm surprised he three bets, uh, or if, sorry, f uh, folds that good land. What do you want me to do? What do you want? Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's not that deep, unfortunately. It's like, he gets called 9K, getting into like roughly 2 SPR. Sorry. I, I forgot exactly how deep he was. So, it's like 3 SPR. How about 2? 2,000. 2, 3? 3? 3? 3,000. There has to be a okay. I don't, what, what do you Bill Perkins trying to negotiate <laughs> if he can. This is like something you see at small stakes or home games. Yeah. He's trying to negotiate if, if, if he can call for less and just run it out. That's awesome. Like, what a guy. We're playing super high stakes, playing nosebleed poker. We're playing a 100, 200, 400 game with 1.2 million on the table. And Bill Perkins is negotiating to check it down with Garrett for less money. Yeah. Foxy. While he has his girlfriend on his lap. That's awesome. This is high stakes poker. That's legend. Uh oh. Berkey, uh, I didn't see how long ago he did that, but you know, he took off the jacket, so he's getting serious. <laughs> that was like a couple hands ago. What was that? That was a couple hands ago. The game is, the game is, everyone's having a good time. I would love to see Bill Perkins pull off a sick bluff with his girlfriend on his lap. That would be, that would be great. Higher? 16. Thank you. I feel like the last thing you're ready to do is another. Yeah, I feel like you're ready to do 
I gotta be able to see something. 1600. Ooh, weird definition of higher. Yeah, let me help him. Yeah. Bill Perkins does a lot for the poker community. He really cares about just helping players out. Uh, a couple years ago, remember, he did the thing where he sent a bunch of people to PCA? Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Bluffett, who's in our chat, he's in every poker chat, he was one of the guys who got sent there, and he ended up 16? getting a lot of big scores uh, at PCA. That's, wow, that, that's uh, awesome. That series, and Bill sent him down there. Yeah, Jimmy Bluff is a good dude, too. It's like, he works really hard. <laughs> Top pair for Garrett. Middle, or rather, bottom pair for John. Jesus Christ, Garrett, that's the most unlucky I've ever seen you get in my life. Dennis floats flop here with king queen high. Ooh. Somebody would have had trips. But Dennis is going to float. I think Garrett does a pretty killer bet again here. Yeah, I think it's a bet and then reevaluate in the river because yeah. if he misses the spot to bet, then he might not be able to bet the river on a lot of cards. Thank you for visiting this first, first lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, that's Lara, everybody. Bye, Lara. Bye, bye, bye. bye. <laughs> I didn't introduce him. Sorry, guys. Lara. Hello. Lara. Hi. Guys. Nice to meet you. Nice right. playing with you. All right. Back to them Good trying to back Christmas. to them trying to put another game. Back. <laughs> she disagreed on the two five. I said no. Play. You gotta do it. Yeah. Sometimes. I think she, I think she might have been on the couple things. You can subscribe now for unlimited access to a large archive of videos, all of our episodes, all of our strategy videos. Check it out so you can watch all the million dollar cash games, all the Friday shows, the smaller stakes games, going back to 2005. Sorry, They're all in there, only $19.99 a month or $1.99 for the entire year and we have the promo code going. Once again, for two weeks free, you can use the promo code high stakes, one word, high stakes. Sign up now at livethebike.com. You'll be able to watch this entire episode tomorrow as well as all of our other million-dollar cash games. You can see such things as Christian Soto winning a $20,000 pot in a 5-10 game. Mm. That was nice. Garrett Adelstein winning and losing a lot of money on many shows. Yeah. His, it's all in there. Mostly winning, I'm sure. Garrett. Mostly. Mostly just bossing. But he does hold a lot of <coughs> live of the bike records. I, I like to say that Garrett... Uh, historically in these games before, or sorry, on and after the stream, um, winning or losing, he has enabled many players to play their biggest pot of their career. That's strong, yeah. Fox here chooses to three bet the four deuce suited versus wow. Bill Perkins. Yeah, ace yeah, 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 ten off, hands like that. Ace jack off even sometimes, ace nine off. You don't want to flat those hands out of position in a three bet pot against a good player. Yeah, for sure. Fox a good Fox is a good friend of mine too. I like him. We've hung out a lot in like Toronto and a lot of different places now. You flop two pair I river wheel. Now it hurt. Now it really hurt. I mean, Mars four oh eight asking about uh, Nick. Nick Vertucci would be here. He wanted to play this well, game. I, I really believe that he would definitely be here if he could. But uh, there, he right runs right? a nice real estate academy, real and every few months yeah. they have a weekend when bus tour where people play, pay a lot of money, and they bring them around and, and teach – I don't know exactly how it works. But they mm -hmm. teach them real estate things and basically get them prepared in a weekend to be able to buy real estate and flip houses. And this happens to be the weekend. He's had this plan for months. Yeah. Uh, it's a huge weekend for his company in terms of revenue and in terms of just uh, exposure. And, uh, everything. It's a big plan it's, it's, it's weekend. A, it's a yeah. big deal. And yeah. he has to be there because he is the head of it. He's the front man. He's the guy who's teaching yeah, the most. That makes sense. And, you know, if, if he didn't have that 100%, 1,000%, he would be here in this game. I, I know it. Um, but it's kind of unlucky that he happens yeah. to not be here this weekend. So. I mean, it he, the, the tour. He's, he plays so many games, down, and like, you know, we know that he's going to be part of the community for a long time. So yeah, that's I cool. believe he'll be here in the uh, 4.0 game. Mm. Wow, this is going to check down. Surprisingly, Next Stanley week. did not fire the turn. <laughs> and with the diamond draw, they're going <laughs> to chop it up. I can chop it tonight. So next week, 
The million dollar cash. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's really hard to get this game together every week. Like, yeah. Walk us through that. Like, I think people want to know like, yeah. the, the process of getting... 200, 400 running. Like, this oh, is... Oh, man. There's uh, not... This doesn't happen. It's even... Yeah. I mean, I was, I've been stressed out for a while. <laughs> um, but give us, like, an insight without, like, you know, it, divulging... I, I, okay, you know. I, I didn't think this was going to happen. I said last Thursday it's not going to be for a while. And right. then, after Friday's show, uh, I think it was Saturday, the day after the Friday show, after Alex Fox had played, right. uh, Dennis commented on Twitter about Fox and he's like... Fox and plays next Friday. I want to play. Mm -hmm. I think it actually um, could be up for him because we'll be like. He doesn't completely uh, Dennis has a job, like but I remember that he had taken off. He was taking off work for, right. for this week. Yeah. Um, although he ended up having to go into work today, and that's why he was uh, super late. He was to work. To, right, we'll get back to that in a second. We got John with East Jack. On the button, raises it up, and Stanley is just going to flat. Stanley's been pretty passive pre flop, surprisingly. He has flatted hands like Ace King and now Kings. And. Let's see what Man. I can do against you here. This is really surprising. I'm hoping not much. I'm hoping something could happen. Well, John's probably gonna Never bet met now. Like Stanley, sorry, sorry. I mean, he what might decide they? to raise. I mean, it's not out of the question. King on the turn would be pretty sick. Yeah, he's gonna raise. Okay. Stanley acts pretty quick, and he's willing to put chips in the pot. Interesting now decision for John. That's for you, not for the judge. Excuse me, on me? Who bet? Excuse me? So bet, raise, I get a yeah. fold. John Sin calls. Yeah, could I get a. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, the king would be the same. What was this sizing? 12.5. This probably ends the hand. Unless John gets curious here. Thinks that he's potentially dominating some portions of Stanley's check raise range, like Jack 9 and King Jack. John could also think about bluffing a diamond river. It would be a back door, but he has the ace of diamonds. He could bluff it if he wants to. Some percentage of the time, he is going to call. We got 40,000 in the pot. Stanley has 80 back. Oh, the river is an ace. What a brutal river for Stanley. And let's see if he can check fold. Oh, whoa. He just bets 25,500. All things considered, a yeah. huge bet. Is this a value bet? Yes. I, I, put I mean, how can John ever fold here, right? I don't think John's going to fold. Yeah. What an unlucky river either way for Stanley. Oh, it's sweetened with sugar alcohol. Uh, John Sin gets lucky on the river card, but also lucky to Stanley no, bets. Yeah. That size, too. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and, and Stanley should be check folding there most of the time. Yeah, and, and John didn't love it, but he just, like, <laughs> couldn't yeah, see not. himself folding. So, I mean, yeah, it's just a call. I think one thousand dollars pot goes to John yeah, Sin, and I think it's not like going well for Stanley. One of those things where it's better than Stevia, but not, or, sorry, better than... Um, and then he with like term. sweet lower aspartame, but not necessarily as good as stevia. Okay. They use stevia in there as there's well. Just, there's, there's something wrong with you. The river's good to me. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Like the the four or five months after I won the main. Stanley like, now I down 146,000. Like he, uh, he ran stuck the most easily. No, I ran uh, like second most is like, like 42,000 for Alex no, Fox and him, no. Dennis like and Berkey all stuck around 40k. Like, how do you get so lucky? Uh, John Sid now up 100 and. 11,000. 11, like, big winner today, followed by Garrett at 105,000. <laughs> Simulation confirmed. Yeah. You, well. did, you did three months, that ain't shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, Stanley's got a three bet this hand here in the small blind cutoff or small blind. Okay, finally he does. He's been pretty passive pre flop. Puts in the three bet to 5,000 with ace queen. And Johnson's not been folding these hands. I mean, he defended 9 7 off yeah. against Garrett. I feel like, you know. Sin fights. 
I'm not gonna say I know John Sin like that well, but I feel like he's much more active and willing to play hands he since he won the main event. Well, I mean, insert a couple million sense. dollars in your bank. Right, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. He was playing high stakes a long time ago, right. and he played in the show a handful of times in the big game. He was very, very solid. Yeah. And he's I've just willing really to just mix it up nice and play hands now. For sure. <laughs> but I love it. No, that's... <laughs> he's that's, fighting. Yeah, I mean, he's just, just makes him tougher, actually. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, you're not just going to be able to three-bet and win. Like, you're going to see Flops. He's going to put you in tough spots. He's, he might bluff, like... You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates and check out our videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Oh, sorry, it's on C4. I don't mind. Whatever. All right, next hand. Well, I mean, I mean, after you see your hand and then go, oh, I'm in. No, no, no. Like, what's everyone else agrees? If, like, two people sit out, I think flats. We have a straddle here, I believe. Okay, that that makes more sense. I guess. So he's gonna trap the button after Dennis straddles two thousand. And let's see if Foxen puts in a raise or just a call. Yes. All right. So it's after after this after hand, this hand after this hand, right? Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> oh, here comes the raise. And this is a dream spot for Stanley, especially if Dennis flats. Let's see if he back raises. I think he will. We have a battle. We I love how he just throws the chips in. That's so aggressive. Yeah. It's it's as if 25, 30,000 is no big deal. 33-2. That's, That's so sick. It. I had some induce. I would have three bet him, and then I would have just had to call off like 50k. <laughs> you really had seven dudes. Yeah. That's amazing. I would have just had to get it in for 50k. No wonder you were like, let's do it. Like you like, I'm not. No, I didn't see. I hadn't seen it up. at that point. Oh, you hadn't even seen yeah, it. Yeah, I hadn't. Like, and when I was like this hand, I was completely joking. Yeah. Then yeah. I looked down at like seven dudes. I was like, oh shit. It's how good you run, kid. <laughs> I would have, what do you, What do you mean? You I, I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it in against them. That's what I'm saying. That's how good you run. <laughs> you got the seven dudes the hand before. No, I want to save yourself. No, I'm saying I, okay. so we're, I'm booked, saying I uh, we're booked six ways. Correct. If you win a hand with seven do, suited or unsuited, showdown or not, whatever. If you win the hand, you get paid. They play in the seven deuce game? Now they are. When did that start? Like two hands ago. How much do we know? Uh, we don't know. I don't think okay. so. Wow, interesting. So even if I raise, everyone pulls. That counts, man, yeah. Yeah. Now's a great time to have it. Now's a great, great time. The button folded. Seven K. It's a great time for him to have it. <laughs> you gotta save us from you seven dudes. You can still win, man. You can flop three of a kind. Save I could bluff, be dudes. bluffing. I could shut down. There's so many ways you could win, man. I got it, boys. Like a good hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweet choice. Yeah. So we got a straddle to 800. I imagine uh, it's Dennis again. Game? And Bill You're Perkins with 2,500 okay. in the cutoff. You, you know play. Okay. Everyone else wants to play. You want to play with us or no? no. Everyone else play. No. You understand? You still no play? Yeah. Okay. I think it was better not to tell him. <laughs> John says no. Like, oh, what the fuck? Well, no. Now that he, now he knows that we might have seven dudes. Just kidding. <laughs> we know play. <laughs> I check. Check, sorry. Uh. So some people in the chat are asking what is the seven deuce game? So obviously there's a lot of people watching. Some people don't know what that is. But. That shit's gonna get costly, huh? 
Seven News is a game where they have some sort of thing happening where you win more money if you win a hand with Seven News. Right. So like if you win with Seven News, you get paid about you pretty much. Yeah, I think you have a huge disadvantage because you just fire anyway. Seven News, ten three. Seven deuce, ten three, whatever. Yeah, Dennis would like to play the seven deuce game, the eight deuce game, the I, I, nine deuce game. I like it when you just deal two cards off the deck, and then that's the game. Ten three when I think I have eight three. Then that's the hand. Uh, yeah, like so we just randomly pick two cards. Oh, 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 I see. I see. So it could be like the nine nice. three. Well, I see. You had to like <laughs> say in well, two yeah. sentences. All right, three sentences, Berkey. Yep. What solve the Y represents. Okay. I'll give you four. Three or four sentences. Okay. Here's the moment. You say? Check. Same. 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 Better do it. That's gonna win for sure. Um, I would say it's a non-conventional approach to problem solving in a more optimal fashion. You have three more sentences. I can make sense. I, that I can make sense. It's really long. Yeah. yeah. That was some jargon. Poker or in life? What are the yeah. next three sentences? I don't know. No. Fit it all in one. Better optimization, non-conventional way. Just like, poker, though, right? Like For now, yeah. No, I want to expand out into other markets at some point, but. Pocket sixes, raise it up. Alex Fox with King Jack. Good fold, good call, good three bet. Good yeah, options here. this is like all options. Well, one negative about flatting is that you have Matt Burke in your left who's going to defend the button a lot. Yeah. And your hand doesn't play that well post flop. So three betting is definitely a good option. He does it. It's probably one where you don't want to three bet all the time, but you can do it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Stanley had this. <laughs> He's not playing the game. Yeah. Garrett calls with pocket sixes. <coughs> Everything rather standard so far. I expect to see Fox and bet this board. It's a pretty high equity board for his range. Yeah, and also it's one of those boards where he has three to a Broadway. There, he has over cards. He has a lot of good turn cards. And so he can double barrel a lot. And yeah, Garrett's going to call here most likely when Fox and bets. But when there's one Broadway card on the board, you usually see players three bet this. Or See about the spot. Everything standard so far. Yeah, check thirty five hundred call turns. Easy game ball. for Alex Fox. Yeah, I mean this is. This is a, a good double barrel spot. You could check back sure. sometimes, but I think if you bet here, you could get called by a ten. Yeah. Maybe hand like nines. Yeah, for sure. A lot of 10x's, maybe like ace x of spades that floated. I think you could check back here a decent percentage of the time, though, and just also, call yeah. river. Yeah, both plays work. I mean, I'm sure that, honestly, like, it's it's a mix in this spot. Like, probably should be betting and checking. 14. So he's going to go for the big size. Yeah, it's polar. And, and I like this size... Because I think he doesn't have a spade in his hand, and I think that he would bet this size if he turned a combo draw, right? For if, sure. he, if he turned a hand like Queen Jack or Spades, some other random bluffs, I think that he would bet a big size like, <laughs> like this when the turn favors his range. For sure, for sure. If if Foxen had like Ace Queen with the Ace of Spade, like he would probably bet this size. If he had Queen Jack, he would bet the size. Like yeah, I mean, Foxen is going to be mixing well. Come on down and check out the Bicycle Casino. We got great food. We got 99 rooms and a beautiful hotel. We got a spa, a pool, over 180 table games, plus a poker room, a brand new high stakes poker room. It's packed right now. We got the circuit series going on if you like tournaments. The high stakes room is nice. It's real nice. Check it out here at the Bicycle Casino. Shout out to IC in the YouTube chat. I wanted to shout out. What's up? Liam B. How's it going? 
Oh, it looks like everyone's copy and pasting that. <laughs> Liam B really wanted a shout out from you. What's going on? Berkey here with the bounty hand. Not gonna work though. That is pocket jacks for oh Bill boy. Perkins. Game on now. Matt Berkey like raising with flats. raising with seven news and Bill Perkins has pocket jacks. Maybe if Berkey gets some sort of very favorable. Well, Ooh. this isn't favorable enough. I think Bill's going to <clears throat> call down. Oh, the turn's an ace. This is going to be a tough board for Berkey no, to bluff. He can't bluff. You're done. It doesn't mean he won't. Yeah, that's true. He might. Maybe put enough pressure to get Bill off potentially an eight, maybe some king highs. Could you imagine if Berkey just stacked off with seven deuce? It can happen. I mean, it looks like it might. Uh, Bill has no reason to do anything here but call. Seven deuce versus pocket jacks. This is working out fantastically for Bill Klein thus far. Bill Perkins. Oh, sorry. I keep saying that because I see the bill. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. River's a queen, and yep. Yeah. Berkey's not going to go for it. You know, when, when Bill calls the turn, he just always has a full house or better. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's going to be really tough. I mean, I guess he can have, like, maybe king, queen high sometimes, but yeah. even that failed on the river, so. <laughs> I had a weird feeling. Oh, yeah. That would have been a legendary I, I hand. Know, though, everybody, you guys so, no matter what happens, you know, it would have been, been on YouTube. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been the hand of the day. It's like such a clean spot to just fold the bill. <laughs> like he just could have a random hand there. It was random. Fucking random. It's a cool flop for Dennis. He's got the back door straight flush draw and bottom pair for Garrett. Turns a four of hearts. And so Garrett, still with a three here, doesn't change much, but Dennis picks up the flush draw. And look, it's not too big of a bet here about third pot. I think Garrett's going to get a little sticky here. I don't think he's going to fold. Yeah, for this size. What if both guys have seven deuce? Just one, yeah. like they chop them, they chop, and no one gets any money. Where's the jack? Yeah. Oh, three. Three. Yeah, that's right. Dennis gives up. Garrett's three is good. God, I'm so what? fucking. What? I'm so bad. I'm so unlucky. I am so bad. We are going for at least two and a half more hours. All right. We are five and a half hours in. Two and a half hours left. I remember making changes. A lot of things are going to happen. Dennis has now 111 or 110,000 in front of him. Bill Perkins has 216,000. Garrett has over 300,000. Alex Foxen has 168. Uh, Stanley reloaded. He's got a 70,000. And uh, John has 253,000. He is, along with Garrett, the big winner tonight. And Matt Berkey with only 46,000. But I have a feeling that at some point soon, Matt Berkey will reload or add on. Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take that. Shout out to Prairie for the $10 donation on YouTube, saying sending some run good mojo to your boy Berkey. All right. Sounds good. Poker Mike Poker Mike says great job commentating, so that's that's definitely to you. So that's good. <laughs> Could be to you. All right. Well, I'll take that too. We got just about $1.2 million on the table right now. No, I'm talking about my Heads up, 
Dennis. Big flop for John, yeah. Yeah, big flop for John. He flops for Royal Flush Draw. Dennis with the back doors. And he is going to bet super small here. 2,000 to 11 8. I think with this sizing, John no, 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 is going to no, no, check raise a lot no, of the time. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, his hand's just pushing equity against Dennis's range. And Dennis is just, like, yeah. pretty wide a lot of the time, so. Yeah, you want to get him to fold some hands. Like, sometimes Dennis is just going to have, like, a five or pocket yeah, sevens. Sevens, yeah, exactly. <coughs> and Oh, and wow. When, yeah, and, like, sometimes this stuff happens, too. Dennis he, floats. Oh, and he picks up a gutter. Wow, this makes things interesting. And now John checks. What is Dennis gonna do? I well, guess he's check gonna raise, check bet. Raise, check raise. That yeah, the interesting part about check raising these kind of hands too is like you dominate portions of the call range that continues. An insanely small bet here from Dennis, 4,500. This might be check raise again. <laughs> Just a call from John now. Nine. Yeah, and let's see if John can find a check. He does. It's a possibility. Dennis isn't one to just check nine high. You're gonna use time? I'm gonna use That's time. one of the first times I've ever like seen it. Dennis throw in a time bag, so. Drama for your mama. <laughs> you can see what's gonna happen when you wait a little bit longer to think about what you have and what I have. So there's, be like so there's chips going in, in <laughs> but you're trying to decide beforehand whether it's a bluff or not. Oh boy. That is 30,000 that Dennis will never see again. This is probably going to be an all in from John. Yeah. Almost goes all in. And John Sin is going to win the stone cold maximum in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice hand for John Sin there. Mine or his? A little unlucky for Dennis as well that the river came a diamond because it would have been interesting him having the betting lead already if he would have just bet bet and. And potentially blown. Yeah, what John does John off? do on an offsuit six? That would have been interesting. Right, right, exactly. He still might call. He might, he might, you know. I love the talking there, though. <laughs> Credit to John Sin there for making that hand really fun and yeah. Dennis as well. That was a really cool hand, just hearing what they had to say. Hopefully, you guys could hear them yeah. uh, in such a big hand. John with the nut of flush, and he's just talking to Dennis on the river, joking around. But if I have well, it, and you have it. I mean, like, oh, right. Really? Yeah. What's the highlight so far for the YouTube? Is it the Kings versus Ace King? I don't know. Maybe Berkey's nines versus oh, that's, aces. That's, that's good too. Or aces versus nines. We're still waiting for that huge, huge hand. Yeah, the highlight. We got a lot of them last week. Dennis with uh, nine deuce suited, so he's he's in the camp of I just lost a big hand. I'm gonna try to win it back. And it's again, it's against John Sin, and it's 
Captain. Are under the gun rays from John with 10 8 off? I've never developed the taste for it, so I What is going on here? He's going hard. What is this all about? And John now with a royal flush draw, double gutter. And Dennis is going to lose another match. I've pulled it quickly plenty of times. You never know. Dennis might pull this off. I'm sorry. Oh, that is not a straight flush, but something like that. Oh, man. And Dennis is just punting chips to John now. This is just an unfortunate situation for Dennis Blyden. Then it's just making Johnson richer. Good fold. It, it's, yeah. Johnson has all the money now. He just, he's just laughing. You know, it, he's laughing because he's also just had it. You know, it's like I just have it. So Johnson now up 152,000. He's got over 300 on the table, and he's got about the same as Garrett. Actually, more. Okay, he's got 318, so he's got more than Garrett, and he's up 168,000. Yeah, it's a great night for Johnson so far. He's played well, made good hands, and not very many mistakes, if any. If you're just joining us, I'm Ryan Feldman. This is Christian Soto. We will be with you for another about two and a half hours. And we are playing a super high-stakes poker, 100, 200, 400, with a $500 big blind ante, seven-handed, three blinds and an ante, and a $100,000 minimum buy-in to get in this game. Dennis here with pocket jacks opening to 1600, getting called in two spots, Stanley and John, respectively. 9 8 off and King 5 off. Top pair for John. So things not going well for Dennis lately. Yeah. Johnson about to win three straight hands. Off Dennis, unfortunately, too. Well, that picks up a little bit of equity for Dennis. He keeps betting 5 and 2. Yeah, Dennis just does not uh, like to check. I know, I do what I can. And there it is, Dennis. Let's go. Oh, he finally gets there. Yeah. One time in his life, he gets there. He won the WPT LA well, class. One time in his life in bike life. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious because you were just talking about how you never wanted to bluff me again. And you're just going to go for yeah. it. Cool. What did you say? Oh. Have it. That's a different story. You can think about that because I just yeah. never have it. 10 seconds. <laughs> we should have the stat on the TV time blank, time bank for us. On a wow. Wow. And a massive overbet from Dennis. 2x potty just shoves all in with the straight. Wow. Everyone at home is like, what a John with top yeah. pair. <laughs> Too much money. 32, what? 33.9. 33, 33, wow. Looks like the dealer says it's 33.9. So a little less than yeah. I thought. But John is going to fold. I how much it took. That's how much it took. Good fold by Johnson. Dennis, you know, maybe he gets paid if he bets smaller. I'm not sure. But I, I think John probably still folds most of the time, no matter the sizing. Yeah, it's a bad river for John's hands. <laughs> it's one of those spots where, like, you know, no, Dennis is hoping that John just has like two pair and, and just can pay no matter what he bets, so he's just going for the throat. John Sin, the World Series of Poker main event champion, <laughs> just uh, playing perfectly the last few hands against Dennis. That's hard to believe. Up 160,000, the big winner tonight, the rich get richer. One, what do you win, 8.8 .8 million or so last year? How much was it? Nine yeah. million? Yeah, like, like over, only, I think it was less than nine, but over a little over eight. So. And he's up 160,000 today. He played. He played very well at that final table too. Like, oh yeah. <coughs> he really did, and he, he wasn't the chip leader most of the time. No, no, for sure. Stanley here with Ace Seven of Clubs, opening, getting called in multiple spots here. Definitely a hand that Alex Foxing could three bet sometimes. For sure, I think he's a little bit concerned. The raise coming from Stanley specifically, uh, also just you know flatting this hand sometimes on the bonus good. Sixes is the best hand here. This will probably check around. Although Alex Foxen could bet it and kind of turn his hand into a bluff, but turn is a nine of hearts. Dennis with the highest heart. This looks like it's 
probably gonna check through once more. Yeah. Rivers at nine, so Garrett's sixes are the best hand. It's nice to win those. It's nice to win those for sure. You, you don't expect to take it down that often. Shout out to DGen Poker for the donation on YouTube. Shouting out all the DGens out here. And a shout out to Protection Poker for providing us with the action clock as we do every high stakes game every Friday. The action clock, same clock that's used on the WPT and all the high roller tournaments. 30 seconds to act per action and each player gets five one minute time extension chips per five hours. They reloaded halfway through the show. You see the red chips in front of them. Makes the game go faster. Great addition to, uh, to high stakes poker. Yeah, for sure. It's one of those things where I was I was speaking about this earlier in that, like especially for streams, it's one of those things that makes the viewing experience more enjoyable. Or it's like there's a little bit of drama as well as like you know the countdown. Like it's like oh he used two time max, he only has ten seconds left. Like what's he gonna do? That's like exciting, as well as like just keeping the pace of of play like faster, which is good. People in the chat discussing how much Matt Burke he's in for. He's only in for 100,000. So he's got 45 in front of him, down 55, but he is only in for 100. He has not yet added on. He does have reload chips, though. The chicken kebab? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Pretty good. Oh, here comes that sick ant. I just gotta see how this plays out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not watch this hand. This hand is just. Let's try to hold the button. So for the first time, uh, we're allowing the players to watch the stream on delay in the room. So they have it on the TVs in there. Uh, we're on 30-minute delay today. A lot of times we're on longer delay, but today 30-minute delay. And uh, Bill requested and all the players agreed so that they could watch all of the old hands uh, in there so nobody has to like, go out and get information. And so uh, it's a new dynamic for today's show. Yeah, Fox and was speaking briefly like how in the high roller tournaments players are just like after every hand just like getting up and going to their phone and seeing like the next update they got from their friends and stuff and it's like you know it kind of like kills the game a little bit whatever this was a uh, straddle from dennis to either 800 or 1000 i'm not sure Foxen's going to open up to 2,500. I believe it was a 1,000 straddle. And a 3-bet from Berkey to 7,000 with pocket nines. And Foxen's going to call out of position. 16K in the middle. And a gutter for Alex. He was the 3-better here and see bet this flop. I think he wins this. Yeah, I'm curious to see how Berkey proceeds here. This is... I guess he's going to check the chart of showdowns now. Like, this is a pretty bad situation. Yeah, this is, this is a good card for uh, Alex to start bluffing. He has the king high flush draw. I don't think Berkey's going to call if Fox and Bet's here. What is he calculating? What is he thinking about? He just fucking goes. He's like... I know what he's King. 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 And Berkey's not King. that deep, so I don't think it's a spot where Foxen wants to check. Now what I do? I think that betting Where's is probably better here. Oh my, how the fuck did I get myself in this spot? <laughs> then he fires, and it's like, okay, what ace can I beat? I can't yeah, beat ace right. 10, I can't beat ace queen. Imagine I fold here though, that would just be. Yeah, that would just be bad, so you just. Like, That's the only other worst way to play it. Jimmy Buff is asking if the players can see the Twitch chat on the stream. No, they can't. Just the, the game, they can't. We couldn't hook it up with the chat. Awesome. Oh, Jesus. It would be cool, though. Dude, this is one of those days. Dude, this is champion poker. All you, all you people out there who... Dennis say, you know, the pot has to be over 200k for the Faded Spade uh, giveaway. So we need a pot of over 200,000. We need somebody to win 100,000 in a hand, which I believe we haven't had yet tonight. We had uh, 
at least three pots over 200k last Thursday, and none yet. We did have one, but it was uh, chop, right? Yeah. Or, no, that wasn't over. No, it was. It wasn't over. The Aces vs Kings wasn't. No, so we haven't had a 200k pot. We are still waiting for that big pot. I feel like it's gonna happen at some point. What do you think? It was, yeah, There's a lot of time left. I think, maybe I think, my is good. Maybe my I think it could happen. Good. It's one of those... Yeah. We haven't seen like any that. massive... Obviously, yeah. we saw the Aces. Yeah. The one problem is that we have three players under 100k. Right, right. But I feel like we can have But what draw was he check-raising? I just want to hear the mind of a champ. Like, uh, You know, we didn't make it that far before we called. <laughs> <laughs> There's only 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 Okay, Berkey just added on. Oh shit, the time bank's coming yeah. up. I think he added on about 100k. We're going to find out. It's queen time, right? 100 he added on? So he could add Okay, so Berkey added on 100k. We're now at about a 1.3 million on the table. So Berkey's about $136,000 deep now. So he finally decides to add it. And he's going to bet with top pair. And then it's going to float with two overs and a gutter. And Garrett with top pair as well. Yeah, this is one of those uh, interesting check raises with top pair that you don't see that often from some of the top uh, players. But Garrett likes to mix that in once in a while out of position. Okay. I think it's an interesting line. I think that I would be leaning. I could see why. It's like one of the best hands that are that can't really call but like don't want to fold. So he's like including this into the race. Let's see if Dennis continues. The odds he's got kings. Dennis going to try to smash that 10 yeah, turn. You know, when he would flew over Berkey. Yeah, for sure. I didn't think that was... He, he, he had me good. 40k <laughs> going into his middle. Complete brick on the turn. Yeah. So, let's see if Garrett continues. I feel like if he continues, it's not going to be a big sizing. I don't think he really can continue here. Like, when the turn comes in deuce, good bluff, like, good bluff. The, the enemy <laughs> unit's, like, equity distribution is going to go up because, like, a lot of the back doors are just going to continue lucky. now. So, like... Like too between the combination of just like the floats continuing as well as like you just being beat, like I don't think Garrett can bet on the turn. Oh, so you agree with the check? Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. That's a long way of me saying yeah. That's a good check. I think that he might check call here though against Berkey one time, depending on the size. If he bets less than half pot, which he does bet slightly under half pot, Dennis gives it up. This is interesting. This could be Matt Berkey's moment to finally win a nice hand. Yeah, it could be. I, I think Garrett should is probably going to fold. When Berkey bets flop, calls a check raise, and bets turn, he has a pretty strong range. Especially with the presence of Dennis behind. And Dennis only with 30-something thousand. Right. And so if he bets this turn, he cannot fold to a shove from Dennis. So he has to have a strong range here. At the very least, I think Berkey has to have like 9x of clubs. Berkey, Berkey betting this hand is is, is not easy. Yeah, you're just like, a pair of flush draw or combo draw is yeah. the minimum hand he has here. Yeah. And a nice fold by Garrett. So yeah. Garrett goes for the check raise and then check fold on a brick. Interesting line. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Both players are, are a little bit out on the limb there. Like, Berkey's bet call bet on the turn is, is definitely the bottom of his range there. I had a pair. Pairs are good. A pair. A long night. A pair of nines or something. Jeez. I hope it was a power pocket pair. Power like pocket. Super, actually, actually, this is entertaining to watch. Yeah. John up 159,000, followed by Garrett. 95,000, and Bill Perkins 65,000. <laughs> Right, if you were like 30, kind of yeah. Yeah. 13 on the turn, then just check rivers. Yeah. Yeah. He might have jammed on me. Mm -hmm. He 3 the button knife. That would have been bad for you? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, wait, you had 10 for that. It would have been bad if you could check. Yeah, I, it would have been bad if I couldn't get the check. Oh, right, right, I understand. Whoa, even if he jammed, you could have just said, like, I raised. Yeah. <laughs> 16, <coughs> 1600. Pennsylvania Avenue. You could have like talked to me like, I'm trying to triple triple check raise you to so make any bet but all in. I feel like nobody at the table got that joke. Yeah, I think so. That, like, all the I missed it. Yeah. yeah I think so. Like someone raised a sixteen hundred and he said Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue. Ah, I see. That's cool. You know what that is, right? Yeah. 
I bet you, how many people at the table realize what 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue is? I, I think all of them. I'm, maybe, well, maybe not one. <laughs> I don't know. Don tries to get me with it. Dennis going to uh, see the best most hand of here. And Fox and calls with King High. Well, you just fold with the cut shot the back door, huh? Yeah, guess. Yeah, multiple back doors available for Fox and he could also just sometimes have the best hand. That doesn't even complete anything. It's true. Yeah, I should have killed. I should have seen one. Yeah, me too. I had a back door for sure. Fucked up. Yep. Two pair for Dennis. Yeah. Let's see if Foxen tries to bluff. Hmm. I think his hand's a little too good. Yeah, I think so. And and with the sixes on the board, I, I don't know that Dennis can bet here either. I wish I could wreck track at least hit a turn. Wow, he actually bets. This is super more, thin. <laughs> if there's not two sixes on the board, it's a great value bet. Yeah. But this isn't an auto fold for Foxen. Salter wise says call. This would be pretty sick if he got paid off here. I mean, he has Jack Seven on an E six six board. Yeah. Oh. He called. Yeah. Wow. And and Foxen does call with worse. I mean, Foxen. This is not like an insanely unreasonable call. Like Foxen beats some hands four five eight nine. Eight, but you don't expect Dennis nine, to be ten. value betting that hand that often there. For sure, for sure. I mean, obviously, yeah. What a bet by that Dennis. Sick bet. Dennis yeah. blinded with a sick value bet. Yeah, sick that is embarrassing when you call if you're Foxen and you don't see either a bluff or an ace or a six. Yeah. Yeah, that is the one right there. Wow. <laughs> I like how you just go hard and like, you just like that's embarrassing. Like, damn. All right. Well, I mean, but I'm just saying. I mean, no, I know, I know what you're saying. It's, it's like when funny. you know, imagine when when you try to pick off a bluff and and the person's bluffing with a a better hand. Right? Yeah, like, those yeah. Spots you're like, damn. Yeah, it like, sucks. Like you called. I messed ace my high. hand up so much. That happens. Like you call with ace high and they just had like bottom pair that they were bluffing with, and you're just like, ah, oh, man, that hurts. You ever called an ace high and they were bluffing with a better ace high? Of course. Who? <laughs> that I sucks. mean, if, if that hasn't happened to you, then you're not hero calling enough. Yeah. Or you hero call with ace high and they have bottom pair. Right. That sucks. Okay. Family breaking down. Walk into a pot. Let's see how it ends. Dennis here with bottom pair. Berkey with middle pair. And Dennis finds a good fold. Oh, so close then. <laughs> Check out our gear at livethebike.com. Click on store on our website. We got t shirts, we got hats. Check it out. Coupon code bike. Receive 25% off your first order. Livethebike.com. Click on store and you can buy some gear. I want a hat. They are available. I would give you one if we had them here, but we are out of them. All right, fine. I'll order it. <laughs> I will. I'll order it. I'll support. Straddle's on. Alex Foxen, definitely a hero caller. Uh, last Friday on Live of the Bike, he called with King High for 27,000 incorrectly against Ralph. Yeah. You know? That's what it takes. He's not afraid to <laughs> put the money in the pot. That's what it takes to be... Freaking best! Like we gotta take risks. Yeah, call King High, twenty-seven thousand. Oh, it feels good when you when you're right. Yeah, for sure. Ten thousand. Garrett with a f aggro alpha reg three bet. De De Frillet, uh, De Frillot, in the Twitch chat. Uh, not a, sure if he's trolling, but does not know what Pennsylvania Avenue is. Google 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and you'll find out what is located there, what that address is. Berkey looks like he's going to cold four. Ten seconds. Wow. Not afraid to go for it. He added on, 
and he is going to put in the four bat with Ace Jack off. Berkey is ready to play now. He's deep. No, that's Andy. Twenty-seven thousand. What's going on here? It's a bad feeling when you're Garrett when you randomly, once in a blue moon, finally pick a spot to super light three bet. Yeah. With queen three suited, it gets a little bored, and then you get four bet. The one time you get out of construction. How does it not get through? Just punished right away. What time is it going till, says Jim Klein? We are going for at least two more hours. We're six hours in now. No more, no more trapping. I'm going to protect these hands. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe five. Nah, black Do you guy. believe black in winning. like momentum of like game? Like yeah. when things yeah, are going well for you, like think like back. maybe your C bets work more or like stuff like that. Like what do you what do you think? Sorry, say that again? Like do you believe in momentum? Say like say like Berkey would have got five bet there, like do you think like that carries through like like the momentum of that carries through? I don't think momentum necessarily is a thing. I think that uh, having a winning or losing image in the game right. is a thing. So I think that you know if you're winning and you're just winning hands, you're chipping up. You know people just think you have it a lot, that you can get bluffs through. Yeah, that's just start working for you. Um, where if you just keep losing hands, people want to play against you more, and they see bluff a couple times, they're going to keep mm -hmm. hero calling you. But right, so I guess momentum is like a bad term to use. Because it's like the card, it, it kind of signifies the card. Like, you don't play, you know, it's not good to just play more hands because you're winning. Right, right, exactly. I'm so excited when it folds. But I feel like when you're like, winning, like, you get three bet less, C bets just work more. Or, or I could be biased too, like, we don't know. But it just feels that way. And when you're losing, like, they just call. Like, when you see bet, they just call. Like, you know, let you, let you yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it, momentum feels like a thing. It probably right, right. actually isn't, but it feels like a thing. Right, for sure. Far again. Look at the, the Berkey face. That's the Berkey, I'm going to fire again face. I think. Oh, yeah, I had seven high. I like oh. it. Oh, a lot of hands I wouldn't have had. This is an interesting it's turn card for river. both players here. I got no heart. And it goes check check. Snap calling the river if you got there. And then the river is the second nut. <laughs> I call and complain if you get there. If it's 15 into 15, I, I believe. It looks like uh, Bill's up. girlfriend Lara is in the Twitch chat if you guys want to say hi to her. I don't even know. I don't even have it with you. I have it with Reese, right? Yeah, it's not even my, yeah. my action. Berkey's it. talking about the prop bet that Foxen and... Well, which one of us wins the bracelet first? Yeah. Who's the prop bet with? So Ryan Reese yeah. has it was, it was the prop Foxen bet Foxen. against Matt Berkey it was, it was low key. and on Alex Foxen. On betting Alex Foxen versus Matt Foxen Berkey first bracelet like first. Yeah. <laughs> through twenty twenty. So through twenty twenty. So so oh okay. They yeah. have to Somebody has to win one. Yes, but they both have had to have played that event. Oh, so only if they both played oh, the event. Yeah, mutually played me. events. Whoever I wins the bracelet first. I was like, fuck, Ari's never been on the wrong side of anything. I'm uh, in. 12. Yeah. 1,200. At the time, I think it was slightly even, more even. I think that right now, Foxen's a favorite in that bet. He's just a machine. I think so. He just plays yeah. so well. So yeah, good at no just an amazing tournament player. By the way, Jimmy Bluffett... Uh, uh, I assume he knows. He's saying that uh, when Lara pops up, pops up on the Twitch chat, that's actually Bill Perkins between hands uh, commenting from her account. That is what Jimmy Bluffett is saying. And I believe Jimmy Bluffett usually knows. But who knows? We're going three-way in a three-bet pot here. Wow. 10-5-5, five, five, and Dennis Ooh. is going to flop top pair, but Stanley has jacks. This is bad news for Dennis. 8,000. We're going to see how Dennis proceeds here. Well, that's a card that might slow down the action and yeah. potentially save Dennis some money here. <coughs> Rivers at three. I think if Dennis checks here, Stanley can bet. Three thousand. 
Oh, it's so small. That was. Twenty-five. Wow, he raises for value with, I, I assume, <laughs> with jacks on a. Respectable. He's five-five ten board. Just snap raises. Like I didn't even know that was gonna be a thing. Yeah. Right? Like I how mean, does Stanley decide that quickly that that's the best option? You know, he says three thousand is weak, and I have jacks. Go ahead, Stanley. You know what I mean? But he didn't yeah. even think about no, it. No, no. How do you do something so crazy without thinking? <laughs> he just knows. Never, he knows he has the never. best hand. A robot. He's a bot. Could you imagine if Stanley got called there by a worse hand? It, in an equal speed? That would have been sick. With yeah, that exact situation, yeah. imagine if Dennis calls with a worse hand. I know, but I'm saying if Dennis called oh, equally called as yeah, fast yeah. Called, as, and then as Stanley, Stanley raised. Could you imagine? Wow. What a hand. Maybe Stanley doesn't have any more time bank chips. Clubs need to be something. I mean, they're like the most piece of shit suit. Yeah. What? Shout out to Prairie for the ten dollar donation on YouTube. Game? Come on, yeah. man. Come on. Brutal. Alex here with King Queen of Spades. <laughs> Twelve hundred. What are you taking for such a softie? John's John just, just gonna flat again. Is so John playing <laughs> fairly passive preflop as well? A lot of calling. In position and in the blinds. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty certain that the yeah, reason is yeah, similar to what we discussed earlier and why Berkey was flatting. It's, yeah, just yeah, yeah, like a it's an exploitative yeah. flat in terms of like keeping players in that he wants to play it with. Sure. Trips yeah, for yeah, Alex. Yeah, and this definitely is not an automatic fold for John. And now this is going to be a bet. And then you want it. Interesting spot now for Fox. I don't. Let's see if he chooses to check raise versus check call. And he does choose to check without call. A, yeah, without a flush drop board, I like this call. Yeah, it's cool. It's just hard to have too many bluffs as right. check in that board. And uh, Foxen also has the flush draw now. Basically, a PLO hand trips with the flush draw. And John's going to check it back. River's at 10. Time for Foxen to get some value, perhaps. It's going to be pretty tough for John to find a call on the river just because when Foxen checks and then calls, like he's going to be pretty showdown driven a fair portion of the time. So, And it, I don't think John is going is gonna to expect. Fox to be betting like ace jack on the river or anything like that, so he's just mostly beat. He overbets. It's just hard to be bluffing here. World Series champ against high roller champ. Hmm. John's just like, just thinking like, well, I block some king axes, like, etc. But like. Ten seconds. <coughs> I mean, Fox just has a showdown driven range when he check calls the flop. It's just like, no, that's kind of paramount. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the worst hand that Fox has when he calls flop is usually going to be a six. Mm -hmm. Right, and, and that, that's negated, yeah, at yeah. that point, yeah. So he just has like sixes, tens, or a king most of the time. Right. But like sixes. Okay, that makes sense too. I mean, I guess like I feel like sixes, he would not be checking as frequently as he checks king queen. And it what? Just because Come he on, unblocks the king and like, I yeah. I know. That's why I took the time bank. That's mm. why I took the time bank. <laughs> I said all my prayers. I said, please don't have a full house. That's and then let's just stick it in there. You should be more careful with your I like money, that. I, like, I, I mean, you respected the gods. The gods I know you're new to being prayer, rich, but yeah. you should be a little less caught, or a little more cautious. Cautious. Yeah. The fuck. The the the, the chat is saying. The chance to get a full double if you had a full house, man. You know? That's Kristen Bicknell's boyfriend. His, he's also just yeah. Alex Fox. And then I said, yeah. Yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> both of them are beasts. <laughs> yeah. They're both top GPI players. For sure. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Kristen Bicknell actually was around before Alex Fox in For terms of yeah, she was being a goat. Like she was an online player back in yeah. the day who crushed it. For sure. She's been around a very long time. Super nice. <laughs> great, great person to hang, hang out with. I wish them both the best. Ooh, new painting coming in. 
I don't think so, man. They're taking the table out. Oh. Pretty sure. <laughs> Flush draw here for Alex Fox and nobody I, else. I we might be able to get that on the wall. Dennis calls here with bottom pair. No, I mean, you have a set or something? I've been Twitch, 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 Twitch streets. Twitch streets. Going into the Twitch streets. You can, you can play know. music without... Interesting card out. here. This yeah, is going to give additional I'm equity to Fox. Because like, out of game is boring. I expect them to probably be betting here. The interesting part is, like, what's the target? He's going to try to shake out, like, some 9Xs, maybe some under pairs. Like, but the problem is he blocks some under pairs. So, we'll see what he does. Let's check out what the chat is saying right now. 7400 in the middle. He's probably going to start polarizing. Yeah, 59. That's a really good draw. Gets it through. No, no questions for the table. Here are the there. stats. John Sin, the big winner, up 155,000. Garrett up 83,000. He's been up yeah, since the beginning. Bill Perkins up 56,000. And Matt Berkey crashed. climbing his way back towards even. <laughs> yeah, some fucking Dennis ball. is Stanley down. I, I, sometimes I do things that don't make sense. Foxen also I climbing his way back. Yep. Huh? Formerly down. Or previously down. I mean, cold pouring k over a three bet in a cold call seems <laughs> like a winning play. I wouldn't doubt yourself. Listen, it worked <laughs> out. <laughs> Dude, not done. You ever seen the movie The Matrix? <laughs> That's Neo. He is the Matrix. Neo over there. Stanley with ace jack of clubs. Puts in the three bet, so he's getting more aggressive I like, now. I, I like, like this it. three bet. Yeah, I like it. Especially recognizing that Dennis is going to open a lot of hands. I like to put myself in tough spots. You're Neo, man. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Shakes Fox <laughs> out the hand with sevens. I wonder if Alex would have a cool call here with sevens. Baby. No, he, he gives yeah. up. Yeah, they're pretty shallow as well. Like, it's just. So, what's the plan? Now, you know, Fox, how you're much cash competing directly you with levels. Poker After Dark. How much cash expertise do you have at you know. <laughs> We see ourselves different okay. as any other stream, um, just in many different ways. We see Live the Bike yeah, different like in that like we're in a casino zero, and right. that we can constantly get players that are just going to walk in here and play. I meet players every day that want to play okay, Live the Bike to get a chance to play at some point. It's easy to cast players to play on this show, um, not necessarily this show specifically, but the shows in general because I'm just meeting more and more people here all the time, and whether it's in a casino or through people. Um, it's an open environment. Uh, when a seat opens, someone can come okay. join it. The chat. Chat we constantly first. have alternates. You know, it's a lot different Which than the other shows. Right. And that's why you see it's a more casual okay. environment here. People, you know, we let them meet at the table. They can order food. They can get a massage. Right, right, for sure. And that's good. Like, that's how it should be. It shouldn't be, like, so formal. Like, yeah, we're not a produced, edited show. We're not in the middle of a... Of a, of a big studio. No, yet, We're yeah. just. This is what a casino We're game looks like. We're just streaming it, <laughs> and we just Jimmy happen to be you. lucky enough to get some <laughs> big games lately. No, you're good, man. I'm sorry I sucked out with the nines. I really, I apologize. <laughs> you were asking me earlier about how the game came together and never finished, but oh yeah. So so yeah. So so Dennis, you know, wanted to put Fox in, and Dennis was like, "Hey, we should do the same game again." And I was like, "Okay, let's see if we get a game." I started reaching out to people. People seemed to be in, and I went from there and, and was able to plan it, and then uh, I was able to get these people. And uh, how did the uh, Without going into details, how did the Perkins conversation? So I, I've been trying to get Bill Perkins for a long time. I really, really like Bill Perkins, and I just yeah. wanted to get – he's one of the guys I really want to get on the show. I've been trying for over two years. I've been in touch with him through people and through him eventually, and he just hasn't been available mm -hmm. for different reasons. And I really wanted to get him in this game, and he said there was a small chance, and then a few days before he said – 
Uh, they want to know what is the first thing couldn't. you bought after you won the main event. So I just started trying to convince him in, in different ways, and I was able to. No, so like like convince him, and, yeah, yeah, like a thing. you know, like a, kind of, we discussed certain things, like a, and right. it, it worked out, and uh, like I, I don't know, I just, I, I'll just say that I Real estate? Yeah. Real estate. was able to say the right things to, to get him to want to come, Sweet. and uh, I was really happy when he finally said yes, it was on Wednesday. I bought a and, table uh, and he was able to work out the logistics uh, and take a trip to LA with, <laughs> and with his family and, and table, or with his girlfriend and, and uh, I think his um, family is uh, coming to visit as well tomorrow. Shit, so uh, I here. I'm just really excited uh, that we finally got the man, the myth, the legend, Bill Perkins okay. on Live the Bike nice. and we hope to have him again more in the future. For sure. I'm excited for Tom Dwan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope. Definitely that would be a dream. Alright, well, no, I lent it to a friend. Aaron's up all the money. He's not stuck. <laughs> Top hair open ender for Stanley. Dennis with the Which back is, door flush draw in the gutter. If you guys ever want to be nice and loan someone your card, don't do it. Ooh, the river's so a 10. The turn, right? The turn's a 10. Yeah. That's correct. They got an action clock up. Turn check, check. And yeah, the river's a deuce. So Dennis with the nuts. And Stanley with two pair. Dennis bluffs a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised if Stanley calls. Kirk, yeah. you want to know how much he yep, for? He does pay it off. Nice bet by Dennis there, 3K. And gets paid. Nice. Let's go, Dennis. D block. That's his Twitter. Stanley here with Ace of Hearts and Jack of Diamonds under the gun. 1200 and a 5k 3 bet from Perkins with King Jack. So, excuse me. Looks like the graphics said 2k. We'll see uh, if that catches up and see if that changes or if that's the true number. It looks like it is. So we're going heads up to the flop, uh, raise, and then a small 3 bet to 2k. Flop comes. 10, 9, 8, two clubs. Both players with a gut shot, but built to the nuts. I mean, sorry. Both players with an open end and then built to the nuts. I would remember when I picked it up. If I pick it up. Raise it. Make it 13,000. Call. This is getting extremely interesting as a check raise was on the flop from Stanley and a quick call from Perkins and turns a jack and Stanley continues for 30 and that's going to do it. Really interesting turn bet there. Yeah, one of those hands. They look good on a flop. Could just check it. Win loss stats currently we're seeing Matt Berkey down 18-4, Johnson up 153,000, Dennis stuck a little bit over 100 as well as Stanley uh, similarly, Bill Perkins up 40, Garrett Adelstein up 82 and rounding up is Fox with a little under 40k loss. Ball and get all the money. Three players.
Ace, Ace nine nine rain here. Berkey's going Ace to down? bet two thousand. Really and gets check raised by John Sin. Let's see if Berkey's just gonna release. Or if he's not not believing this action. Berkey has a really good candidate to just get hood, so to speak. Take it to the streets. My Berkey is just gonna release though. Good play by John Sin. Pretty good timing there. That was a strong bet with Ace Jack. Gosh, I'm a queen there. That was a really good. In that was a really interesting spot for 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 Berkey as well as like Johnson. Johnson choosing to check raise King Queen on Ace Nine Nine. Most most conventional play would just be either check call because your hand has showdown value or check fold because like you're out of position and like a really tough spot but choosing a check raise is not something i see rather often but i kind of like it i mean it puts berkey in a, in a spot where you know he's probably you know if he doesn't have an ace and he doesn't have like if he's stabbing hands like 10 8 and folding then you know you just win the pot right there so really good really good out of out of the box thinking there from johnson and kudos to him wins the pot right there Check in the dark. I, oh, you went dark and I'm dark? Oh, it's a dark battle. I like this. Check it. That's got to be me. That's me. That's got to be me. Have you checked in the dark? Yeah. That's got to be me. I'll bet 500. Hey, if you really know, look. No, I don't know what my hand cards are. Those guys upstairs know, but I don't know. I have to raise. Okay, I gotta be I gotta be cautious because I don't know what I have, but I think I'm still ahead, so I'm just gonna call. Dark. <laughs> have you seen your cards yet? I have. Okay, good. Okay. This is good because I have out. I know I must have out. Oh wow. There is nothing I should say. I should we should just enjoy this. That's gotta be me. I'm gonna look if you bet. Yes, I have to look. I have to look. Okay, ready? Mecca lecca high, mecca hiney ho. Okay. Mecca lecca high, mecca hiney ho. Pee Wee Herman too. Hi, sir. It's very intriguing. I mean. You get a seven or a king and you win, but you, I just might have just donated money to the uh, dentist fund. They'll no, just improve charity, right? on the river. All right, here you go. No, it's not. Hey, <laughs> 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 Oh, we both had diamonds, too. We kind of got, kind of got nasty. That's one of the most fun hands of the night, for sure. And that's that pot's gonna go to Bill Perkins as he counterfeits Dennis's four on the river with kings and seven with an ace kicker. As the hand was played rather blind from Perkins, at least on an earlier street. I don't like John Sid this I didn't know what I had. I was just like I love the raise. I was like, I don't know what I have here. <laughs> I thought, I, was, I thought it was head, and I was actually ahead. Yeah, I heard that. Right? You're behind on the flop. On the flop, though, you got me. I didn't know. I didn't think you would get me on the flop. But you did get me on the flop. I figured my yeah, hand was more. Yeah, that's true. But I was thinking about that, and I was like, I don't know if I can get on the flop. That's good, because you're right. It wouldn't be fucking worth it for me. But I had a lot of outs. My outs. One more guy in the chat. All right, let's go back to the chat. Tells you to harm yourself. <laughs> <laughs> can't fucking take it. Fucking Poker Pete comes after me one more time. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Come over. Yeah, the comments are, I mean, the, the table talk has been rather good. Uh, so I'm kind of just like laying the back seat here and kind of letting us all enjoy the table talk, especially with Sorry. Bill Perkins.
pretty interesting here. We see an open and a defend from Garrett. Uh, flop goes check, check, turn. Garrett leads for 2k and Johnson defends ace 10 high on the turn on a three club Somebody board. Garrett bets the turn for both value slash denial. Garrett, so. Garrett landing on the river now, no deciding what to do. Pot 7200. Feels like his hand is a clear check and John right, has well, a check as well. It can go up and down. down? Yeah. table definitely goes through ups and downs of energy so it seems like there's like a little bit of a dull energy but the, the energy between Bill Perkins and Dennis is always uh, really interesting because they're they, they like to play each other play play each other pretty hard and aggressively so we'll see how that pans out for the remainder of, of the game here we see John open Queen ten of space to 1200 and Dennis and Stanley quickly call with 5-3 and 9-7 offsuit. Dennis now a little shorter, sitting with 27-2. Garrett flicks it in, and that might bring Alex Fox in. And he calls as well with 8-4 off, getting an amazing price. Flop, six, flop is going five ways with 6,600 in the middle. Jack 8-7. Giving Sin a gut shot as well as a backdoor straight. Uh, sorry, gut shot as well as a backdoor flush draw. Excuse me, it's getting late. Garrett here, quick check calling flop with middle pair, backdoor flush draw. Turns a 10, really good card for Garrett's overall range. Let's see what pans out here. I expect it to go check, check, unless Garrett decides to turn his hand into a bluff of some sort. And that is what's going to happen. Really, really good instincts from Garrett. And he's leading 12,000 into 14. And this is a card that really improves Garrett's overall EV distribution of the pot. So it's one of those situations where Garrett just gets to lead a lot. And his instincts of taking a hand that actually contains a pair and doing this is like pretty raw and good. And it works. Johnson lays down 10 and the G-Man show continues. That's really strong. I mean, that's something that we don't see every day, and that's that's what separates G-Man from like us humans, I guess. G-Man is up ninety-five thousand, so yeah, he's creeping back on that hundred K mark again. He played a big pot earlier in the show versus Alex Foxen where he had ace-king versus kings uh, and it was a four bet pot and the flop came ace-ace-x and unfortunately Foxen lost a big pot there and Foxen has been trying to climb out of that hole ever since so Foxen now only down 40k and looking to attempt to get even before the show ends Dennis Blyde in here with pocket kings in the hijack Fifteen hundred and Stanley releases this time. Perkins with King Jack off. I'm going to call. 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 Perky. I'm the longer ride. Deuce to seven and 
Matt Berkey flicks it in as well, coming in from the third blind. And we go three way to the flop here. Dennis hoping to double up. And this is a pretty good flop to do so. Jack 8, 3, Rainbow. Dennis is not that deep, so this could get pretty favorable for, for him quickly. And he's going to get a lot of action. Flops four, flop goes bet, call, call, 14, 3 in the middle. Dennis with 22 back. And that's a king, which is definitely going to secure a double up here because Bill has top two. as well now and Dennis with fist pump spot Six looks more. like he clicks it Three raise, Dennis. Dennis with the nuts once or twice sir well, twice. No outs. yeah Twice is not going to matter because there's zero percent. So we're going one time wow. here, and that's uh, yeah. sixty-five thousand seven hundred going wow. to Dennis Blyden. Just sometimes you just have it. Twenty-two thousand seven hundred. Wow. Uh, I quit. <laughs> Very nice spot for Dennis Blyden. Wow. You should be thrilled. To see That's going to uh, help him climb back, and you know the night's yeah, not over. Yeah, this, things could get uh, real yeah, spicy think, for with Dennis Blighting having Dennis more chips. So the chat. Oh, what was me? Some of the chat Why saying yes. Why did I have to get? Like I could have just pulled the three. Can you just fold it for you know why? Why? Right. Can you solve for why with that hand right there? <laughs> it has to be a king. Like I could just, you know, an ace could have came, a queen could have came. Slow it down. Yes, pretty unlucky there for Perkins as the turn was a king and that secured his fate in doubling Dennis up. So it's unfortunate for him there that the case king fell on the turn. But fortunately for him, as the chat points out, Dennis could have been okay, deeper and things could have gotten significantly uglier, uglier for him. So, you know, <laughs> a little unlucky there, but a little lucky that Dennis was short. That was perfect. <laughs> Dennis now opened large. I would have been on my bike. Opens 3,000? Yeah, he opens up 3K. Probably just the 7. Maybe. I would've put you on some bullshit hand and fucking piss pump know. jam my money in there. Let's find out. Foxy here with 7, 6 of diamonds calling the 3,000 and Matt Berkey with kings. There it is. <laughs> there it is. All you can eat. Who are you rooting for? I just want to know. Who are you rooting for? Three bets to 10k straight. I, I don't think I don't ride it to a whole new fucking level. I don't, I don't oh, think you can win. There it is. I fucking knew he was going to do that shit. This guy can't fucking help himself. <laughs> 10 seconds. Dennis in the tank here with seven deuce. Contemplating if Berkey's potentially just acting up. Oh. And he calls. That's probably going to bring in Fox behind. I don't see Fox folding here. And here we go. Three way to the flop. 30,900 in the middle. Fox with 7-6 of diamonds. Berkey with kings. Blyden with 
Seven oh, yeah. deuce off and ace eight seven board. And let's how see how away? Berkey proceeds like, here. Uh, three uh, ways in a three bet pot. This no, this is it's for the fans. I want to measure it out. For the fans. This is the way? All right, this is the way. Okay. Looks like Berkey's yeah. going to choose to bet small. As we are joined back by producer, host, commentator, right, player, back. owner. We got a seven deuce here. Dennis going for it with a seven deuce on this the ace went, high board. Yes, this went raise, call, three bet, call, call. So and Dennis opened it up. Yes. And Alex called and Berkey three bet. Berkey three bet. Dennis called and Alex called. So Alex with the back doors. Dennis with the seven deuce. Let's see how this uh, develops. This is really interesting so far. Interesting that uh, Berkey does bet this ace high flop three ways when it's likely that somebody is going to have an ace in a three bet three way pot. Berkey called out. Berkey called out Dennis's lie, hand pre flop. He said, "Do you have seven deuce?" Something like that. He did mention the hand specifically. So, I think that. There is a little bit of Berkey that bet the flop knowing that Dennis might call uh, with a 7. And let's see what happens now. And it goes check, check. Dennis does not try to bluff it. And a 45k pot for Matt Berkey as he pulls back to almost even. Down just 5,000. He's not a shove on the frickin' turn. No shot. He's been like, God dang it, his ace X. Kings. Saving us money. Nice pot there for Matt Berkey as he pulls into only down 5,000. And let's see. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he can win on a stream for once. Can he do it? Jesus. He's it like one for eight alive with the bike. Can he do it? Oh, my God. What's? I think he's only won once. Uh, he's not, he hasn't played that many. Maybe he hasn't been eight. But, but yeah. What was the one hand? The one session he won? It was. I think it was Doug Polk week. He sure. Won one of the sessions. But like, maybe. But he it's, has had a rough hurts. go about it on yeah. the show. I'm glad he keeps coming back. But, yeah. Uh, it's been tough. You know that that's in his mind. I mean, you know, he's a poker player. He's just going to play his hands. But you know in his mind, he's like, it's I want to show everyone that I can win in these for games. For sure. It's like, oh, it's all one long session, man. Don't no, worry. It's like, no, because not all the human. sessions are on TV. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. Stanley with eights. Bill Perkins with queens. And that's a three bet. And that's going to fold the action around quickly. Stanley's going to call. He's not going anywhere. Well, Dennis Blyden hasn't released oh. his hand yet. So well, let's see what occurs here. Good he fold. folds. And here comes a call from Stanley. We got thirteen thousand dollar pot. Mr. Stanley. Mm -hmm. Seems we've run into each other a couple times. It feels like the pace of play has picked up uh, a little bit. Check check. Not a great board for Stanley. He did call the turn somehow with eights, with the eight of hearts. And Bill is going to make a re uh, Bill is going to bet his full house here on the river as he turns the set. There's a full house, and Stanley makes the fold. All right, we have a special guest we're going to have for a little bit here. Is we have about an hour left in the or hour and a half left in the stream. Crazy, haven't seen this person live at the bike legend in a long, long time. Instagram we have Graham Legend. Courtney Liberal Chick is here. Wow. What's up? We got, we got, oh, wait, wait, oh, there you go, say it again. There What's go. up, guys? Wow, Courtney, <laughs> a.k.a. Liberal Chick, is making an appearance somehow here at the bike. I was hoping to get a seat in the game. Oh. Is there a seat open? I, mean, I, I just you, ran into Art, and he said he got a seat in the big game. Uh, we, we can, we can get a seat. <laughs> wow, how are you doing? I've been good, how are you? Good, watch, the chat's about to explode. The people yeah. that know who Courtney is and know Liberal Chick. Liberal Chick on yeah, she's Instagram. Yeah, she's kind of loud. 
You There's can about to be a lot of sexual harassment in the chat. Oh, for real. <laughs> if you want to watch Courtney's to old show, she played Live at the Bike, as well as all of her high stakes games, a million dollar games. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Liveatthebike.com. The promo code is high stakes for two weeks free. Check it out now at liveatthebike.com. It is worth the subscription. Chat going nuts. Chat immediately. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, wait, what? Female? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't care either. Yeah. Get her in the game. Let's go. What have you been up to? <laughs> She's like That's working. why we got to turn on the, the camera in here. What have you been up to? Like, playing any poker or no? Um, I've been playing a lot of PLO. PLO. Um, but I've been playing a lot of PLO, running a lot of campaigns. <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah, oh, that's what I was going to say. Like, you're in the political game. so like. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very busy with political campaigns, so I haven't been able to play live very much. I've been playing online a lot. You missed our uh, ladies' night the other day. You would have been a good fit there. I know. I was so jealous. I was so, so, so jealous. I was chatting with a lot of girls. And hey, I, we should get you back in the mix one of the ladies' nights we do in a couple months. If I you would, want to. I'm totally down. Um, I wanted I wanted to see if I could fit in, and I we had endorsement meetings. I had I had meetings All right, that we'll, night. We'll I do one ma maybe in May or so. We'll get you in one. I should be more free in May, yeah. Uh, um, I'll be very free after August. Walk us through, like, one political campaign day <laughs> they're all different so my favorite part about politics is that it, it's a lot like poker and that every single day every single interaction is entirely different like you can have the same two cards in poker and the hand plays out totally differently even with say almost an identical flop right um it will play out totally differently whereas uh, it's exactly the same in a political campaign where i will expect um something similar to happen to what's happened before and things will always surprise me yeah. um i i like the i like when the ground shifts underneath me and i have to think on my feet and which is why i like baltics uh, like matt berkey three bet here pre-flop with king four suit he's going to see bet the flop and alex fox and just calls bottom set usually you'll see players check raise this spot a lot with with bottom set but he decides to just call and Let's see if Berkey continues to the, the, go for it. Yeah, especially the wider Foxen thinks Berkey is. And in this formation, cut off for his button. Like, I'm sure that Foxen is aware that, you know, Berkey's going to be pretty wide. So he's just going to, like, set the trap there. Oh, look at this. Fox is actually going to lead. Yeah, that's lead interesting. Though. He leads on a bad turn card, perhaps to protect his equity if uh, Berkey has a heart in his hand. Right. Back to the chat. It would be interesting to see what he would do if Berkey were to put in a, raise, a big raise here. It would not be a great spot for him. But he won't fold. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Yeah, he should never be folding, yeah. but he won't love it. No, nah, he won't love it, but he's just going to oh. be like, all right, fine. And that wins. Don't do it. So interesting to see uh, Fox and play cash. Oh, for sure. So this it's is... so nice to see someone who is so accomplished in tournament poker and who we don't get to see. Who's that, Alex Foxen? Yeah, play very often. Exactly. Play on stream, and especially at a high collar point game like this where he's constantly put in positions where he's thinking and to see that decision-making process. Sort yeah, of you can see that three. skill and how yeah. skilled are these tournament players, exactly. right? And, uh, and they're two totally different skills, tournament versus It really game. is. Some, a sure. lot of yeah. people who play cash games will put down players who play tournaments and say that cash game players are better. I believe that they're just two totally different animals. Different yeah. games, it is yeah. true that there are a lot of really good tournament players that aren't very good at cash, but there's also a lot of really good cash players that aren't good at tournaments. For sure. So who says that one's more important than the other? Right, for sure. It, it, yeah. It's just about yeah, what you're going to put the most emphasis on yeah. and, and what works best for your lifestyle. And it's possible to be competent and good at both, but it is. Not many you have are. to actually... It, just like anything else in your life, you have to work at it really, really exactly. hard. Exactly. They all, they both work hard, both sides. <laughs> and uh, you know, there's there's many people that have made millions in tournaments. And there's many people that have made millions in cash games. I feel like it's very it's very split brain. Like you have to totally be able to separate yourself. Yeah. And really learn how to come up with two separate strategies. For sure. And then at times merge them when you need to. And believe it or not, Alex Foxen, Alex Foxen told me that before last Friday when he played a live of the bike, he had never played bigger than 20, 40, no limit, and he had only played that once before last Friday. He does not play many ca much cash at all. He never plays cash. He never played bigger than 20, 40. He comes in last week. He buys in $100,000 in a 5,100 game that turned into 100, 200. And then the next week, he plays 100, 200, 400. 100k oh. min buy and buys in 200,000. So he's comfortable out of nowhere, just buys in yeah. super deep, a huge game, way bigger than he's ever played before, and 
He's holding his own. He seems very comfortable both in himself and his poker skills and his ability to translate it, which is nice. Wow. That gives Berkey. Berkey gets there with a straight in the river, and he's going to raise this river. So uh, if you miss the action here, Bill, three bet preflop, and Berkey defended in position with 5 3 suited. The flop one check check, which enabled Berkey to turn an open ender and call Bill's bet. And now Bill's going to bet 5 into 16 8 in the river, and he might pay this off. Berkey's going to put in a value raise here with the second or third nut straight. I think he's going to get paid just because Bill checked the flop and he might think he induced this action to come about. Yeah, Berkey's sick enough to bluff something here. What that would be, I don't know. Yeah, like 6-5 or like something like that. Yeah. I mean, I would not be surprised if Bill pays this off because he bet less than a third pot on the river. Yeah. And there it is, Matt Berkey wins a $73,000 pot. Big moment for him as he's now unstuck. Was down over 50K before, now up $20,000. The third biggest winner tonight. Do it, behind, Berkey, win. Behind John Sin and Garrett. Can we get more uh, Bill Parkins on the show? I hope so. Tom, Tom Dwan <laughs> is next. Yes. Bill Perkins has to wait in line. Yes. Maybe we'll get yeah. Little Chick. Mm, little Chick. <laughs> Bill Perkins was up as much as over eighty thousand dollars. Now basically even up just fifteen hundred. That was an unfortunate pot for him right there. This is yeah. I mean the swings are real here. Like it was crazy because I was I was speaking about this with. I was speaking about this earlier. Just generally speaking, that it's you know Fox was down like a hundred k, but it's like. You've been oh, down, Berkey. like, roughly 200 so big blinds so in a regular yeah. cash game, like, so yeah. many times, right? So easy right? to be down that much. Yeah, it's like, this is 2-4. Yeah, this is 1-2-4 with a 400 ante. Yeah. Like, he's down, like, roughly 200 blinds, and it's like, yeah, it's a hundred. It's yeah. like a hundred k. If though, you've never right? been down like five hundred big blinds in right. a game and it's you like... hated yourself for it, you <laughs> haven't played poker enough. Exactly. <laughs> it's like you're just like you know just, you're out. These you're... are normal swings for these guys. I've been, I've been down like seventeen hundred big blinds before. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of big blinds. That <laughs> is a lot of big blinds. Where is your stop cap, Ryan? End is of the, it like end of the day. <laughs> yeah. Whenever my account runs out. Yeah, but it's um yeah like you know if you're out. If you're out on the on the floor right now and you're playing like five five or or even five ten and you're just you know you're stuck, whatever four k playing five ten. It's like that's yeah. that's a pretty standard deviation of like yeah. a session. Like it's like it's just everything's just so magnified because these yeah. stakes are just so you know to us it's just so insane. Like, yeah, it's really easy to see it as money instead right. of big blinds, yeah. which is really deceiving that. because for these players it. It's not about the money. It's about right. the big lines. Correct. Three, five, three five of diamonds, right? Yeah, it, it helps like for the people watching to see it in terms of like the stakes that they're playing and just seeing it in the terms yeah. of like big lines and buy-ins and things like that. Correct. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. How many times have you been a thou stuck a thousand yeah. by five? So like, Fuck, all I'll, the time. I'll get drunk and play one, two and be stuck like two thousand big lines. It's like fine, whatever. So if you don't follow Courtney on Instagram, it's Sometimes liberal you chick. <laughs> it's like you're going to get all the followers still. Chat's going wild. Oh, yeah. Chat, I mean, you knew that. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you walked in the room, you knew, you knew the chat was going to go nuts as soon as you... Hey, they're lucky we don't turn on the camera and have, like, that little box in the, in the corner. I mean, we could if they want. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, a lot of haters. Back to the chat. Tonight. Anything yeah. I like it. Just you know, bring it on. this is the thing. Like, there's haters, but there's also people that like really like you in there too. So it's oh, like, yeah. you know. Oh, haters don't bother me. Shout out. Okay, shout out. <laughs> Come on, seriously. All right. So here we see if an Alex Not versus John day. Sin. Sin cool. here with an yeah. open in the straight draw, <laughs> and Fox check raises uh, this flop with. A gut shot as well as the six of spade and gets called. It turns now the queen of clubs and let's see what Foxen chooses. 
17 4 in the middle. Nice little flush draw for Yanni. It's so weird for me when people call him John Sen or John or yeah. anything other than Yanni. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not there yet, so yeah, I have yeah. to just call him John Sin, the yeah. main event champion. Yeah, yeah. That's to you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Respect for respect yeah. is deserved yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, I and remember chooses. grinding 510 cash with him in private games back in the day. Yeah, I mean, things escalate quickly. Like, I. <laughs> yeah, you know? Especially when you were the main event. <laughs> Turn one, check, check, and now Foxen with a decision if he wants to. Take a stab at this as a bluff. Little does he know he has the best nice. hand. They'll never say anything mean back. <laughs> <laughs> can't show him the like, high down. It's like, like it might be this hand. It's so free, right? Yeah. Turning it into a bluff. Like if I give it to you, I know I'm getting it back. So I gotta weigh the pro con each time, you know. <laughs> John just can't call with a six eye here. No, he can't call no, with a 6-I. Like no. no, I don't yeah. care how many times yeah. you win the main event, you're yeah. not calling here you, with a 6 You eye. can't call with that <laughs> hand. He might raise, I mean, but yeah, it's going to be tough to represent too unlikely. many hands. I guess he could represent a hand like 6-5 of clubs. That's possible, for sure. I like how we're, we're diving deep into feminism and... Uh, some other issues in the chat here. Chat. Well, you know, you <laughs> said you worked for a political campaign. You thought that was uh, yeah. that was going to set off sparks in itself. Oh, yeah. Looks oh, like yeah, Johnson here doesn't. definitely wanted to pull that yeah. trigger. I'm surprised he saw his cards. I don't know why yeah, I wasted that time punching. A nice pop for Alex yeah, Fox you. in there. <laughs> yeah, he definitely didn't realize he had the best hand there, but right. it, yeah. it was a nice That's bluff there at the end. Yeah, nice pop for Fox in there. 24K yeah. going his way. Fox and now only down 26-3. Climbing all the way back from being stuck over 100,000. Quite a comeback. I saw his girlfriend got second in the high roller at LAPC, yeah, I think. Yeah, to Maria Ho. Yeah, week? for yeah. sure. Yeah. They're super cool. I've hung out with them a couple times. They're, well, more than a couple times now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I consider them, like, pretty... Close. They're like yeah. the ultimate. Yeah, they're the power, power couple, couple now. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, you know, Rainer and Maria Ho are also yeah. in there. Rainer I mean, and Maria, just, I think it's those are it's those the top two. I wasn't one hundred percent sure I was gonna be for one. <coughs> and I don't Mama play that Cita much. Versus liberal check. Are we setting uh, up that two. heads-up game, then, right? Uh, <laughs> that would be epic, actually. <laughs> just a bikini, uh, bikini like heads-up match. I mean, we. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't mind, we have brought it, but the viewers would. I did not. Mama Cito wouldn't, you don't think? No, I said no, Casino. The, the oh, the Casino, casino wouldn't. Why? Uh, yeah. I managed to play with your points. Law. I got some, I got some players. Laws, maybe? I don't know. Is there is there some laws yeah. against the bikini? I don't know. We could bring some yeah. beach. Two fair. Two final tables. You had like 20. I've never pulled in there. Three. 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 Barking, I'm picking up That's some thing, momentum. Yeah. Finally. He, he had a rough session <laughs> la last week. <laughs> and <laughs> when the camera's on, it's just, it's just rough. But uh, we'll see if he can pull out a win yeah. now. Berkey up now 23,000. And with roughly an hour and change left, potentially more. Let's we ha we haven't happens. talked much about like the V pips and whatnot tonight. <laughs> it was a super high stakes game. Stanley with the highest V pip at forty. We'll show that at some point. But Stanley with the highest V pip at forty one percent. Alex Foxen at forty percent, mixing up a lot, playing a lot of hands. And then you got Matt Berkey and John Sin both playing thirty five percent. That's a lot. That's a that's a decent amount too for for this high of a game. Although you do got to play more hands short handed. Um, Dennis is, is at the bottom of twenty six, but I think that's because he's away from the table for a couple orbits. Uh, and, and it might have affected right. his V pip because he was dealt in. Uh, Bill Perkins at thirty percent, Garrett at thirty percent. Do you think that Alex um, is has just been getting good hands, or is he more affected by maybe being more of a tournament player? Or I think he's getting hands, but I think he's also defending his blind a lot. Yeah, he's not, he he understands the concept of the ante in the middle. I think when you're a tournament player, you you defend your big blind a lot, and there's a big ante in this game, yeah. and that probably has something to do with it. As uh, Johnson flops the nuts here. And top pair for Matt Berkey. But Bill Perkins is l betting. <laughs> He's got the backdoor flush draw. The and, I mean, Berkey's just going to have a 
a call on the flop and now sin. Easy check raise here, especially in the two diamond board. This should end the hand. Yep, and it does. And it's Good kind of bad. annoying when, no, when Sin has this hand and somehow yeah. the hand ends. It's like, wait, what? I don't even have a diamond. What, what is mean? going on? John is very fun to watch. Flap the nuts. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> and that's why you should never tell him what you have. I'm pulling a set. <laughs> I had a three high flush drop. I absolutely squatata. It goes away. I feel like I made the maximum. Absolute max. Pocket threes for Stanley. He's going to limp under the gun. And Matt Berkey with Jack 10 in the first blind will complete. Yeah, everything seems relatively standard so far. And Dennis is probably going to bump this up. Yep. Throws it in the 3,500. You okay? You're going to raise. Stanley's going to call. He's got I know Bergie's going to call, but I, I would love to see Bergie just fold one time here. <laughs> I, I know he's going to call. Like, well, who's winning now? Yeah, fair. No. Okay, sure. <coughs> sure. Momentum. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I just think like it's hard to win in this spot. Like yeah, out of position. Yeah, out of position against two like volatile profiles that like are not gonna let you like realize your equity that much. And, yeah. Top our uh, bottom set here for Stanley, and he is going to bet after Dennis checks to him. Matt Berkey now winning, and uh, Bill Perkins down, down to about even. Uh, Stanley and Dennis both down over 100K. And we got uh, Johnson, the big winner, up 147,000. Garrett up 91,000. Foxen down 27,000. This is this is the most I've seen Garrett play like like solid like you know like, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that as a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like I feel like I've said that a few times. In, uh, in, a, in a few games, and, you know, I feel like in this type of lineup, he could be more active and more aggressive, maybe just not getting spots. minutes from now. But, you know, yeah, he's, for sure. he's, but he, it's a big game. It's an important game. And I think that yeah, when well, the game is flight, so. bigger, <laughs> Garrett brings his A game. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. Like sometimes we're playing 51, Garrett will just oh, yeah, I went, I went do some crazy stuff. But when it's 1-2-4 oh, yeah, with yeah. an Annie... Like, right. this is his comfort zone, and he's just going to – this is like the NBA Finals for him. Yeah, yeah. He's just going to play his A game. He's going to bring it. You know, he's also just not had that many spots. Right, this is, this is a short sample no matter what. Like, he kind of just won some hands easily or yeah. the first hour, and then it, it, he just hasn't had many spots. Since then, he had one bluff against Berkey that got through for 50,000. And he did try to get, you know – a little hood with the queen three of diamonds, and it just didn't work. Like, you know, so it's not like he's the not jack looking. The check raise. Right. Like, he's looking to get in the mix. It's not like he's just being, like, Garrett's never going to be in the hand. Right? He's, just, he's, not, he's not out here <laughs> blasting off hundreds of thousands there. Yeah, for sure. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a very specific number, this catch your show. Oh, you want me to just, like, knit it, nut pedal? Hmm? You're gonna hurt yourself reading all those comments. I'm I telling know. you. I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, I read them, but like you're I just have no you're feelings. You're focused. I, wor I work in politics. <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. I'm dead inside. <laughs> so we got about uh, a little over an hour left in the show. I must put in Playing 100, 200, 400 with a $500 big blind Annie, $100,000 minimum buy-in. Alex, you going to Rio? Yeah. We got about 1.2. Million dollars on the table. You've been setting up some of the yeah, best games 
I'll just play it here. Yeah, it seems like I think it'll be. I think it'll be really good. It's been fun watching the last wait, week. Wait, wait, wait. It's been incredible. Next week. Oh, actually, there's about one. Next just, week. There's about 1.3 million at the table now. No, we, we're not doing it until <laughs> next week. Um, like, how are we building on? Bill we Marcus? are. Where are we going? We're probably going to get back to reality yeah. for a while, but. Just the games RPA. continue to get better. Shout out, week, shout out to one. Ebony Kenny <laughs> in the uh, Twitch chat, by the way. Ooh, See Ebony, Ebony in there, one of Bill Perkins' uh, Thirst Lounge hosts. If you guys don't follow Ebony, Ebony is a good time on Twitch. Ebony is, is really, really fun to follow on Twitch and watch her stream, too. Nice. All yeah. right, we got a three bet here from Dennis with pocket eights in the small blind. Garrett's going to call with Queen Jack off, and Sean is going to call with six, seven off. These guys are getting hood. Trying yeah. to play some hands. They're in the streets now. And an interesting flop is everybody has a club. And everyone has a, a little bit of something, too. Like, Garrett has two overs to the second pair. There's pairs running everywhere. Ooh, no. the fourth club, everybody has a flush now. And Garrett with the second nut flush, he has the check mark. And it's going to check around. And Dennis is going to bet dark before the river comes out. <laughs> it checks through in the turn. He bets dark 5,000 into 16-4. And I think this is a spot where Garrett now could raise if he wants to uh, to get value against what should not be the nuts too often for Dennis. When he bets that small, that quick, blind, you know, Garrett is the second nuts. And yeah, he's going to raise. Raise. And it looks like a big raise from Garrett. 20,000. And I would think Dennis would get away from it. But look at this, John Sin in the tank with a six of clubs. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even hold he his lap. Whoa! Oh! John Sin with a hero call. King club good. And he just must be thinking that Garrett is trying to bluff John S or bluff, uh, bluff Dennis off yeah. of off of a, a smaller flush because Dennis bet so small. And John Sin calls with the worst hand. And Garrett all of a sudden wins a sixty-one thousand dollar pot. What are you watching? Wow, that is a gift. Is Gar Garrett Allenstein does it, man. I I've always admired John for the giggle call. <laughs> the giggle call. He really just says, has perfected that. He's just like, yeah, I'm probably gonna lose here sometimes, but fuck it. Yeah. Come on, my call. That's like when winning and owning is more valuable to you <laughs> than calling and losing. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can afford it when you win the middle of it. Uh, eight million. <laughs> also up hundreds, hundreds yeah. of thousands. You're, you're, you're fine. He's been, he's been playing good, and he's been jumping in some, um, I heard, very high-stakes mixed games. And he is not a yeah. mixed game player. Who's that, John? In, in, John, in, yeah. in, in games Vegas. that yeah. he doesn't know how to play. Like, he'll play an 8 or a 15 game, and he only knows how to play, like, two or three yeah. games. All right, we got a four-way pot here and an action flop. Top pair for Garrett. Two pair for Alex Fox and a pair and an open ender for Dennis. We could see some money piled in here. Yeah, there's a lot of the case queen fell, so we're going to see some action. And Dennis is going to bet on the button. As he bets about half pot. So Foxen opened under the gun and flops two pair and checks it. Yeah, Fox is just going to check call here. I don't see any, any reason for him to check raise. So you think? Yeah, I mean, you know, he is, this board hits him more than anyone else. So, like, he can, like, just go. Like he's if he also check raise here. He has a hand that people wouldn't expect him to have. For sure, for sure. Oh, and we got a check raise and an all in. Yeah, I can see why he's doing it. Like yeah. also like stack sizes. Like Dennis is not that deep, yeah. so it's just like yeah. Wow, sixty-four thousand dollar pot. They're gonna go twice. Sixty-four thousand dollar pot. Can Dennis Blyden and get lucky one time? Well, let's see. I mean, sixty-four k, thirty-four percent equity. I mean, two cards to come. Fox and wins, he gets even. Oh, there oh! it is! Dennis hits the straight, it running it twice. Oh, Dennis wins the first oh. one. Burns the next out. He is alive. I know, he 
you need the king for the next four. And there it is. Ooh. He gets there twice. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Blyden gets lucky. Blyden hits it go. twice as a two to one underdog. Doubles up to sixty four thousand. Alex Fox had never played cash games again. Fox then <laughs> goes back to tournaments where, <laughs> where it's just like you know that never happens when I play the twenty five k buy in tournament against all the Germans and. No, nah, I mean, like, that's well, actually, you know, next time you come up, like, I, I, I definitely retract my statement. Like, given, <laughs> given the, the stack distribution there, Alex Fox's check raise is, like, really good. Yeah. Because, like, Fox, um, Dennis is, like, stabbing, like, pretty wide, and he expects that, you know, Garrett's, like, pretty capped there, so he just, like, gets to check raise, get it in, <laughs> Dennis, uh, and that's really good. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. <laughs> That kind of sucks. And it looks like Stanley's going to leave us a little early. So Stanley's going to leave us. He had a rough night, lost $121,000. He is uh, down the most. And uh, thanks to Stanley for playing the million-dollar cash game. And we hope to have him again sometime soon. He brought the action, 41% VPIP. And, yeah, I mean, uh, he, just, he won hard. I mean, he was just yeah. playing playing hard and trying to win. And, you know, it didn't work out today. Next week, Tom the one week. So Stanley's going to exit. We're going to get a new player. Art Papazian is going to be coming in in C4. Yes. I ran into Art on my way in here. Berkey's going to raise it up under the gun with Queen Jack. And Fox is going to defend here pretty much every time. And here we go. Top pair for Matt Berkey. Yeah, we're gonna see probably like sixteen hundred from Berkey or something around there, maybe two K. Ooh, a check. What do I know? We'll see a turn. <laughs> give Alex some equity here with the gutter. We'll probably see sixteen hundred here from Berkey or something like that, maybe two K. <laughs> 25. What do I know? 2,500. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not allowed to comment on Berkey anymore. Yeah, yeah. alright, I'm done. <laughs> and that's a call from Fox. Wow, Fox and calls and rivers a pair. I think yeah, I'm gonna go check check. Good board for Fox, like. This is, I don't think Berkey can bet here. He's probably going to go check, check. But if he, I swear. <laughs> I can't be this wrong this many times in one hand. This would be a sick fit value bet here from Berkey if he does do it. I just don't know if he can. No, he's going to check back. Does win it, Ber and Berkey takes another pot. And exuberant as always when he wins a pot. Yeah, he was a so much. He always has so much emotion on his face. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, really. <laughs> Just puts it all there. There's a lot of stoic players. There's a lot of stoic players on the table. Like Fox yeah. and Berkey and Garrett are all very stoic. We've also been playing a long time. It's been yeah. seven hours yeah. so far. It's exhausting. Here opens Jack 10 offsuit to 1500. Garrett's gonna three bet to 6000. And we're going to see a flop. Bill is not folding. He calls with Jack 10 off, defends the button. I like this three bet from Garrett. I think this defend is also fine. They fist pump, fist bump before getting to a flop of Queen Jack 7. Well, All hearts. It's an interesting flop. For sure. This flop's going to give Garrett top pair and Bill middle pair and a 10 high flush draw. And we're going 23-10 to the turn. 50-50 exactly going to the turn. And Garrett pulls ahead as the brick comes on the turn. Top pair. I, I could see him betting or checking in this spot. I feel like against Bill, he's more likely to bet in this spot, I would think. That's kind of how I feel. It, even on the flop, like... 
it's not a mandatory bet for out of position, but against, you know, maybe since he feels like pretty comfortable here, he's like betting. And this, this is kind of how I feel. I agree with you. That's why this is like turning into a, a double. 14 now. I don't think Bill's going to release. Yeah, I think you just got to deny equity against the heart here. And I think that Bill's only going to raise this turn if he has it. And so it, it most of the time. And so it's, it's a good bet by Garrett. And I don't think that Bill can call here too often. I think Bill's going to give this up. I think Bill's going to call. There's a time chip and he's thinking about it. Yeah, the problem is just if you call this turn, it's going to be a hard hand to call with on the river if you don't improve. And That's if a heart comes, you might not be good. I mean, uh, oh, for sure. You could be going against an ace of hearts or king of hearts. Many, does call, yeah, though. like the 10 is, is dirty, the heart is dirty, the jack is probably good. River's a queen, and now trips for Garrett. He loves this river card. Yeah, this is an exceptionally good one for I mean, Garrett Adelstein here. I mean, Bill could have a jack. Bill could have just oh. a random pair and a heart. A or worse queen. Bill, Bill could have a worse queen. He could have queen 10. Right. Queen 9 suited. Garrett loading up the chips here. 51-1 in the middle. I think he's going to go big here, like 30k plus. Maybe 40. This looks, <coughs> looks like 40,000, and that's, a, snap from that's Bill. a switch. But quick fall, then he grabs it. He grabs Garrett's head and says, Garrett quickly says, don't show it to everyone. Yeah. Well, Garrett told him earlier, he's, he, he told Bill, you can see my hand anytime you want, just don't show it to Fox. <laughs> that's amazing. Here's the stats now. Garrett, all of a sudden, the big winner up 149,000. John Sin up 122,000. And uh, two of them combined up 270. And uh, here's Art Papazian who comes in in seat four now for Stanley. He's been waiting all night to play. And he's going to buy in for $100,000. I haven't seen a lot of art lately. As much of art, maybe. You have been, you saying. We haven't seen oh, as uh, much really? of art as we used to see, I feel like. Yeah, he plays so a lot still. He plays on the show yeah, a lot. He played uh, in the like Million Dollar Cash game last Thursday. Yeah. We used to see him every Friday, I feel like. Oh, well, there's just more okay. people sometimes in the player pool. Yeah. King no, 10, that's a good thing. King 10 suited for Dennis. He's going to raise it up. And Bill with Queen 10 suited. He's going to 3-bet. I love this 3-bet by Bill. As he 3-bets against a player who opens a lot. He's in position. Uh, he just lost a, a big hand, so he's going to try to win a big pot now. And Dennis is the right guy to do it against. Okay, we're going 11-2 in the middle, 9-4-4 rain. And that's going to give Bill just... He's just going to win this pot at a high frequency. I just love C-betting big on this flop. And wow, Dennis calls with the best hand. It turns a 10. That gives both players top pair. Well, things... <laughs> Things shifted quickly. Dennis leads now for seven. Wow, things going south for Bill right now. And a quick call. Pots 33-2 going to the river. Uh, this is a clean river. Dennis. Everybody is. Oh, oh, chop it up. Full house versus full house. That's they so both go running 10 after both players have nothing on the flop. Where do these cards come from? How do you, they both Dang. have nothing on the flop? Bill bets with queen high. Dennis calls with king high. And they both... Go backdoor full house to chop. They're both loving know. this. They're in cloud nine right now. Yeah, for sure. On in. Call. And the call. Ten. Ten. All in and a snap call. It's a $129,000 pot, but it's a chop. Why do you your time back? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Parkins is just, Parkins says at least you're used to the time. <laughs> so Bill was up 80 at one point, now he's down 24. Yep. Standard deviation. Berkey was down over 50, now he's up 20. Johnson was down up a decent amount in the beginning, now he's up 121. Yeah. Uh, Foxes, he Fox. was down 110, and he's down only. He was 60. down, and at one point he was only down like 20 yeah, something. Right. Now he's down 58 again. I'm trying to look at the break. And Garrett's been consistent. He's been up. Oh, yeah, he's just faded spade providing our cards today. You can go to faded spade 
Bike.com and use the code BIKE for 15% off a set on, of cards. We still haven't had a $200,000 pot, but I have a feeling we will before the end of the stream. We have less than an hour left. If we have a pot over 200000 or somebody wins at least 100000 somebody in the chat will win a deck of Faded Spade cards. A regular deck? Multicolored deck? Uh, it should be a regular deck, a regular set of uh, two decks. Faded Spade will pick the winners. They're on the chat. I like I like them. It's better good cards. They are. Yeah. <laughs> I just got cute. <laughs> I think they make the best high quality so like uh, RFID cards, too. Yeah, the RFID cards are nice, too. Oh, the cube just so dope. Oh, we're playing seven deuce games. Oh, seven deuce games? Yeah. They'll also customize the cards if you want them to. Say. You, yeah. you can have them say liberal trick. <laughs> Twelve. Bill Perkins is going to raise it up here with Pocket Jacks. Big hand for Bill Perkins here. Pocket Jacks red. Fox. And pocket aces for Alex Foxen. Wow, Fox. All right, all right, buddy. Let's go. We're down 60K. This is it. We got aces on the button. What a dream. Great spot for Alex Foxen. 4,500. And he is going to three bet. I mean, both players are feeling pretty good right now. Bill getting three bet from the button position, feeling like his hand ranks to be best. You could four bet this hand sometimes, but it is yeah. under the gun versus button. Fox is usually going to be pretty strong in this spot. Yeah, but it's under the gun seven handed, so it's like you know, it's like MP, and so we're going to the flop here. Oh boy, Bill Perkins flops middle set. What a dream spot for him. Yeah, this is frustrating. It's like you know, I'm tired of watching my friends lose on stream. You know, it's not done. <laughs> 5,000 5, and yeah, you know, this isn't a, g a great board uh, like but You have to bet aces and now get put into a tough decision So Bill's gonna check raise a 15,000 with his middle set. I like it um, He's got Lara on his lap <laughs> Music and Fox is going to call with aces. This pot is swelling quickly. We're at 2.5 pots left. It is possible for Bill to check raise a hand like top pair. So Fox is not going to fold his aces. Yes, but it would have to be a hand like King Queen. You know, what? it's just a situation where like Fox is at the top of his range. He can't really assume that. Bill's never bluffing or overvaluing, so he's just going to have to pay unless he picks up some sort of live read, and I mean, Foxen is the goat of doing that, so... A huge bet on the turn from Bill, 30,000 oh, no. into pick, pick 40. Down, down is it possible for Alex Foxen to fold here with aces? This is a huge spot for both players, and Foxen makes the call. We have $100,000 in the pot. Perkins has 77000 back. Unless this four... Oh. oh, the river is an ace! Set over set. All in. All in. All in from Bill Perkins and a call from Alex Foxen. Oh! Oh my god. I guess what? We get to leave now. You got me covered? Uh, I have like... I think you got me covered. 88, 90... Like I have like 105 behind? Yeah, you got me covered, I think. Is that man? Lucky. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you, did you, did you, did you, yeah, that's good, wait. Hey. Oh, yeah, that's a dollar? Yeah, we did well. We can get home tonight. Fox is playing cash again. Yeah, no. $253,000 pot for Alex Fox in the biggest pot of the night. And that's going to do the deck of cards. It has to be. Let's see if we get a rebate out of any of this. Just unlucky situation for Bill Perkins. A dream spot where he flops middle set. I mean, and then gets the unlucky river card as Alex Fox and Rivers a higher set. 253,000, and that's going to do it for Bill Perkins. And that's going to climb back Alex Fox from being $110,000 stuck to a $70,000 winner. Obviously, not all in that pot, but. That's the swing that just happened, yeah, like, in this like session. Right now. <laughs> so sick. I was going to show Bill the 9-10 off. 
Later, guys. Have fun. Later. Yeah, we'll, we'll come down. Babe, how much we got there? Yeah. Because things just happen. All right, good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Things can happen. A little slot machine action. A little slot machine action. Right there. Nice game. All right, guys. See you later. I got my bag, my gum, wallet. Yep. I got it. All right, bye. Um, what, what did I have? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh. World Series of Poker Town. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you mean. Five minutes? Is it my turn? No, no. Quite the hand there as Bill Perkins loses a massive pot to Alex Fox. And thanks to Bill Perkins for, for joining us, his debut on Live of the Bike. And uh, he had quite the session, was up a lot early, and then things kind of turned south and lost a set over set hand there. And look at this. We got a flush for Dennis and Art with a gutter and a jack of hearts. And Art Papazian, welcome to the table as Dennis is a massive favorite here. A raise and a quick call from Dennis. And 10K quickly in the middle. Wow. And we're seeing a turn, which is a 9, which gives Art a straight. Wow, what a hand. As an unfortunate turn for Art gives him a straight with a heart in his hand, and Dennis has the second nuts. And Art raised him on the flop, so now he thinks he has the best hand against Dennis, who plays a wide range. There was a... Just a raise and a call. Oh, pre a huge raise from a blind versus blind. Yeah. 2,500. And Dennis is just beating him in. Pot 17, 8 going to the river. Wow, he and just snap calls. No reason Art thinks he's losing here. 25, 6 now. A quick check from Dennis. And I can't imagine Art doesn't bet for value. Four liner on the board now. And is Dennis going to lead the river after check calling twice? No, Dennis, had, I think he already checked. Oh, he did check. Okay. And it's hard for Art not to bet here. Right? And he knows that Dennis is going to call wide. Yeah, and this is going to be like a quick shove from Dennis. 5,400. Well, it, the bet is small. He bet 54 into 25,000. This is a one fourth, one fifth pot mm -hmm. bet. And so Dennis is definitely going to raise, but the question is how much? A shove would be huge. Wow, all in he does, and Art has a heart in his hand. He blocks flushes. Wow. He knows Dennis is crazy. And I don't think Dennis is going to do this with King-10, and so Art only loses to a flush here most of the time. And it, it, it's likely it's going to be an Ace of Hearts or King of Hearts flush. Art's, a little, Art's uncomfortable here for sure, noticeably. Are those apples? Art Papazia just, just, just got to the table. He just joined the game. He's been waiting all night to play in this game. And now he's in a brutal spot for a lot of money. He has to call off an extra $46,000. Not getting the best price, that's for certain. But his hand does rank pretty high. Jack of hearts in his hand is pretty crucial. Ten seconds. He calls. And he makes the call. And a $128,000 pot goes to Dennis Blyden. Well played. A big moment for Dennis there. Yeah, as he is able pot. to win a big one off the champ, Art Papazian. Two WPT champs going head to head there. And Dennis comes out on top this time. And that's 128-2 headed to Dennis Blyden. 
two LA WPT champions, Dennis, yeah. who won the LAPC, and Art, who won the Legends. Huge pot for Dennis, and uh, he is not stuck that much now. Yeah, it's good. It's and that's the thing with Dennis. Like <laughs> these big pots might not be over at all. Like him getting more ammunition just makes the game more and more volatile. And that's going to enter Ralph into the business as well. Looks like he's entered the game. Yep. Ralph and Wong in seat six. Going to replace Bill Perkins. I'm done with that too, and we have a totally different game now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matt Burton, seat one. Johnson, seat two. Dennis do, Blyden, I'm Art Papazzi, and Ralph yeah, Wong. Yeah, yeah. Garrett Adelstein and play. Alex Foxen. I'm not mad at him for it. to ruin everything for everybody. This is yeah, not the like choice the game. Option. Uh That's my if you want to you know, fuck this up, it's dead. Try to... I did not yeah, you dealt with through over the game. I want to see your turn. It's my turn fold, sorry. It's all part of the match. Sorry, that's not your fault. I give you credit sometimes. So no seven deuce? No seven deuce. No. Showers. We did it for hours and not one payout. Yeah, that's... John here with queen jack off on the button. Yeah. Coming stuff happens, a raise. but it's surprising. Uh, like, that's pretty crazy. Quite yeah. unlikely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Three, four. Yeah, let's see how wide like, Ralph wants I think to go. I actually think it's extremely unlikely. I never got dealt it. I didn't have it. Or, or if I did, I slept it. I think it's one of those things. There's a chance now. that happened. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so, though. I'm, like, pretty sure yeah. it didn't. I'm sure the chat will let us know if someone folds it. Yeah. Every time I had a bad hand, I feel like I tried to look okay. twice. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ralph with a gutter. I time I was about to snap. <laughs> I don't think I've played that game in eight years. Check, check. And now Ralph has a decision between betting or checking. I think he's going to bet. This does hit his range, depending on the blind. Because, like, yeah, he wants to also shake some of these highs. It looks like he's going to delay that to the river, potentially. He somehow has the best hand here. Now it's a super polarizing board. You know, if he bets here, he's repping straight, deuce or seven. But John's shown no signs of having a straight. For he's sure. He's shown no signs of having a seven. I think Ralph's also good enough to, like, bet, like, four, three, and things like that, so. And a uh, nice bet by Ralph. Yeah. Takes it down even though he did have the best hands. For sure. I mean, you don't know that. He's just tar oh, you know, he's targeting his high and stuff like that. Ago. It's a good bet. Ralph has now uh, gotten into... All three million dollar cash games. Here, he has, he was a uh, backup like in the second one, he played yeah, the first I, one, I, I like and now gets in the end of the third one. So, uh, him yeah. and, Staple. And, and Art as well. Art has yeah. played, he really fucked right? Art played the, the first uh, one. First yeah, and he played the second one. Yeah. So, Art, Garrett, and Ralph are the three who now. And Berkey. And Berkey. Yeah, so yeah. all four of them now have, have played all three million dollar cash games. So things have changed with the stats. So Bill Perkins left us. He uh, ended up losing 150,000, and Stanley left us down about 120,000 dollars. The big winner now: Garrett Adelstein up 149,000, John Sin up 119,000, and then Alex Foxen now a winner as well, up 69,000. Uh, Matt Berkey's up 20,000, and then Dennis and uh, Art are stuck. So. Things have really changed in this game. And this is a much different lineup now. Like, this this lineup's, like, you know, are involved. And it's going to be a little bit, you know, it's a little bit tougher. These are some strong regs. Perky's going to bet with a gutter, and Dennis calls stop pair. And that's and, a straight ooh, for Matt Berkey versus things Dennis. Things are changing for Matt Berkey. He's starting to run good on Live of the Bike. Yeah, I mean, let's... Unless Dennis just folds right here. Like, just. At least it got interesting for a few seconds. At least got to see him past the MJ. That was cool. There it is. <laughs> I told him nothing changed. What's that? I said, you said things are changing, and I was like, unless Dennis just folds right here. Oh, so you're saying that's <laughs> run bad for Berkey. Yeah, yeah Dennis he just, just turns folds nuts, and, and Dennis just turns over an ace and folds. Oh, boy.
Berkey now up almost 30k, creeping up on the 30k number. So let's see what happens within the last hour or so. Wait, is that where you ran into them? Two bit circus? No. At the game. So we went, I just vaguely remember being very drunk and going there for a minute. Oh, he did? But it was like closing or whatever. We were with a, a lot of people. After the Lakers game? Yeah. The, the whole night There's about 1.4 million on the table now. There. After our Ralph sat. So $1.4 million on the table in this million dollar cash game as Art Papazian raises it up to 1,200 with a seven. Incoming three bet. Ace two suited, and that's just gonna win. So it looks like Art added on a little bit here. Added on about fifteen thousand, I want to say. Yeah, fifteen thousand added on. So uh, he's in for one fifteen. V Bud said, "Who's the Asian guy?" You think in the background? That is Wayne. Wayne Chung, who is a commentator here at Live of the Bike, longtime member of the Live of the Bike community, and a prop player here at the Bicycle Overnight. Plays Limit Hold'em. Will be commentating on the show sometime in the next couple of weeks. I'm not sure which game he has next. He has the Wheezy and the Wayne show. Yes, indeed. Dennis opening it up with the 9-7 off. Unless that's a straddle, but I believe he said raise. It is a raise to 800. Pocket six is for Art. Wow, and Art's going to put in the three bet. Yeah, this is like an isolation. Like, yeah, that, exactly. It's just Ooh, Berkey with ace-queen now. This is, this is interesting. If you're ever going to fold ace-queen to a three bet, it's going to be against Art. But Berkey's going to call. He's going to keep uh, Dennis in there. John's going to call as well. There we go. 13-4 in the middle. King, King, 8. And I expect this to kind of check through. Yeah, you would think. Uh, John has the best hand here with 7s, but nobody loves this flop. Turns a nine, which gives Dennis now the best oh, hand. You're talking about, oh, you're talking about me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four flush, first stack, five in the Zoric. Five game in the Zoric, probably in the late 20. Eight of clubs. Oh, okay. Oh, good story. Check. 20. False 20. Yes, six of clubs. Second left. Check One more check from Art, and we're going to see a river. And that's a queen giving Matt Berkey the best hand. That changed on every street. Yeah. <coughs> uh, pretty easy bet here for Berkey for value. I mean, that's like I don't expect him to be losing here almost today. ever unless, yeah, he, he, unless gets, he has Jack-10 in range. Right, he somewhere. can get called by Queen-Jack, yeah, Queen-10. He can right. that's fold fair. to a raise that's pretty fair. easily <laughs> in a multi-way pot, I think, depending on where it comes from. Sizing of 4,500. Yeah, I like the wins. small size just to get called by worse. So Berkey now up 37,000. All right. Let's cut the stream. It's over. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Berkey. Oh, no, wait. We got 30 minutes left. Well, 30 let's... minutes left in the show. Can Matt Berkey book a win on Live of the Bike? Is it possible? We'll see. There's 30 minutes left. I'm, I'm rooting for my friends Matt Berkey and Alex Foxen and Dennis as well. And everyone, actually. I'm not I'm, I'm not biased today. But I would like if Berkey wins because he never wins on stream. <laughs> We lost like seven of nine or something. Six hundred five hundred. Like two hundred Ralph in the cut with Jack seven of clubs. It looks like he's gonna go.
five four suited here for Matt Berkey. Looks like three bets coming in. And I, I feel a little bit of change of pace for Berkey, like a little bit more confidence, a little bit. And like, he's deeper now too, yeah. which is his comfort zone. Yeah, like now he's it's just a different, different. Just yeah, just different demeanor. Like. Berkey, the poker player slash salesman. Alex Fox and returning to the table. <laughs> Trying to shut this Berkey show down. You can come in with a yeah, straddle, right? Yeah, that's why you even re -raised. You Obviously. saw me play a 5-4 suited. I think I'm not studying the goddamn takes. Of course you did. You're goddamn idle. One step behind. I don't got to study. We just got it live. Alright, so you also come with a straddle. You guys have never put it on during the stream? I don't, I don't, I don't, whatever you guys want, but I don't know about like superstars straddling in for less money than they would play if they just posted their blinds, but whatever you guys think is up to Wait, what happened? So you want to straddle in for eight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, putting like the actual you, blinds I thought, in. I thought I, 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 you want to do it for, what do you guys what, want? What, what? If you're straddling, make it at least three X, I think. Otherwise, just post. Uh, I That's think right. like straddle and Andy's blinds. Yeah, straddle and Andy's. Oh, and Andy. He put an ante in? This no. is mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straddle yeah. and ante. Yeah, that was my for suggestion. sure. Yeah. Yeah, the straddle ends up being less than you have to post. Yeah, box. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. As an ante or as the straddle? Oh, I guess. So is the straddle yeah, to 13 or point. is there 500 no, no. more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so straddle and the dead 500. Seems fair. Definitely fair. Yeah. Putting in less than what you would if you posted yeah, it. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. All right. Box definitely knew what he was doing. I mean, I've been allowed to do it in the past. I don't know. It does seem too good, but yeah, I agree. Willing to put in more. Looks like John wants to. Twenty-five. Twenty-five hundred. Seven ten suited him. Wow. Dennis with pocket aces. That's a quick call too. He just calls. He traps with pocket aces. I love you, Dennis. So there's a straddle in late position from Foxen because he misses blinds. So, I got a rebate too. Dennis trapping now with Donald aces. Nobody three Donald bets. And yeah, we're going three way to the flop. I hope so. Yeah. And there's a ten for for John. He could put in a bet here. Against two, he probably. Okay, he wants to. Bet. I mean, I feel like betting here is a better situation than check calling, right? So, uh, you know, Dennis could bet with worse, but. You can kind of control the size of the pot when you bet. Yeah, I guess you. Uh, it's an interesting. I, I guess you could go both ways. I'm usually checking here, but I mean, maybe that's an error. It just seems like. Probably depends on your opponents that are in the yeah, game, too. Yeah, for sure. 13 8 now, and quick bet by Dennis. And now this is a spot where I think John calls once because Dennis can just have so many hands. He can have red trash, he can have Jack 9, King Jack, Spades. Rivers an 8. And Dennis might get paid here. Dennis, bets name, I, I, Dennis bets price. a lot, so he, he's going to bet here. Yeah. He bluffs a lot. you got to bet for value. You can't be afraid. 17, and that looks like John is going to call. Jack-9 got there. King-Jack missed. John does not block any King-Jack. There's a lot of random spades that bricked that Dennis could have. When he calls uh, that middle blind, he has a lot of suited hands. Three of them, I can think of. I just don't think John's going to fold here, uh, knowing that Dennis overbluffs a lot. Yeah, it's close. It, it's, it's a tough spot, for sure. I think he's going to end up just paying because of just sometimes the randomness that Dennis has. I don't know why I can't make a decision right now. I just... This is well played by Dennis. Like this is. Ten seconds. He's putting. Yeah, this is well played by Dennis. Nice hand. 
$56,000 pot for Dennis Blyden, and all of a sudden, he's almost unstuck. Yeah. He's in for 160. Uh, in Brazil. You? And it's the first one of the legs, uh, like, of the five that you get a free, like, 10k euro seat if you play all five mains. Yeah, it's like, I'm trying to remember all of them. There's one at Kings, it's one, one of them is the online one, there's one in, one's in, the one in Montreal. Uh, I think there's one in Barcelona, maybe. Yeah, the only one I wouldn't have, like, naturally gone to is the... Uh, the one at Kings in August, but I'll just go for the main. Excellent. So Dennis only down about 10,000 now for the session. Pretty amazing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The swings has been the swings have been crazy in terms of comebacks. Like Foxen coming back from 110, Dennis coming back from over 100. Like, or has he been stuck over 100? No, right? Foxen was stuck over 100. No, I'm yeah. saying Dennis. Dennis, uh, no, but it was close. It was like yeah. I think he was stuck like 98. Okay. Uh, well, for like stars, I Dennis gonna three bet ace queen here. The heater could be real. Ten. John Sin calling with ace nine to hearts. Wow, Berkey, yeah, cold call. Oh, Berkey opened this cutoff. Okay. So Berkey. No, I, I don't think Berkey has a hand in front of him. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. Berkey's on. That makes more sense. So Dennis, <laughs> John opens Dennis three bets. John calls. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, why are straight here for Dennis on the turn? He's also. Flop the back door. Flush draw. Rivers a king. Straight versus straight. They're going to chop this one up. This is going to go bet. I quick call from John. I would imagine. I'm curious. I'm curious the reference now. Well, John has more sixes. I don't think he's going to raise, right? Wow, he does raise. That is uh, yeah, a little just, surprising. Well, just because like John has more sixes than, well, <laughs> theoretically, I don't know. Because Dennis has all the sixes, too. Yeah, like Dennis is a free bet. Yeah. Although Dennis can free bet a lot of hands. That's what I'm saying. Like, Dennis Dennis has sixes. Like, why not? It's Dennis. You can have six, seven, six, five, six, six, whatever. Eight, six. I was going to ask after the first time I played, then I was like, fuck that. Did I miss a hand? No, I'm just like fucking straight. Yeah. You were so thirsty to know my shit. <laughs> no, 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 I know. I'm just saying by the stack oh, that I missed. I don't know. I'm not a big one, though. I feel like you have all the 1Ks. I don't know where those came from. I'm slipping them on the table every day. I want to get like a wing hand. Yeah, it's smart. Go on it. Everyone pays you. Yeah. Yeah, they are going to chop it up. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, uh, you know, like, yeah, John knows that Dennis might call light, but I just feel like Dennis isn't betting at oh, calling yeah. a raise in the river <coughs> without an ace or a six. Right. Like, yeah. So I don't know what hand. Like, he's not going to have a – could he have a set of fives maybe at bet yeah, call? Incredible. Maybe. But you, you, there's not that many There's the danger of just, like, Dennis like has a, more sixes than the like average player. And Dennis isn't going to fold an ace. Right. So I just don't know what the raise has. Against some players, it's like a free roll where, like, they just don't like free bet a six ever. You can, so, like, you get to just raise and never never be worried about running into a six. At, like, it, you see what I'm saying? Like you get what I'm saying there? Yeah. So it's like, but... But I think Dennis does have... Dennis has sixes. That's the problem. Convert it to anything and wire it to the casino, and it's like you pay 0.8% on whatever it is, and it's like that simple. You just connect it to your U.S. bank account, and wire. it's like it's re it's really sick. I, it seems it it seemed like too good to be true at first, and I've used it a bunch of times to this, and then convert it at like a they'll convert it at like 0.8 percent big, which is like banks will do, usually be like three percent. Where's Bill? People yeah. asking the Twitch chat. Bill Perkins no longer with us. He lost 120 thousand. Set over set. No, three uh, or hundred fifty thousand rather. Set over set uh, against Alex Fox. Oh yeah, Aces versus Jack. Like yeah, that was very unlucky. And uh, Fox had won the Anyone biggest pot of the night. Berkey here opening hijack with eight five of clubs, getting called by Dennis yeah. Blyden it's on the button with this, nine eight suited. Yeah. Yeah. Berkey going into this flop, like, dominated. Worth it too, probably. Players starting to get a little. Frisky, you know, opening more as we get later in the night. You know, some wider ranges. Yeah, there's the there's the little bit of like you know they know the show's almost over. They don't know who's staying, who's leaving. They want to win a big pot on TV. Keep in mind these these games uh, 
usually go for at least a bit after the show, and so right. this show will end at whatever time we end it, and they'll usually play afterwards for a bit. Great card for Dennis here. Yes. Trip, Trip Jacks also 3,000. Not sure if Bergie's going to fold. This is a tough one. Yeah, Bergie's going to call. It's a diamond. Nobody likes that. Slight no, run good, good for Berkey. So the 10 of diamonds saves him some money there. 14-2 being shipped over to Dennis Blight. <coughs> Dennis basically even now, down just 1,000. That's even. That's like... That's like winning almost, you know? Yeah, that is amazing. He was uh, he was down almost 100. He is grinding it back up. And it looks like Art Dang. added on as well. Art, who lost that big hand to Dennis. Uh, I, mean, I think he's up to about 100. We got about 20 minutes left in the show. It's been quite the show. Yeah. For million sure. dollar cash game 3.0. What will million dollar cash game 4.0 look like? When will it be? We don't know. Next week, Tom's one. If Tom's you one. pull, if you pull a next week again, I don't think I can. That'll that'll be wild. I don't think I can handle it emotionally. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, it, it's not that easy. No, I, I believe you. Just say. I thought you were going to say if I could pull off Tom Dwan. Oh, next week now. That's Tom tough. Dwan next week? Yeah. That would be, be... Get him on the flight from Triton? <laughs> yeah. Just bring him back with, with Johnson. <laughs> Problem is, uh, getting Tom Dwan isn't going to attract many people to... Uh, right, to, to just be like, yeah, I want to play. I don't think Ralph free bet this hand. We'll get this fixed, see what happened here. No, I don't think... No, Ralph is not in this hand. Okay. And that's Alex versus Berkey. Alex with another set against Berkey. And this is a situation. Looks like Berkey's going to start with a bet. 3,000 into 4,900. 2,000, excuse me, into 4,900. Now Foxen has the world at his fingertips. He can do anything he wants. Looks like check raises, though. It's high frequency play. And quick, quick release from Matt Berkey. They're wearing the Thirst Lounge patch, courtesy of Bill Perkins earlier today. He handed it out. If you don't know the Thirst Lounge, check them out. Check them out. Switch. They have a host, a roster. I just straddled. Let's do a round. Including Ebony Kenny, including. Cat Riffic. Dude, I just straddled like three hands ago. I don't know what you're saying. But did I? How much did I end up paying? Players giving Foxen a hard time now. You know, you you're allowed to get needled once you win. You know, the rookie. Yeah, and yeah, you know. Some players have never heard of Alex Foxen. Alex Foxen's. Uh, I don't play cash games. Now I just a, a staple in the high roller tournament scene, you know, really has come on the scene in the last like two, three years really hard. It really went from like mid stakes was, to yeah. high stakes. Yeah. He, his, his big breakthrough, he got second in the Bellagio five diamond for about a million. Yeah, that wasn't that long ago. That was uh, two Decembers ago. Yeah. And he just said, he just said, I don't play much cash games. He really yeah, no, if, if ever, plans, like, if he, he never played bigger than 2040 before right. last and that's week. Just, and that wasn't even, like, actively, him like playing 2040 is like a one-off, like, where he's, like, hanging yeah, out. He's not, like, grinding 2040. But he works super, yeah, he works super yeah. hard. I mean, he's a very good, very talented poker player. We've been going uh, for almost eight hours now. i got about 15 minutes left in the stream. Eight hours... Know, Super Rainbow, high six poker. Yeah, Ralph flops the best of this hand. <laughs> or no, he doesn't, sorry. Yeah, he does. Ralph flops the best of this hand. And dangerous board of the turn. Four to row flush. Ralph with two pair. Yeah, it seems like not much action is going to go in on this board. Unless Dennis turns his hand no bluff. Yes. Then, then that might change things. But it seems like Ralph is probably going to show this one down. Uh, 
Oh, Ralph? Did he bet? No, I guess Ralph maybe just turned his hand over. They're doing a round of straddles here to 800. And yeah, game's <coughs> not big enough. Yeah, let's do let's one, go. two, four, eight. Yeah. Four blinds. Right, Even better. Uh, by the way, um, we talked about Thirst Lounge, Bill Perkins' Twitch stream that he that he owns and, and you know, has a slate of ten players who, or however many players there are that uh, that play yeah. uh, online tournaments and stream from a boat from different locations yeah. around the world. Um, the Thirst Lounge is Chris on is right now on Twitch. Oh, wow. And so if you're watching this show on Twitch couple, right now, Brazil, stay tuned. We have about Brazil, less than 15 like minutes left in the show. It, it but stay like tuned after the show. If you're watching live at the bike, it will turn into Every the Thirst Lounge. So we, you'll automatically get to see the Thirst Lounge stream on the live at the bike stream. Uh, so stay tuned, and uh, you'll be able to watch what they have to offer. Yeah, um, nice. Um, tournaments, tournament poker. Sure cash is great, too. I'd imagine it's kind of small, but... I'm honestly not really sure. There's probably some decent games, at least. No, definitely not. <coughs> I don't think you really want to, like, leave the resort slash hotel area very often. Art opening. Oh, excuse me. I guess he got a walk here. Yeah, he got a walk with, unfortunately, pocket sevens on the straddle. Raising now from the big blind into the 400 and the 800. Rob's going to peel here, getting a pretty good price. It's only a min raise. 9 8 off. So we got a round of 1, 2, 4, 8 with the 500 Annie and Dennis and Ralph going heads up to the flop. All diamonds. That's the nut flush draw for Dennis. Off of the gutter, probably not good enough to continue. Unless I, I think he's going to call the other eight of diamonds. Though. And it's such a good price, but he's got to be willing to bluff this sometimes if he's going to call here. I think. Yeah. Like you can't just check back nine high twice. For sure. So it will be interesting to see what happens on the turn. Oh, wow, Although Dennis twice, probably isn't going to give it. up. Wow, and Dennis turns the nut flush. Oh, Ralph with an eight of diamonds. He's probably going to call down now. Oh, Dennis checks. He's trapping. Check. This is pretty much going to guarantee Dennis gets one bet on the river. Now it's just a sizing. I don't oh, see how through. Ralph folds versus a reasonable bet against Dennis. What is happening? And then you lead? Oh, okay. 15, 15K. 15K. Oh, 2X pot. This might. This let is Ralph actually. Fold. Yeah. No, well. This is interesting because when he bets 15k, now he's repping exactly king of diamonds, and queen of it. diamonds. Right. If he were to bet like... No, it's just king of diamonds. Right, like almost not, king. He's yeah, not yeah. betting 2x pot with that a, makes sense. without yeah. a king of diamonds. I guess I... I, I, guess I Other people Dennis, can. Yeah. Maybe yeah, Gary can, but yeah. I, don't, I don't think uh, Dennis would here. That makes sense. So he's repping king of diamonds, which makes it... Oh, and Ralph does call. Right, that's the thing. Wow, what a bet by Dennis. He polarizes it and it works. Yeah. He could have easily won a much smaller pot. But he wins a $37,000 pot by betting 2x pot with a king of diamonds. What a play by Dennis Blyde, and that is one of the best plays I've seen him make tonight. And he's unstuck now. Yeah, let's He go. is unstuck. He's Dennis up 11000 Yeah, I mean, when he bets 15k, he's repping, like you're saying, exactly the king of diamonds, which makes Ralph's call actually easier to make in theory. But, you know, Dennis just had the king of diamonds this time, chose the right line, and got paid. Check out our gear, hats and shirts over at livethebike.com. Use the coupon code BIKE and get 25% off your first order. We got t-shirts, we got hats. Check it out, Live of the Bike partnering with 3Bet to bring you some pretty cool gear. Check it out at livethebike.com. Here's the stats, Garrett, the big winner at 148,000. Got about 10 minutes left in the stream. 
I thought you were bluffing. I was trying Garrett's to had help a pretty you bring solid attention to the apple eating uh, effort. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Get you to fold. Yeah. To assume I'm bluffing. That's what I'm saying. Alex Foxen with quite the comeback after winning that huge not. pot against Bill You're Perkins. Right. Biggest sure. pot of the night, set of a set. Nope. I mean, I'm sure he's very <laughs> thankful to win that one. If he would have lost that, that would have been very disastrous. He would have been buried. Yeah, I wonder what happens if that river's a brick, if that river's like a three, I and, think he's and, and Perkins shoves. Yeah, he's calling. I mean, there was I don't know. A... I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a little marginal yeah. to even call the flop return. He doesn't want to fold that strong of a hand, but... You know, it's a little yeah. marginal to fold there. Is Perkins going to blast off a stack? Yeah, for sure. You know, it's a three-bet pot, and, uh, you know, Foxen loses to 9-10. He loses to sets, a two yeah. pair. Yeah, for sure. Like, Perkins could easily have queen jack, pocket eights, pocket jacks, pocket queens, 9-10. It's not a great yeah. spot for Foxen. Oh, for sure, for sure. It just, I guess the, fold no matter how third long you bet, bank free. You could, definitely could. I, 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 just, I guess I'm not remembering okay? the exact so SPR going, going into the river. Oh, what I, was say, like, I want to say it was like 75%. Yeah. So it just seems like we're just going to call often. We're going to get a pretty good prize. We have aces, like... But what are you beating? All oh, you're I'm beating with is, you. is I, King 10 that just goes for it. Yeah, I'm with you. But like, it's just. Or an overplayed so ace queen, which right. I don't that think Bill has there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. No, that doesn't mean Fox and Fultz. He's not a folder. But no, yeah, for sure. I mean, he calls with King High sometimes. It's also just like. It, the problem is that Bill is just potentially taking hands like Queen 10 and just like going. Like in some yeah, crazy it depends game. what Foxen yeah. thinks of Perkins right. in this game. Does, has, he hasn't really done that in this game. Uh, what is? How much does Fox know about him? Does he right. think that he's actually going to Whoa. do something crazy like that and just blast he off? I don't know. I don't know that he's the right person to do that. He's obviously capable, <laughs> but I don't know that he's likely or as likely as anyone else in the game to do that. Yeah. So here we see Berkey open the cut with Ace King of Diamonds. And Art folds sevens in the first blind. Ralph calls ten nine suited in the second blind. This is a straddle pot one two four eight, yeah. and uh, Art's gonna play extra tight there. And he, he would have flopped, flopped top, top set. set. Oh wow! Yeah. That's why you don't fold sevens. <laughs> Specifically that reason. And yeah, that's unfortunate for Art there. Now Berkey with a decision if he wants to bet or check. It looks like he's going for a bet. He's got the back doors, the overs. Yeah, this board is somewhat tricky because it runs out sometimes in the favor of the defender, like with the 6, the 4, the 8, the I, 9. I think if the SPR was like much higher, if they were much deeper, then Ralph could float here out of position sometimes. But Ralph looks like he wants to check for this. Yeah, he's thinking about something here. Um, the, the the one issue here is that it's 1, 2, 4, 8. Right? Like, Ralph is not starting that deep. It's about 100 big blinds. And he turns the 10 with Berkey. What a with turn Berkey. card. Wow, I mean, this is this is going to be interesting. I want to see what Berkey does here. Does he take his equity or does he bet? I feel like he should be betting here most of the time. It's interesting just because these two players play, have played a lot, and I'm I'm curious to see what Berkey's gonna, what's how Berkey thinks like Ralph's middle blind because he has two people behind him still. So this, yeah, because what it's does a he pot. think? Yeah, what does he think this range looks like after he calls pre and then calls flop? And if he bets turn, like he can get Ralph to sometimes fold small pairs. Great. But he's calling result. a lot of them. Rivers and the ace. ace, and that's going to give Berkey the best hand. It's a great run out for Berkey. Yeah, for sure. Easy value bet. Yes. Uh, now it's just a sizing issue. Way. Now, oh, I know, you know, this is just I'm like a bet check. fold. I think it's probably. You want to bet a size that you get called. She, he I goes mean, we were going to a three little bit over half pot, the 18,000. So she left a couple days ago. And yeah, yeah, it's an interesting spot for Ralph here against a triple barrel. Yeah. Play a little bit online, maybe. Like, what does he beat here? 8 9? Right. Playing any tournaments? But he has 10 9. No. No. Oh, cool. What does Berkey bet three streets with, and what does he beat? And that's yeah. a good fold Ralph's from Ralph. Yeah. These guys know each other well. Yeah, yeah, they, they definitely do. They played in Vegas together. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> oh, that would have been a very interesting pot had it. That's had Look Art enter. Art win the big pot. Yeah, yeah, it would have played a lot differently, though. For sure. Just fucking 
Right, but Art probably just calls and then Berkey turns a ten. I'm not sure if Art. Well, yeah, that's 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 the the big decision. I don't point. no, I don't yeah. think Art check raises that flop too often because it was a dry flop. Right. So then. But but then I don't think Ralph. Ralph folds. Floats. Yeah. Right. So it just so goes turn, heads up. It. But then he would bet the turn and Berkey then probably check raises. I mean, uh, uh, right. Art probably check raises sometimes. And then Berkey calls, and then rivers an ace. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Wow, Art would have won a huge pot. Right. Wow, he missed out on a huge opportunity. You know, and I'm sure whatever he's doing is probably correct. Maybe yeah, slightly yeah, on the tighter, yeah. so, for slightly sure. on the tight side, probably. I'm sure that like the first of the four, four, blind, four blinds should be playing pretty tight. Yeah, it's probably not yeah. too solved either. For sure. Uh, yeah. If you're studying that for uh, yeah. one, a four blind <laughs> game with an Annie. Yeah, let's play just, the. How often do you play that? What's the solve on the four yeah. blind? What's our range on the seven four handed blind? four blinds with an Annie? <laughs> it's just not real poker. Yeah, we don't know. Berkey's gonna three bet. bet. Off. See, Berkey's actually like more comfortable now yeah, putting pressure on people in a yeah, one two four eight game because he plays the most one two four eight of anybody at this table by far. Yeah. Or not one two four eight, but two like but yeah, four eight. Four eight. Yeah. That type of. Yeah. Like, he plays bigger than anybody at this table on a regular basis, and so he is comfortable yeah, putting pressure on people, opening yeah. at high blinds. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of mentioned there earlier. Berkey just kind of like felt like something like when he can't had a little bit more momentum he felt a little bit better i don't really get it though chasing wonderful and he's gonna win this one another pot to yeah, berkey 27 7 going his way <laughs> but i mean like yeah it seems like it's not really something you chase right berkey and, and, and that's gonna bring us to the end oh. that, that was the last hand so All right here are the final chip counts and the final stats. Uh, like Ralph ended up playing a lot of hands, but he just came oh, in. I think I did hear and uh, Alex Fox, a 38% VPIP. He was one of the highest VPIPs throughout. Matt Berkey, 37%. And uh, a great million dollar cash game of 3.0 comes to an end. The big winner, Garrett Adelstein, $146,000, no surprise. John Sin, main event champ, an $89,000 winner. Dennis Blyden ends up winning. Let's Alex go. Fox ends up winning. Matt Berkey ends up winning. What a night. How do they come back and win Dennis, Berkey, and Alex? It's a great night. And that's going to bring us to the end. Uh, shout out to all of you guys who watched the whole show. You guys have been great. We appreciate the support. Thanks to Bart Hansen for commenting earlier. Thanks to Brian and Patrick, our, our production crew. Thanks to all the players. Bill Perkins, who made his first appearance on Live of the Bike. Um, thanks to Christian Soto, who oh, stuck it out for eight hours. And once again, commentated the entire show. You're invited back anytime. Yeah, I'm excited to do it anytime. Let's go. And thank you to all of you guys. We appreciate it. Uh, if you want to watch more, go to liveatthebike.com and sign up with the promo code High Stakes. There's a two week promo code High Stakes, two weeks free. Check it out. Liveatthebike.com. Sign up. Join us. Join our community. Sign up for a platinum or diamond package. We appreciate it. We Appreciate it very much for uh, you guys watching Million Dollar Cash Game 3.0. We'll be back next week for, for more poker. 4.0. It's coming soon. Who knows when? <laughs> we'll see. Shout All out right. to you guys. Have a good night. Stay tuned for Thirst Lounge. Uh, you can watch it right here on our Twitch channel. And uh, everybody have a good weekend. We'll see you next Monday and Tuesday for more Live at the Bike. Sweet. She's like, I want to email the bike. Like, what the fuck? Oh, shit.